Alrighty, royal family. We are late as heck, but we here. We're late as heck, but we're here. Alright. My god, I had a day today. <laughs> I had a day today for sure. Whew. So, uh, yeah, Verizon came through. They put in the uh, new cat cable lines for the fiber. However, it just did not really work. So I was trying to use the new internet, and it was, I, was, I did a test stream and everything, and it was awful. It was so, so bad. So it's all hooked up, the router's here and everything, but it is complete garbage. Complete garbage. You think it's bad right now? Well, the Verizon one was complete garbage. Uh, so I spent like hours on the phone with their tech support trying to figure it out. Basically, the only solution left that I can think of is to get a brand new router, although they literally just came today with a fresh router. So that's like the only thing I can think of. So tomorrow, I'm going to go pick up a new router for Verizon, plug that puppy in. Hopefully it works at that point. If it doesn't, then goddamn, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> because... I'm having problems with RCN, having problems with Verizon now, and if I try Xfinity, which I mean I might as well, might have problems with them too. So I don't know what's going on, but I am having some really shitty luck uh, with internet as of right now. It's not good. So yeah, really bad. Uh, but you, you don't know. So when they left, dude, my download, my upload was so good. My download was a gig, and my upload was like 800, which beforehand my upload was like 20. So my upload is like exponentially better with Verizon. It's just, it's so laggy. So I could barely uh, pull up browsers. Occasionally it'd come through, but the browsers weren't working. I went on tech support. I was looking at YouTube videos, looking on Google forums, like doing all these like freaking coding things in CMD, trying to figure shit out. And yeah, no, 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 no dice, no dice. So, um, yeah, that's the, that's the update on the internet. So we are live. We are back on my main internet because it's the only one that I can even get to get a stream up with some decency, but I'm sure we're going to probably lag every hour again with this internet. So be aware of that. Um, and then, yeah, that's kind of it. <laughs> that's kind of it. Also today, freaking, I had a, a sink in one of the bathrooms of my house that I don't really use and it's just been kind of like clogged for a minute and today i got around to fixing that so that was nice unclogged the sink so that was good <laughs> other than that uh not that great of a day but anyways let's get some shout outs to the people who are here tonight we've got nar always coming in number one tony rob hui hasim dmac hampton quinn eric earl ryan h in the building we got mr black in the house cardboard trumpin modding it up as well tonight Lionel's in the house today. We got my boy Gabe here. Nick Preston Serbian in the house. We got Linda. Linda, listen. Rob is in the house. We got Puggy here today, too. Hector. Benjamin in the house. Hassan in the house. Yes, yeah, so no new internet. I do have it. So the, the cat uh, wires are drilled in. They're wired in. I have, like, I think they called it, like, an OTM, which is, like, their control panel for the fiber or whatever. So I have all of that, like, ready to go. I just need it to not lag. So it's all wired up, ready to go. Um, so at least now if I ever change providers again, at least now my house has both fiber line and also a line for coax, which is like normal uh, internet stuff. So at least I got that. Uh, but yeah, other than that, not great. But you know, the install was free. These guys were at my house for like hours, like four to five hours. And the install was completely free with the, the, the uh, thing that I got. So that was nice. Yo, Oliver, what's up, baby? Koki, what's up, Koki? Goat, no internet? No, dude. <laughs> no. I use Xfinity myself. Yeah, well, the problem with Xfinity was is that uh, Xfinity doesn't have fiber, not in my area. So it would just be the same type of service that I'm getting at RCN, and RCN's way cheaper. Albeit, yes, we get the lag, so it would, might be still worth switching, but I don't know. I mean, at this point, if I can't get Xfinity, so tomorrow's a Wednesday, we're not live, I'll be doing shipping. Uh, but tomorrow, I have the whole day to get it fixed, hopefully, and I'm going to get the router, yada, yada, yada. Try to get it fixed tomorrow. But... Uh, yeah, dude, four to five hours, man. They had to put the line in on the on the pole. I, like, watched the whole thing. Uh, because I got so much stuff down here. Dude, I gotta keep an eye on them. There was two dudes. I was like, yeah, I'm making sure they ain't snatching, like, you know. All you gotta do is come by, grab one of these, and boom. You just took a $300 freaking item from me without me noticing. So, yeah, I had to keep my eyes out. Keep, you know, obviously. If any stranger's in your house doing work, you want to keep an eye on them. It's just good procedure. 
Uh, but yeah, so that was that, and just a lot of like following them, seeing what they're doing, talking to them. They were they were looking through a bunch of the cables that I have in my house because I need an extender. So the the problem with the stream is that my office is down in the basement. Hi, Marisha, what's up? So yeah, my stream's down like in the depths of the basement. So I needed to have an extender that way when I'm in my bedroom, which is up there, it's not like completely laggy. So there was no like extra coax cable because the previous extender I was using was a Wi-Fi extender. The one that they have with Verizon is needs to be plugged in a coax to be an extender, basically. So, yeah, anyways, en enough about that. Enough about that. But just know I did have a long day. But we're here. We're ready to open up some fun stuff. And I got some really cool stuff to show you guys, too. Check this out. So, of course, it would not be... It would not be a RGP stream if we didn't have some CP6 on the menu. So, CP6 is back, and I guess better than ever... And there we go. So we got CP6. CP6 is back. If anyone buys a pack tonight, I'll crack open a fresh box for you. The second item that I wanted to show you guys is this. A hard gold soul silver collection box. Now we opened up quite a few of these uh, over the course of the last couple years, man. Maybe over 10 of these by now. But we could definitely do a break on this tonight if people would want. We need five people and it's $250 uh, per person. You each get a random pack. All from the hard gold soul silver era, which is pretty dope. And three people will also get the uh, promo cards, the Cracked Ice promos to go with that as well. The last thing I wanted to show, uh, which probably wouldn't be really worth breaking because these boxes have gotten godly expensive. But dude, just look how minty this is. Bro, this box is so nice. And Agent Origins is like one of my favorite sets. I remember back when I first got in, uh, I wasn't back in during X and Y era, but I was able to find one of these on Facebook for I think it was like 70 bucks Which was even like below what you bought Boxes for and I took that and I flipped it the same week <laughs> uh, But now these boxes are going for a thousand dollars very stably too So yeah, this is a really nice pickup So I was happy to add this one to my little box collection that I got going on XY ancient origins beautiful box what does CP6 consist of? So CP6, CP6 is the Japanese 20th anniversary set. It consists cards uh, from XY Evolutions, but most importantly, it consists of these. They're called secret rares, and oh man, these are far, far in my, oh my, I'll just grab one. I'll just grab the Charizard. I, I do have all four, but. They're, you know, they're pretty, pretty tucked back there. So, of course, there's a hollow Charizard in this set. That's a pretty big chase. But what you really, really want are these secret rares. So, the Charizard, the Blastoise, the Pikachu are in this set as a secret. And then, you also have, like, the Misty, the Brock, the Dragonite, the Charizard, the Mewtwo secrets. Uh, so, it's, it's, really, it's really, really similar to X Evolutions. But it does also contain some other cards that were not uh, from X Evolutions. Such as, like, these Charizards. Which is pretty dope. So yeah, that is what CP6 mostly consists of. And the other, <laughs> the other thing that I thought uh, that we could possibly do, just because I know we did a rumble break uh, not too long ago, and I got a little cheat sheet here for myself. So this is a sealed binder of Southern Islands. And if people wanted to do a break similar to like the rumble break that we did, one idea that I had was we could do a 21 person break. Now follow along on this because there's 18 cards and three sealed booster packs inside of here. So I believe you get two Neo Discovery and one Neo Genesis for the three packs. I think that's in every single binder. And then you get the 18 cards such as the Mew, the Lapras, the Slow King, the Vile Plume, the Lediba. And we could do a 21 person break where... You know, one per 18 people get a card, three people get a pack. But these are so expensive that it might not even be worthwhile doing. So it'd be $140 a spot. So that's per person or per spot if you get multiple. And yeah, you'd either get a pack or you get a card. Now on the caveat, a lot of the Southern Island cards in a PSA 10 actually go for good money, especially the Mew. But even there are some non-hollows in here too. Uh, like the Lapras, the Primeape. And I think those in a 10 go from like 75 to 100-ish. Um, so I guess if we do get like a good print and you graded a 10, would still be a slight loss for the people that don't get the packs or the hollows. Um, so anyways, just something I threw out there because I was thinking about that. It would be cool to open it, but it would just be godly, ungodly expensive. 
So, I mean, we could do it, but 21 spots is quite a lot. And I guess with that, I was also thinking it would be a cool idea if we did that to put all 21 names on a wheel. And I'm taking this from Sports Breakers. 21 names on a wheel, spin it. If it lands on your name, you're first. And instead of assigning you to an item, as you are first, you get first pick. And you can pick whatever you want out of the 21 items. Then we spin again, and we remove the first person, the name. You spin again, the second person can pick what they want, whatever what's left. So, you never know, right? Maybe one person goes third, and instead of a booster pack, they want the Mew. Instead of the Mew, maybe they want, like, you know, whatever. So, that might be a cool experiment with that, too. Uh, but I guess for that, it would require that everyone in the break is present, because you have to pick what you want. So, maybe, maybe not, but maybe a cool idea, maybe not. Alright, but... Um, we do have a Temporal Forces battle uh, building up already. John S. is in for Temporal Forces. We could do a single box, double box, or like a case, <laughs> like we did last time. Now, we do still have the $150 Royal Slab Bag still left. I think there's 10 left in stock. If anybody's interested in one, they're 150 The post is pinned with all the slabs inside of the bags. So here's the list for the Steelix. We're talking about our gauntlets now. Here's the list for a spot in her near relation, and here is the list for the three pack blister. There we go. There we go. What's up, Tommy? If we were to do Ancient Origins, it would be $75 for a spot, and you would get two packs if we were to do it. But, like I said, Ancient Origins is getting really, really pricey, so maybe not a break we'd even want to do. Might be better for me to keep it sealed low key. Eric S. Is gonna start us off tonight. He says, Can I get two OPO6? Uh, keep the leaders and up. And no, and okay, Eric, sounds good. I see what you're saying. Yeah, so you want the leaders for OPO6. Yeah, no problem. Eric, starting us off with the Vundy. Hey, Dom, what's up, dude? So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm kind of lucky in a regard that I do have both internet services. So, at this point, I can kind of change them out like clothes, <laughs> which I guess is kind of nice. Oh, wow. Wait, Eric, you got the last packs in those boxes. Crazy. All right. I wonder if that was on purpose. Hey, what's up, Cruel? How you doing, man? Southern Islands is one of the coolest and the first ever uh, subset Pokemon ever did. It was pretty dope. Uh, I mean, even the binder itself is like kind of cool, too. But yeah, so those are just a couple different things we could do. We could do the Heart Coastal Silver Break. Uh, we could do the Ancient Origins Box Break. Or we could even do the Southern Islands Binder Break, too, for those that might be interested in some breaks tonight. I know the blisters that we have left are, you know, the ones that are kind of crazy. So those might be a little bit too high shelf. Boa. Is today day one? No, it is not. Yeah, I already I already kind of talked about it at the beginning, so I'll wait a little bit before I, you know, go on that rant again <laughs> about the internet. Uh, but no, today is not the first day of the internet. Although they did come and they, they put it in. So it is here. The router is here. Everything like that is here. Uh, but it is just not working. It's just not working well. Vander Decken. Doncard and Absalom. Okay, and no leaders out of the OPO6. What's up, Kyle? Uh, it's possible. Yeah, it's possible. I guess it depends what, you know, people are feeling like they're down for it tonight. We sure can. I know we started kind of late, so that always kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Eric. Okay, cool, Eric. I think I'm going to get you a new bag. Is that right? I feel like that can't be right. I bought a Seal Southern Islands from a car store in San Antonio for 500 for two years ago. Nice. That is really, really good. And if it was fully sealed as well, that is really good. I feel like even two years ago, those are way more than $500. Even two years ago, I feel like. Eric. I have definitely thought about trying to find, because there are listings on eBay for like open ones uh, where people, I guess, just like kept the promos and stuff. And those promos do go for good money in tens, especially. But I don't know. I just feel like those are kind of risky. And you know, I feel like those are kind of risky. This one is nice factory sealed. 
Yo, you should plan a trip with your woman to Vegas when you're there in August. Damn, yo, hey, Trump, and, uh, no lie, dude. I'm, I'm planning a cruise in August. I'm planning a cruise in August, actually. Ian the Ninja says one raging sir. Ian the Ninja. Ah, uh, no, the three pack is still available. Yeah, the three pack gauntlet is actually still up. Uh, yeah, Sean, the Heart Gold Soul Silver would be a break. Yep, that'd be 250 a person, and everyone would get a unweighed Heart Gold Soul Silver pack out of it. Ian the Ninja. August my birthday month. Nice, dude. Honestly, I don't know, I guess, what I would feel about that. My birthday's in November, and it falls really, really close to Thanksgiving. Some years, it's actually on Thanksgiving, and that kind of sucks. D-Max says, let me get a CP6 sealed. Oh, snappy. D to the Mac. All right, well, let's open it up. So out of one of these CP6 boxes, there's 15 packs. 15 packs inside. You're cool AF. Yo, thanks, crew. That's the first time I ever heard that. <laughs> Just kidding. That's the first time I ever got that combo in my life. All right, you guys ready for the G.I. Joe? G.I. Joe. Oh, okay. This one kind of got clipped up there, unfortunately. We have a casualty. Now, the really nice thing about CP6 as well is these come with a guaranteed hollow. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 15. All right, D-Mac. We cracked a fresh book for you tonight. And if you want the one with a little bit of personality on the top, feel free to pick that one. But DMAC says one for sealed. So DMAC, let me know. Do you want to pick number one to 15? DMAC. G.I. Joe. I got old promos in slabs. Wait, Kyle, you talking about for Heart Gold Soul Silver? Number eight. All right, DMAC, you got it. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Who do you appreciate? And honestly, DMAC, let me use one of these. I used to never have these, so my muscle memory tells me to not use them just because I forget. Where'd I put it? Oh, man, did I lose them? <laughs> did I lose them? I have these really cool uh, tarot sleeves, but I honestly don't know where I put them. And, oh, well, I got a whole new bag here. But I don't want to open up a whole new box or a whole new bag of them because I haven't opened one. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Whew. Cool, I gotta keep this one sealed still. So now these, I don't think will fit the Japanese packs, like, in, in its entirety. But at least it should protect it from, you know, like, scratches and stuff like that a little bit. So it's pretty nice. So I was happy that I picked these up. Because I never really had anything to kind of, you know, protect the packs as far as, like, sleeves go. So not bad. Oh, wow, you got all the Southern Islands graded. That is really nice. Dude, that's a really nice accomplishment, man. DMAC. All right, cool. And then all of these will go right back into the box. Try to use their thumbs. Wait, Trevor, are you talking about the, the patented thumb opening technique? Because we got, we got copyright on that, baby. They're infringing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're infringing. DMAC. Cool. Dude, DMAC, thanks for picking up a CB6 tonight, man. That is fresh out of a box, too, which is always nice. DMAC. How many of you guys thought there was going to be no stream tonight? <laughs> How many of you guys thought I was going to show up? No call, no show. Bill B says for the shipping. Okay, hey, Bill, thanks so much. Bill, you're all set. You are in for the shipping. Bill, thank you. Oh, damn. Steve says CP6 plus ship. All right, Steve, we're digging back in there, baby. And Steve, you let me know if you want to pick a number 1 to 14. And furthermore, let me know if you want to open it or have it mailed to you sealed. Guaranteed a hollow, by the way. Guaranteed a hollow. Six. All right, Steve, you got it. Number six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Alex says, open it. Steve says, open that bad boy. Ooh, all right, dude. We haven't opened up CB6 in like a couple months. For those who've been with the channel for a long time, and I'm talking like years, you will know that we on this channel alone have probably opened up, dare I say, over 30 boxes of CP6. 
yeah, I remember. <laughs> I don't even want to say what it used to be because it's so crazy nowadays. But man, yeah, we sold a lot of CP6. I think I there was at one point we were opening it so much that I was just throwing these empty boxes in the trash. Maybe like halfway through, I started keeping the empty boxes, and I probably have at least 20 plus empty boxes CP6 or sitting somewhere in my house. All right, Steve, every pack of CP6 is guaranteed a hollow, but what we really want is the pack with the hollow and a secret rare inside of it. But other than the secret rare, the only really nice pull that you can get other than the, you know, hollows and such would probably be the Pikachu. Because the Pikachu in a PS10 goes for like, you know, a cool like 50 bucks. Which honestly is not bad, right? Not bad for like a common. Now with these, there is no pack trick. Just because depending on if you get one or two hits, the pack trick changes. So we got coughing. Shout out to Linda. We got the Metapod. Diggly. Magmar. Magnemite. Weedle. Oh, okay. And then we got a Hitmonchan for the Hollow. Charmeleon and Raticate in the back there. Nice. All right. So no secret out of that pack. But of course, like I said, we do get a guaranteed Hollow out of every pack, which in my opinion makes it a really nice opening experience. And just like Evolutions, these are all reprints of the base set. So these are all reprint of the base set cards. Steve with the Hitmonchan. We are probably responsible for 80% of the supply on the market. Dude, low-key, bro, yes. I think we alone impacted the price of the PSA 10 Charizard from this set. Because you can get, on average, you at least get usually one Charizard per box. Like, just hollow, not secret. And then usually, on occasion, I'd say like 25%, you might get two. Because we've had a lot of boxes have two Charizard hollows in it, which is nice. Hey, Scotty, where's your best pull so far? What's up, Sapphire? We just started. I would say our best pull so far was probably that right there, actually. But we just started. I spent, like, the whole first 30 minutes just talking, talking crap about the internet. <laughs> Steve with a CP6. Yeah, CP6 is really nice. I love CP6. Yo, what's up, Spencer? How you doing, man? What's poppin' tonight, dude? You probably get that a lot. Listen, Linda. Dude, she definitely does. Yeah, she definitely does. Adam, so sign me up for the Temporal Forces Battle. Adam, man. So, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe we will lag tonight. Maybe we won't, but I guess we'll see. Because maybe there is, like, a small chance that with all the tinkering of the wires that happened today, maybe, you know, all that needed to happen was some external wires being replugged, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Benjamin says, let me get three OP05. Sheesh. Benjamin. Fun fact. Who's got some fun facts? Have you using Wi-Fi? Or, dude, of course I'm using a hard wire. What do you think I am, a rookie? Well, I guess I am kind of a rookie. But yeah, dude, I'm hard. I'm hardwired in. I'm wired up. I haven't streamed on Wi-Fi since maybe like <laughs> my first year of doing this, which was like four years ago. Oh, and we got a Captain Kid right off the rip, Benjamin. So yeah, I'm hardwired in. The really weird part though was with the Verizon, even after being hardwired in directly to my PC or to the PC, it was lagging like heck. So at that point, I was like, all right, if the router is lagging directly with the wired, then there's got to be something more going on here, probably with the equipment. VP. Yeah, dude, Ronnie, it really started to happen once I got back in the DR, man. Yes, I don't know what happened when I was gone, dude, but damn, something definitely happened. And a no. I want to buy a CP6, so I'm trying to contain myself. Yeah, they are pretty expensive. They are pretty expensive. I feel like they're also really cool pack arts too, though. Which I think is kind of nice. 
Yo, no effing way, Giovanni, bro. Yo, oh my god, Gio, you are a literal madman. Cause I see you, dude. Benjamin. Honestly, Ben, that was not bad. I don't know what the kid goes for, but that's pretty nice. I got a parallel for you out of three packs. We'll take it. A no. Whew, Giovanni was waiting for it. Now, I do have that Heart Coastal Silver Box. If people are wanting to dibble dabble into it, we do have the Heart Coastal Silver. It's pretty nice. All right, Giovanni, bro. This man is absolutely crazy. He bought six packs. He put the six in CP6. Giovanni, oh my lord, dude. Whew. Six of them. So now, Gio, the question that I have for you, though, is we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 left. I need six numbers, one to 13, from you, Giovanni. Six numbers. This is huge. Speaking of huge, Gio, I got your bags on on on, uh, on tap here. That's Jason's, actually. But Gio's got some nice stuff, dude. Oh, my God, look at this. This is from Base Set. Oh, and you do have one seal. Is that a heavy, Gio, that you got sealed? I don't know, actually, was it? Roger. Opening all of them? Well, so Geo says three sealed and three open. So I'm not usually one to weigh CP6, uh, you know, just because you are guaranteed a hollow in every pack. But Geo, you know, you bought a lot of packs. And if you want, we could try experimenting with weighing them. I'm sure packs that would have a hollow and a secret to them ought to weigh more, right? Would be my gut instinct. So if you want to keep three sealed for collection purposes, maybe we just weigh all six real quick and open the three heaviest. If you want. Okay, so he says... Wait, he gave me... Oh, yeah, that is three numbers. Wow. Okay, that looked like a lot. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Holy... Bro, how many of these got left? Oh, my God. We only got seven left. Woo. Okay, yeah, Geo sounds good, man. You got it. Let's do that there real quick. Yeah, I think it's a good idea, especially if you don't plan... If you wanted to, like, keep them sealed to open later, then maybe no point in, like, knowing. But if you plan to open them all, or don't plan to open them all, then I think weighing them makes a lot of sense. So we'll try that real quick. Because it makes sense. Logically speaking, it just makes sense, right? A hollow and a secret, that's like two hits in a pack. I feel like that's got to have, got to have a, a bigger weight to it. Buy another box stat. I actually have two more boxes of this, but honestly, I've held on to them as like investments, basically. 16, 18. This one is a fresh box. I just got in today. Okay, so 16, 14. So I'd say that's probably about the same. I'd expect a secret rare pack to probably have a heftier weight. That one's 23. It's a little bit heavier. That one's 15. Okay, 16. 23 again wow okay because it's not only you get secrets you can also get a rare a double rare as well in the extra spot and 16 okay so if it was my advice i would say keep these three and by the way um even these lighter packs are still guaranteed a hollow you could still pull a hollow charger out of it so it's not like these packs are duds by any means guaranteed a hollow but these all weight about the same and since this one kind of has like a little you know a little wavy part here i'd say if you're gonna open three might as well pick this one out of that lot so this is the ones I'd pick, Gio. Let me know if you're cool with that. What's up, Tully? This is Japanese CP6. Japanese CP6. It's the 20th anniversary set from Japanese. 20th anniversary set. So, Gio, let me know how you're thinking about that distribution. I'm going to start saving these up because, like I said, I think that just makes the most sense. These are, like, the most pristine packs out of the lighter weights so if you want to open up three for sure then i say that one should be added second from the top must be open i am the seeker what's up carl man 
These sleeves are actually really nice. It's like more, way more professional. <laughs> I'm happy that I got these. Giovanni. All right, so Gio, you let me know again in the chat just to confirm. The line's not that long anyway, so I'm cool just chilling waiting for a response from you too. But this was a huge purchase, Gio, so thanks. Let me start by saying thanks for that. Let's grab you three of these puppies. And he gone. Yeah, it might be. I don't know. I don't think he's actually gone, but he might be. <laughs> he might be. Let's open the happies. Okay, sounds good, Geo. So you don't want to open up this one either? Let me know. Do you want to open up that one either? It was a little bit lighter weight compared to the other two. Let's talk about the Heart Coastal Silver. What's up, Nick? Dude, you know, Nick, I love that you like Heart Coastal Silver just like me. So I can, like, live vicariously through you, and I love it. Uh, but yeah, so I have that Heart Coastal Silver collection box. There's five Heart Coastal Silver era packs in it. Uh, there's two Triumphant, I believe. One Unleashed, one Base and uh one undaunted so basically one of every set triumphant has two and there let's open four then okay hold on wait <laughs> hold on so wait gia let me get this straight though right, let me just take these out you want to open up four of them now not just three and you want to open up the two heaviest you have the one with a little crinkle and then one of these three So just in case you didn't hear me, Geo, these two back here, this one did not weigh heavy. These two weighed heavier than the rest. So those are the ones that I feel pretty good about. This one was in your light. The all four of these were lighter weights. And like I guess like like again I said, these all have a guaranteed hollow in it at the least. So oh he's not mistaken. Wow. All right. So Geo, we'll put this one in just because you know sealed collection wise that flap might be hard to get out. And I guess you pick another one, Gio. Which one do you want to open? These are all about the same weight, so I think these are all pretty fair game. Add a fourth one, Gio. Do you want left, middle, or right for your fourth pack? This is about to be crazy. This is about to be crazy. Uh, no. That other one in his bag, I'm pretty sure that that's, that's OG base set. So yeah, the pack right here in his bag is OG base set. So just so you can kind of see a little bit of a difference here. The wing is different completely. The Venusaur. So these are, I guess, like the, you know, like the the XY era ones. So the Venusaur looks way different. The Charizard looks way different too. He has more of like the X and Y uh, Charizard kind of like spike on him. But yeah, you can definitely see a couple differences on there. Venusaur especially. Oh my God, dude. Venusaur grew. Whoa, I didn't even notice that. Whoa, yeah, I didn't even know that. Okay, he said number two, so that's going to be middle. All right, so G, we're going to put that there. Okay, cool beans. So these will go back into your bag sealed, and we'll open up those four for you. You got it? All righty. So we'll start with the lighter ones, and then we'll work our way to the heavier ones for last. But Gio, in total, we're going to open up four, right? These two are going to snake into your bag sealed. But, you know, if anyone does have a Japanese pack collection, these are definitely a great addition. All right. Okay. So, Gio, I think we're all set. I'll stop asking you questions now, and I think we're ready to go, man. So, let me start by saying, Gio, thanks for the crazy, crazy order right there. Six packs of CP6. All righty. Gio, we got four packs on the dot. Let's do it, baby. Let's start with the one with a little bit of a... A little crimple here. So as far as regular hollows go, obviously Charizard's gotta be the best, right? No doubt about that. Uh, there is no Venusaur, there is no Blastoise in this set. So Charizard is the one that's definitely the best. After that, you're probably looking at things like Mewtwo, Coughing, Onyx, we don't Electabuzz. Vulpix. And secret or rare is... Oh, okay. We got Machamp. 
Arcanine and the V drill in the back there. Machel. The hollows look really, really dope from this set too. I like them. Really, really nice vibrant hollows. I'm a big fan of the old Machamps. I think there was a pretty big alert to them too, because if I'm not mistaken, I think you could only get those not obviously in actual base set, but by the theme decks, which in English kind of made them a little bit more like common, you know? So I feel like a lot more people kind of had one of those because you just got them in the theme deck or whatever it was, like the starter deck theme deck thing. Because I know I had a couple of those growing up for sure. All right, Geo Pack numero dos. Okay, we start off with a seal. Ratata. Oh, nice. There's the Pikachu. A little gravy on top. Doduo. Weedle. Magmar. And... Oh, nice. Nice, dude. And I saw a Raichu in your bag as well, dude. So now you got an OG base at Raichu and a 20th anniversary Raichu. It's got a really nice swirl. All right, that is pretty sick. That is really nice. Raichu from the CP6. And we got Pikachu in the same pack. Kind of nice, actually. You know, I actually have not checked on the price of that Charmeleon at all. So I don't even know if that Charmeleon is like a pretty worth really common to pull too. Might be. Where's Anthony been? I haven't seen Anthony in a really long time. Anthony went like extremely deep on CP6. And then we did eventually sell out of it. I didn't see him ever again. So I don't know. Maybe you just maybe you just really like CP6. <laughs> maybe you only like CP6. <laughs> that was his preferred set. Alright, Geo. We now move on to the heavier of the packs. And I'm hoping in these we either get you a secret or at least like a double rare. Because the double rares are actually pretty pricey too. Uh, mostly because you don't really get them in every pack. So they're actually pretty they're pretty rare actually. Geo. Ooh, alright, Charmander. Voltorb. Growlip. Machop. Ponytail. Porygon. All right. So hopefully an extra hit here. Double rare or secret. Come on. And... Oh, okay. So that is actually going to be a double rare. So that is going to be the Machamp break. Which I know a lot of people from XY Evos hated the breaks. But again, in the Japanese ones, definitely a lot more valuable because they're not as common. And our hollow. Oh, we got a Nido King. And Nido King. Needle okay. King. Nice. Okay, so that actually did work. So it did seem like the heavier the pack, of course, we did actually get double hits out of it. So that's cool to know. That's cool to know. These are definitely weighable, I'd say. But then again, like I said, you know, you can get the Charizard Hollow out of a pack without a secret or a double rare. So still really worth opening all of them, in my opinion. This is why we never really bother weighing them in the first place. I don't have a 20.7 gram rocket pack this past weekend. I got a non hollow rocket sneak attack. That sounds very familiar. I think we got one of those here too recently too, actually. The thing with rocket though, man, is rocket is such a hard set to weigh that you really never know. You know, you really, really never know. So you just got to feel lucky. You know, you just got to feel lucky. All right. Geo, our last pack. But it was exactly, dude, right. I mean, dude, life's too short to really worry too much, man. You gotta have fun first. Well, you know, not like absorbingly where you're like, you know, in debt. But you gotta have fun when you can have fun, man. You got to. Life's too short to, you know, worry about a lot of it. Seal. Char Char. Hollywood. Magikarp. 
Electabuzz. Drowsy. Come on, baby. Show me, like, the Pikachu secret rare. Right now. Oh, okay. We got another double rare. We're going to take that. Mega Pidgeot. Actually, that's a Pidgeotto. Mega Pidgeot. EX. Not a Pidgeotto. Pidgeot. And Charizard. Oh, dude. <laughs> All right. I got nine T's, dude. Holy moly. Beautiful. All right. And nine tails coming on that pack as well. Absolutely jabated, dude. Ah, you're teasing me. Naughty, naughty. So close. Yeah, dude. So, we, you know, we did kind of accurately were able to suss it out. So. I guess if someone does buy a pack and wants me to weigh it, I, sh I guess I supposedly could. But like I said, even if you get like a lighter weighing pack, it could still damn very well have the hollow Charizard in it. So still worth opening in my books. But if people want to, I'm a man of the people. Woo! Damn, Geo! Thank you so much for that huge order, bro. That was nuts. That was so crazy. So just as a quick recap, our hits there. And I forgot the Pidgeot. Wait, I didn't put in a top loader? I'm crazy. I only have a vintage when I was younger, so I'm from an ice cream truck. So, for the four hollows, we got Nine Tails, Raichu, Nidoking, Machamp. And then for our double rares, we got a Machamp Break and the Mega Pidgeot EX. Giovanni. So yeah, damn, Joe, that was a huge dent in the box for sure. So I really appreciate the order, man. That was crazy. And if people would like to see the Heart Coastal Silver Collection box, I'll happily show those off again if people want to see some. Or see it. I only have one of them. Yup, yup. And that's Steelix from Aquapolis, man. Yeah, that's Steelix from Aquapolis too, which is pretty dope. My dad's buddy owned an ice cream truck and had a distributor for Pokemon cards. Damn, it was that easy back then, huh? <laughs> I wonder if he's got, I wonder if he's got, uh, like, anything randomly laying around from his ice cream truck days. That'd be crazy. So this is the Heart Coastal Silver Collection box. It's $250 per pack. You can buy multiple spots or one spot if you want. Uh, but there's a Heart Coastal Silver Base, Heart Coastal Silver Unleashed, Heart Coastal Silver Undaunted, and two Triumphant. So just like all Heart Coastal Silver sets, you're looking for Primes, looking for the Legends. And in Heart Coastal Silver Base, you can actually also pull the really dope Energy cards. But what we'll probably do is we'll give the Meganium, Feraligatr, Typhlosion promos to one of the three front packs as well. So, you know, the front three packs will also get one of the Cracked Ice promos. Unleashed and Base are, in my opinion, the better Heart Gold sets. So those will not uh, get an extra promo. But the front three will also get one of the three promos to go with it too. So that's the Heart Coastal Silver Box, and they're 250 a spot, five spots. Giovanni! Yeah, Gio, that was certified crazy. Eric, yes, is 2 OP of 5 keep any leaders? Who gets the toy? Uh, you know, I actually completely forgot about that being in there. Yeah, there is a statue now that I think about it. Um, yeah, I guess we could assign it to the to one of the packs, too. I, I guess if I had to pick the best set in that whole box, it's probably the Heart Gold Silver Base. Because there's Legends, Primes, and the Energies. So, I guess in theory, the first option would be is either just give it to one of the other packs. We might have to, you know, shift it down. So, one of the Triumphs got this, uh, the statue... And Unleashed will get one of the promos. Or, or we could just say F that and just randomly pick one of the five spots to get it as a freebie. I put all five spots on the wheel and whoever spot gets it gets the statue too. Or the figure, I guess. Not a statue. Here we go. Yo, Sergio. Bro, thank you for the 34 months, baby. 
that's a really long time. But yeah, that's actually like a really, really nice uh, figure right there. That is Entei after all. It comes like a little stand that says Entei too. Entei. Yeah, that's a really cool box. I've opened up like maybe like 10 of those so far in my life. And they're just getting harder and harder to find. So I was happy to be able to find one still. Miles, what? Miles pushing P says two slabby hit boots. Miles P. Hey, Rich, what's up, dude? Uh, Heart Coastal Silver is available for a break tonight if people want to do it. I didn't really get to fill up the, the slab box at all, really. Ekans. And, oh, not the double snake. The double snake guy. Miles, that is going to be a pup. Hathib says, let me get six Pixar. Hathib. That is Disney. Do we have a Pixar? We do. We do have an open Pixar box. How's it? Those mighty, those Mimikyu collection boxes reprinted. They have Evo Skies and Astro for 15 bucks. Wait, where's that at? Yo, Benjamin coming in hot with the champagne. Champagne poppy. Yo, Ben, thanks for the 17 months home slice. That's a long time. So Ben, I appreciate you, man. That's a really long time, actually. That is almost a year and a half. Rich, you wanted the hardcore silver? Because I'm about to buy the box. Dude, Nick is a crazy, crazy mad lad. Nick. SR. Damn, dude. All the new stuff I got in today are about to be gonzo. <laughs> oh, Wally. CP6 already halfway sold out. Harko about to be gonzo. I gotta work harder, man. I gotta find more stuff. It's just hard, dude. It's not easy. Nowadays, everything's so dried up. It's like, goddamn. I haven't seen one of those Harko boxes pop up in forever. Also, we're almost at an hour live so far, and I don't know if we lagged a single time, chat. What do you guys think? Have we lagged a single time? Woody. And soul. Eight minutes? Yeah, I, 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 won't, I won't. I'll cross my fingers, but I guess we do still have some time before we hit the hour mark. That's true. That's it. I think both of these are full. Yep. We have a third one? Nope. I'll, I'll catch you a new one then. That's it. Can we spend an hour picking a new playlist? Damn, dude. I mean, yeah, I don't mind. I can pop it up. I think we got one order in the queue for Jaw, and then we can look at the playlist right after that. I'd be down. We, we do. I do feel like we need some new tunes for sure. There's definitely some more new playlists that have been added since I started using this software. But I feel like we could probably find something, hopefully. We do also have a Temporal Forces Battle. It's 24 bucks for those who might want to sign up. And I think right now we got two players in it. John B. Three. Star Wars Galaxy. All right, John, let's get you that fresh box. Actually, my last box to talk to. So I might have to order some more of these. I have been doing some more research on some other Star Wars Galaxy Chrome sets. Bro, there's some really nice sets out there. Some of them get really expensive, though, so I don't know. But we'll see. I feel like crap. My whole family is sick. I haven't been able to hold anything down. And my baby boy just woke up and projectile vomited. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, Tom, I'm sorry. That sounds terrible, man. What do you think it is, dude? You think you got the big, uh, the big 19, you think? Alrighty, John B. With a fresh booster box. Darth Vader. The Troopers. Oh, okay, nice. We actually got two of the Darth Vaders. The one in the middle there is a refractor. 
So I, I assume a lot of you guys already know what I'm talking about when I say refractor, but maybe I'll also quickly just show off uh, the difference too. So the big the big difference in the refractors is of course it doesn't say it in the back. So right there in the corner it does say the word refractor. But beyond that, you can tell it's a refractor because like it's rainbow e. So like when you see the shine in it, it's kind of rainbowy, right? This one doesn't really have that rainbow glow. This one does. So that's basically refract. That's how I determine it. The refractors kind of have that rainbow uh, glow in the border. I was a miles. No miles. You did miss. You. I think you got double ekans though. Two ekans. Box number two. From Target. Oh, okay. So it's a retail thing. I see what you're saying. I might have seen those before, actually. Maybe. Return of the Jedi. Wait, on the slab hitbox. Yes. Yep. Oh my god, dude. Nick G actually just bought that whole box. Bruh. <laughs> oh man. Damn, son. All right, guys. We got some pretty, pretty exciting stuff coming up. Geo and Nick G going nutty tonight. Holy moly. Whoa, what is this? Whoa, I've never seen that before. Oh, weird. Well, I'll put it here for now. You never know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's something special. Yoda. So I think that thing was on the Yoda card, but I don't see anything missing. Like, I don't see the card was miscut or anything. Yep, the heart goes silver box, and I only have one of them. Yeah, that is gonzo. We do still have CP6, of course, and if people do want to dabble in Agent Origins, we can, but man, that box is too expensive, in my opinion. And I don't know, guys, we're, we're, past, we're almost past the hour mark, and I don't think we've lagged a single time, so, you know, knock on wood, but feeling pretty good right now, which is odd because I had a lot of internet issues today. Gian to the B! To the windows, to the John, to the John. Hate is a strong word. Yep, that's what my mom always told me. Hate is a strong word. Then you say I strongly dislike it, which honestly, dude, it's the same thing. Wait. Oops. John B. Sean says, Nick, you opening? I, I can't answer for him, but I feel like Nick is usually an opener, man. I feel like he is. I feel like he usually is. Nicholas R. Says, let me get... Temporal forces, three of them. I think I need a new box for you, man. I think I do. Yes. Nick. We got the Nick army in today. He says opening it all. Oh my God, dude, Nick. You're actually, you're crazy, bro. And I love it. So Nick, I want to ask you this too, Nick. Are you interested in getting ships soon? Now, I don't care. You know, you don't have to if you don't want, but I thought I'd ask because I know you do have quite a lot of stuff. So I'm not sure if you want to Hold on here, or you want to get a ship tomorrow or not, but up to you, really. Alrighty. Nick R. Three Temporal Forces. Let us get a lag spike so I can switch out the Ghastly. <laughs> Incineroar.
He usually is. Yeah, exactly, Sean. Now, you know, there are times where certain things you're like, no, that's too cool. Like, I have to keep it sealed. And honestly, dude, that's a really nice box. You know, not, not a toot that horn in that box, but that's a really nice box. Oh, okay, Nick, sounds good. Okay, cool, Nick. I'm glad I asked you and didn't just ship you there. You know, that's that's like a good good pointer right there is I try not to ship people unless I like confirm with them because dude, a lot of times people move and I don't want to be shipping stuff to someone's address and they're no longer there and then it's like just lost. So I always try to wait or make sure the person's down to be shipped. Now, some people definitely don't like that because you know, some people just want to place an order, not do anything else and get it shipped. Uh, but you know, to me, I rather ship your stuff correctly to the right place versus not doing that and have you know then the consequence yeah the mind of the company like hey I don't ship my stuff yet and I'm like okay I'll ship it now but at least that way it's safe and sound you know and it's not somewhere in the ether especially for a lot of stuff hey AJ what's up dude how you doing tonight homie Trevor Trevor smelling blood in the water three slab hit box Trevor W <laughs> I didn't know Incineroar was in TF. She won't. Oh! Wow! Trevor! With the alley oop snipe! Is that even a thing? Oh, damn! If anyone is having issues with the website, the Q link, the firewall is thinking it's a fake store, so you have to make an exception settings for it to work properly. Oh, wow. So, Servant, thank you for saying that, because now I can try to see if I can look into it and see if there's some sort of setting on my end to, like, not... Because that's bad. I don't want that to be an issue for people. So maybe it has to do something with, um... Like, what's it called? Like, the DNS or whatever? I don't even know, but now I'm just making random stuff. So maybe there's something I can do. Oh, nice, Trevor, PSA 10, Lance's Dragonite from the VS series. Yeah, no, sir, but I'm glad you did. But low key, like, you know, you shouldn't have to go through the hoops just to load my website. So that's not good on my end either. So I got to try to make sure that people don't have that issue. Because if you're having it, I'm sure other people are having it too. Okay, then Nick. Nick! How many of those you got? I had three of them. And now I think I have one left. So I think one went to the slab bag, one went in there. But yeah, I had three at one point. I, I collect the VS series a lot, Alex. So I still have one for myself, but the duplicates, you know, I'm just cool to sell those. Wow! Alright, bro. Let's zoom out real quick. Just for the one time. Oh my god, dude. Look at this. Bro, look at that stack of cards. Look at those. Holy buckets. We got towers over here. This is hard gold soul silver. And we're opening up this whole box. So I think we'll keep it on the wide screen just as we open the box. But then we'll, you know, zoom back in. We open up the packs. So the cool thing about this product is it is actually officially sealed. So you might not be able to see it, but there's kind of like tape on both ends. So maybe if I shine it right, you can see it. Yeah, there you go. So it is officially sealed, which is pretty nice. And of course, it comes with five hard coastal silver packs, three of the nice promos, probably going to be in beat up shape as they always are. And a really, really cool Entei fit here. Let's open it up. One little slip of the hand and the pile's gonna knock over. It's happened many times, Tamu. Yeah, I've knocked over towers of cards before, multiple times. Earthquake. Ooh, all right, and here we have it, baby. Wait a minute, that's supposed to be a three-party gauntlet? Uh, you're probably talking about that triple blister. Alright, and the fact that it's like kind of tough to open is good. That's a good sign. Definitely just means, you know, no one else has opened this before. <laughs> Not that I'm worried about it, but, you know, just thought I'd point that out. It's the little things. Okay, nice. So these two Probos actually, like, might be in good shape. 
right, I just see a couple, a couple of defects. But honestly, not bad. I mean, I don't see like any crazy like prong dings. Maybe like one little ding right there. But you know, for this type of promo nowadays, these are always just never going to be 10 pretty much. If you somehow get a 10 on one of these, I'd be like surprised to the max. Naganya might be in good shape too. These are actually really cool. The Crack Dice promos here. Oh, nice. Okay, Meganium looking pretty pretty good, actually. It's a little bit off-centered, though. One-way dot up there, but this actually is, like, pretty mint. What's your go-to Chipotle order? Depends if I'm feeling, like, a burrito that day, or sometimes I'll get the bowl, too, just if I'm, you know, like, if I'll get, like, a bowl sometimes and get some chips and, you know, dip them, you know, make the bowl kind of like a... Like a dip, basically. Uh, but yeah, usually I'll get a burrito. I get it double wrapped. I get chicken. Ooh. Chicken, black beans, uh, white rice, double white rice, uh, sour cream, cheese, corn, lettuce. I don't get any of the salsa or any of the fajita stuff. Here's the Ente figure. actually really dope and i like how it comes in its own little protective case too which is kind of nice all right and then what we really are looking for in here five packs of heart gold soul silver easily one of my favorite arrows in pokemon and we got some really really nice selection here so one heart gold base one unleashed two triumphant and one undaunted now undaunted i love because it has an umbreon in it Okay, so let's zoom it back in. And yeah, guys, I don't think we lagged a single time, bro. It's been over an hour. I don't think we lagged a single time, right? Woo! All right, chat, before we start, we have to give Nick an oblo obligatory round of applause slash good luck. This is a super expensive item nowadays, and we need some hits. We need some hits. So chat, one time for the one time, drop the fire emojis, drop the Umbreon emote, the Espeon emote, the Waifu emote, whatever you gotta do. So we need to bring the luck upon us, and we need, to, we need at least three hits. Harkle is pretty hitful. Like, you usually get two legends a box, upwards of like, I think four to six primes per box. So, you know, we got basically a, this is almost a sixth of a box right here. So at least two hits, I would say, at least. Now, we're going to go in my particular favorite order. So, I would say Triumphant's my least favorite, all the way down to base being my favorite from this era. And we're going to start it off hot. Start it off hot. Nick, Triumphant. I'm calling it, Nick. I think we can do it, man. I think we can. Now, what would be really crazy is if we can get you the same legend piece bottom and top out of both triumphants. Now, it would be, it's going to be impossible, but we've seen the impossible here before. We have twins. Ooh, a Dragonair. Love me, Dragonair, Dragonite, Dratini, Yan Mega. A Paul. Shop it. Bellsprout. By the way, fun fact I don't know if you guys know this, but. Bellsprout is Pokédex number 69. Giggity. Luminates. Spoink. Oh, okay. Reverse Celebi. That is a reverse rare on the onion. And... Oh, that's a hollow. Nice. All right, that's going to be a Venomoth hollow. So that is coming out of our first pack, a Venomoth Hollow. Well, that's actually a nice swirl in it, too. Really, really, really subtle hollows back in the day from this era. Really, really subtle. Venomoth. But even Celebi is good, too, as a reverse. That's a legendary. Or I don't know. Is, did the kids nowadays say these are mythics? I don't even know. Back in my day, they were all legendaries. But now I think they know they introduced mythic Pokemon. So maybe this is a mythic. 
but I'm gonna call it a legendary. So, so far, we start off with a bang. We got a rare hollow in our and a reverse rare, too. So, that is definitely gonna be considered a hit. So, we are, yeah, like Nick said, we are one for one right now. On to our second triumphant pack, Nick. Oh, it's a mythical now? Yeah, see, I don't, I don't really understand what the change was. If anyone could explain to me, why did it become a mythic? So when did it become a legendary is now, a, or some, not all legendaries are mythics, but what's up with that? Anyone know for real? Let me know in the chat. I feel like as, as my job title would entail, I should know what that is. Seeker. Licky Licky. Magma. Ghastly. Machop. Venonet. Luminaze. Cubone. And. Okay, we got Rescue Energy. And the rare is. A Needle Queen. Pretty cool, though, actually. Look at the really nice art. Needle Queen for the non hollow rare. Needle Queen. I have zero reason to be honest. Carl says, I know the re Carl, I know whatever is going to come out of your mouth is going to be an absolute cap. So <laughs> I'm going to take it as you don't know, Carl, because I already know you're about a cap. All right, so that is triumphant. Both packs of triumphant opened up. We went one hollow, one non hollow rare. And I'm going to be honest, if we're going to miss on a set, it's it would be triumphant. These are the sets we do not want to miss on. Next, we're going to go with Undaunted. I am actually a huge fan of this set. It got the Umbreon Prime in it, which we've actually pulled once, maybe like a couple weeks ago. Can we get another? Hey, Dan, there's 10 slab bags left. 10. What's up, Troy? Basically, you have to go to an event. Oh, okay. Well, I feel like even back in my day, I went to go to GameStop to get a Celebi, and I was still calling it a Legendary, I think. Gloom. Yo, Gloom's always just so sussy. Flower Shop Lady. Sableye. Togami. Pineco. A.A. Aaron. Gligar. Beldum. Come on, baby. Prime me up. Prime me up. Ooh, sight the reverse. And the rare. Oh! <laughs> All right, dude. That is phenomenal. Hollow Houndoom? Dude. Bro, Houndoom is so... So underrated in my opinion. Now I'll admit, I, I also forget that Houndoom is like a Pokemon, but bro, Houndoom is definitely cool. Like every time I see him, I'm like, oh yeah, Houndoom, I remember him. He's and Houndoom's dope. He is definitely a cool Pokemon. I feel like he gets forgotten though. And I'm also at fault. I do look forget about him too. And the sight they're also pretty nice too. Like and Undaunted's nice because or and honestly, Heart Gold Silver in general is kinda nice because all the arts are more like savage. I guess is the word I would use. More savage. Next up, we've got Hard Gold. Soul Silver Unleashed. Soccer, the Cubone Fire Trauma go to top. Wow, okay. Yes, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I can definitely be right after this. Hound Doom. Abs, dude. Abs Soul's dope. I don't know, BD. I would say, like, Shiftry, like, you know, my guy wearing those, those, uh, Japanese shoes. <laughs> Which, you no, know, no problem to that. Engineer's Adjustments. Plusle, that's pretty cool. Mate. Onyx. I'm rock hard. Squirtle. Misdrevious. Larvitar. Zubat. Dual Ball. And come on, baby. Legend me. And a Roserade as a non hollow rare. Roserade. Hey, Zeus. It has been a while, bro. What's up, man? How you doing? 
Okay, guys, we are on the last one. So far, I would say we're at 50-50, right? We got two hollows, two non-hollow rares, but we need a banger. Like, we need a bopper. So, Hard Gold Soul Silver Base is easily, in my opinion, my humble opinion, the best set out of the box right here. And we need something, chat. We need something. So, we need a Legend. We need a Prime. We're going to toss this cube over to the homie Tamu. Which, Tom, I think you might have one in the ship zone. Tom. My name's Magic, and I'm a Pokeholic. <laughs> okay. The name in Japanese most most directly translates to illusionary Pokemon. Mythical Pokemon are so rare in the Pokemon world, aren't sure if they're real. Whereas the legendaries are just known slash feared. Hmm. So you're saying it depends on if whether or not people know they're real or not, I guess. Alright, Nick. This is it, baby. Hard gold, soul silver, drop the base. Come on. Yeah, this might be the set that has the shiny Gyarados in it, too. I can't remember. This might be the one. All right. Here we go, baby. Starmie. Copycat. Double colorless. Cyndaquil. Sunkern. Slowpoke. Execute. Fan fee, come on, baby. Oh, okay, we got Caterpie, Caterpie, and oh, we got another Hollow. That's gonna be Slow King. Actually, pretty dope looking, and I do like Slow King. I do. You know why? Because he is the royal Pokemon. So I do like Slow King, I do. He is the royal Pokemon after all. Gotta pay him some respect. Alright, so overall. Overall. I can't be too upset. I did I do wish that we did it pull you like a, at least one prime, at least one legend, but three hollows, not bad. Three out of five in my books is not too shabby. So what I will say, Nick, is thank you for buying the whole box. That made a really, really crazy opening. And honestly, we'll probably cut that down into a short. So I'll probably be making a short out of that pretty soon, too, because that was fire. However, let's do a quick little recap on at least the hollow pulls we got and take one more look. Now, I guess Scyther is also cool, too. I'm not going to put in a top loader. Uh, maybe I should, but Scyther's an honorable mention, but he's not Celebi level. You know, he's not like a Celebi reverse. That's pretty nice. And then, of course, we also do snag the three promos and the Entei statue in the front there, too. Is this a real seal box that I sold you? <laughs> uh, yes, Carl. This is this, this is said box. Feraligator, Meganium, Typhlosion. Slow King, Celebi, Venom. Dude, I low-key, I even like the Venomoth. I don't think I've ever said I like Venomoth in my life before. But this is like a cool card. This is a cool card. And the Houndoom. Don't even get me started on that Houndoom too. Nick G. So, I don't have any more of these. Nick did snag the one and only one that I had. Um, however, I do know that Darius was saying that he would be down to hop in for um, Ancient Origins. I don't know if you guys really want to do it. Those boxes are over a thousand bucks. So they're really, really expensive. Uh, but if you guys do want to do it, I do have one available. It would be $75 for two packs. So one spot, 75 bucks, and you only get two packs for it. So not the not the most budget friendliest option, but it is there. Would you be interested in a Game Boy collection? Like video game Game Boy? Or you mean like the Game Boy promos?
Because there are Game Boy promos too. I think I might have sold all mine already, but I, if I had on, I'd show you too. But there are Game Boy cards too, like the Meowth, the Dragonite, specifically is really nice. Man, I used to have a Game Boy, dude. I remember when I would hide as a younger kid. As a younger, younger kid. I used to hide under the blanket and play my Game Boy at night and like sweat under there. Uh, because I used to be scared. I thought if I stuck my foot out of the blanket, like some monster would come eat me. So I'd sit under the blanket in its entirety and sweat my ass off playing Game Boy. Ah, I was a weird kid. I was a weird kid. So half the box is 500. Ah, uh, no. No, it's more than that. It's 18 spots, $75 a spot, and every spot is two packs. So if you did want half the box, you'd have to buy nine spots to get half the box in total. So if people are down for that, we could do it. Um, I know Darius was saying, he, I think he said he's down to buy like 12 packs or something crazy like that. So if people do want to do it tonight, we could try. We could definitely try. I used to do this, wait, real deal? Right? You run, so you used to do the same thing? Yeah, maybe that's just like a, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's just like a, a thing, you know? Jeff says 20 temporal forces and two slabby patties. Jeff. Yo, guys, I'm really stoked. I don't know if I should be getting excited right now, but I don't think we've lagged, right? You guys tell me. We haven't lagged at all tonight, and we're already over an hour deep. And 20 TF. I thought I just opened a ball. Oh, there it is. The monster only show up when you're staying at your uncle's house now. I was just a weird kid. I would watch... Guys, I would watch Courage the... I was such a scaredy cat. I would watch Courage the Cowardly Dog and get scared after watching Courage the Cowardly Dog. Two, four, five. So there's ten. I know I kind of... That's so weird. Two, four, five. Two, four, five. So there's twenty. Release the limiter! So it's really weird though, Abby, because I am on RCN right now, which is my old service, and it's working great, which is kind of making me think. F Verizon right now. <laughs> F Verizon. No lag, stay with the same. I don't know what could have been fixed. Maybe because I know they uh, detached the coax cable from the outside to change it to Verizon. I was like, no, 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 let's just run a new wire. So maybe them detaching and reattaching it kind of like gave it the the boot that it needed. I don't know. Which is kind of crazy because I could have done that myself. <laughs> Finagle the cord. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. That's exactly what I'm thinking. So I don't even know anymore because the RCN plan that I have is like not extremely cheaper. But, you know, it definitely saved me a couple hundred bucks every year. I'll send you the pictures. Yeah, sure thing, Eric. Sure thing. Yeah, I mean, that might be cool to pick up a Game Boy, honestly. So, I don't know. But for now, I'll just take it as it is. I'll be excited, and I don't know. Maybe I'll cancel. Because <laughs> I already bought Verizon, and, you know, the guys did come today to install it for free. So, I, I would feel bad just canceling it right away, but you never know. We'll see. At least I also have Verizon on standby, so if the normal one starts crapping out and I fix the Verizon one, then I have, like, two internets to juggle, which kind of is kind of cool. I want to start collecting. What should I buy? What's up, Jason? I would say, man, if you want to start collecting, what's your favorite Pokemon? Because usually I, I try to advise people that are new into the hobby to open sets with Pokemon they like in it. Because if you pull stuff that you like, then you're really going to enjoy it. And right now, Scarlet and Violet is dirt cheap. So if you like some cards that come in the newest sets, they're only $4 a pack. So I sell them way below MSRP. MSRP is $4.50 plus tax. And I sell them for $4 flat. Bianca coming in. So it's really nice. It is really, really nice. But if you're like an old school kind of guy, you might like one fifty one the most. Yup, yup, I agree, BD. Yeah, bad cables are usually the culprit. 
What was the very first game you played as a kid? That's a tough question, man. Very first game ever? Probably Mario. My mom was really, really into Super Mario Brothers. And growing up, I remember her and I used to play. I was like a young kid. And I was playing Mario with her on the N64. Scissor. And that Neo box. What's up, Perez? Yeah, dude. It's a nice one. That is our next box break. They're $550 a pack. Or $530 a pack if you pay through, like, Zell. So, pretty nice. Ah, uh, yes, Loot. There are still chases. I will not be showing what is left in the box, but there definitely are some chases left. That I can say. Tetris and Pong? I always hated Tetris, dude. <laughs> I always hated Tetris. Pokemon is probably the first video game. Yeah, you know, I don't I don't think that was the case for me. Oh, nice. Prime Catcher is like a 25, 30-ish dollar card. That's a huge hit right there. Very nice. So, yeah, first game ever. That's going to be tough, man. For me, if I had to just take best guess, I'd probably say some Mario game. If you ask me my favorite Pokemon game, dude, I would, I would say with ease, Pokemon Emerald was the best. And I played them all. I played Blue... Uh, red, yellow. I play this crystal one with Stu. That crystal cartridge was beautiful, bro. That little, like, glitter they put in there with the blue. Oh, it was so nice. That's probably my favorite looking Pokemon game was the uh, one with the Pokemon crystal with Suicune on it. I played that one. I played all the early games. I think the last time I basically quit Pokemon was like during Harkle Soul Silver, which could explain why I really love those that set a lot. Harkle Soul Silver a lot. Emerald is somehow the worst selling game. Is that true? Damn, bro, that sucks. Um, you know, I think as far as I go with Emerald, the reason why I really, really liked Emerald personally uh, was because they added the Battle Frontier for the first time, and that was the greatest upgrade ever. So the one big issue with me and Pokemon growing up was Pokemon was just too easy. I don't know if you guys had the same experience or not, but Pokemon games were just way too easy. You know, you just spam your starter in every fight. You know, they're like level 60, the rest of your party is like level 20, and you just steamroll everybody with just your starter. So I thought Pokemon was just a little too easy. And the Battle Frontier was way harder. Battle Frontier was actually super, super difficult. So I love Battle Frontier because it actually gave me a challenge. So I loved it a lot, actually. I loved Emerald. And then my favorite non-mainline Pokemon game. Oh, dude, probably Pokemon Ranger. Pokemon and Mystery Dungeon. It's a hard choice between the two. Uh, but Pokemon Ranger, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon were also fantastic games. Yeah, those are great games as well. Ryan H says, can I have one spot on the Steelix for my birthday and give away a lucky spot on the TF battle to a member? Ryan H with the fat dono to one lucky member. Holy buggets. Ryan H, more like Mr. Beast. Whew. Awesome. So Ryan, thanks so much for that, man. Let's pick one lucky member to be the recipient of a free entry to the TF battle, courtesy of Ryan H. I just finished the Marine Ford and Luffy. Oh, dude, I know. Sonder, I know, dude. Yeah, I mean, at this point, at this point, I think most people know, like, what happens. But I won't say any spoilers, but, bro, it was sad. I think I almost cried. Like, legit, almost cried. And I've only, I've only ever cried to, like, TV shows and anime, like, a couple times. You know, oddly enough, the first time I ever cried to, like, a TV show was when, in Naruto, actually, when the third Okage dies to Orochimaru. And then I think I, dude, I loved Naruto a lot as a kid, so I loved it a lot. I think I also cried when Jiraiya died. <coughs> Spoiler. Should have said that before. <coughs> Spoiler. So, Ryan, happy flipping birthday, bro. And he did like a reverse. He did like a reverse. Usually on your birthday, you get the gifts. He was like, it's my birthday. I'm going to give you guys a gift. So if you guys don't give Ryan a gift, at least give him a happy birthday in the chat because Ryan is a really cool guy. And Ryan, thank you so much for your donation.
Alrighty, members, you guys got about another five to ten more secs to sign up for this giveaway. And let's pick our winner. I cried when E.T. went back home. Do you guys shop on eBay? If so, you could be helping out the channel with every purchase that you make. So take a look at the description. There is a eBay affiliate link there. By clicking on that link, it'll bring you over to the eBay homepage. Over here, you can search up whatever it is that you want to purchase. So let's say in this case, I want to get a PSA 10 Charizard. Simply look up the product, check out what that product after clicking our link, and it'll give a small kickback over to the channel at no extra cost to you guys. So it helps with the channel a ton, and if you guys are able to do that for me, I would appreciate it. But thank you guys all so much for watching or listening to this advertisement, and let's get back to your normally scheduled program. versus Kevin god damn bro you guys had a lot of health Kevin all right so that is gonna be our homie Kevin E snagging a spot in the TF battle for those who might want to join the battle it is only $24 it is pretty affordable dare I say if you do want to hop in for the battle there's Three people right now. If we hit six, we can do a single box. If we hit 12, we can do a double box. Kevin E. Hathim says five. Chainsaw Man. Dude, I just did my taxes and I got an ad just now for Turbo. T <laughs> they're listening. Christian, they're, they're listening, Christian. Have you ever, you know, I'm, I was surprised that after you told me about your cat and your allergies, you didn't get some, some like Zyrtec or random allergy stuff for ads. Um, yes, yeah, Sunsun, right now the queue's not bad at all. I think we got three people in it and there's definitely more spot. I think Antonio signed up. Brandon signed up. So we got five people right now. SR Revenge. What do they say? Revenge is a dish best served cold. Is that the saying? Revenge is a dish best served cold. Oh my god! No way! <laughs> a thim. We got power as a signature! That has got to be a good one, bro. Quick question for Chad and Sagar. Do you think the government slash your phone... Oh, 100%. Oh, Sean, no doubt about it, man. I 100% agree. I think that is true. Yeah, 100%. Oh, we even get the nice red top loader. Do you have any Stormfront? Um, I only have a Stormfront box. Yeah, I only have a Stormfront booster box. I used to have Stormfront blisters, but those all sold out. I think Rich bought the last couple ones I had like a couple weeks ago. So yeah, only Stormfront that I have in stock right now is I think just my seal booster box, which we will probably definitely be saving as a box break. But dude, Stormfront's a great set. So I, yeah, I wish I had more. I wish I did. Do I have any miscellaneous products that might have it? Maybe. I don't think so, but let me check. I think they do, but I'll double check real quick just to make sure. Let me see what I got. What do I got in here? Um, okay, so I got this box. Oh, that's got Drag Exalted in it. Whoa. And then I've got this. And I do have one more of these. Alright, well, that's always nice when you go to the shelf and you see some cool stuff. So I have Legends of Justice, but that has Plasma Storm in it. And this one has boundaries. I think that's a plasma blast and a drag exalted. Yeah, no stormfront, no stormfront, unfortunately. But we do have a box coming up. So Steve, you like it? We have fresh box coming up. Probably our next box break is going to be stormfront. Uh, 
Uh, no. Christian, we did not open up Ancient Origins. It would be, it would 100% be a box break. So if people do want to do it, we can. It's just really, really expensive. So it's $75 for a spot, and that's for two packs. So it would definitely be, uh, you know, not budget friendly. But we could do it. If people are crazy enough and want to do it, we definitely could. Jesus is back with some stickers. So is there the new fiber? No, Sonder, no. So they came today, Verizon came today. They put in the wires, they left a router, uh, but it was so bad. Like it was basically unusable. I am currently on my old Wi-Fi and we are not lagging at all. So yeah, I'm not even on Verizon. I have it right here. It's like I could change to the, the Wi-Fi right now, uh, but it'd be really laggy. So I'm on my OG Wi-Fi and it's going pretty good right now. Knock on wood, but we'll see if it we'll see if it stays like that forever. You know, we'll see. But so far, you know, we're doing pretty good. Are we doing an Agent Orange box break? I mean, I'm down for it. Yeah, I mean, I, that's a really minty box. So low key, I also wouldn't mind just kind of sticking it. Because eventually, it's not my goal, but eventually I might have the goal to collect every booster box. You know, like XY, Sun and Moon. Because Sun and Moon, I'm pretty much almost done with it. I'm not really missing much from Sun and Moon. So, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Anyways, I'm down to open it, though. Angel Orange is nice. I'm sure I'll find another box. Probably not as minty as that one, but I'm sure I'll find another one eventually. Team up? I do own a team up box. Yeah, and I also have team up blisters on the menu as well for those who want to open up team up. See, I've got team up. I've got, uh. Just cancel Verizon, tell them it's garbage, don't pay for two internets. That's kind of what I'm thinking, dude, because, you know, I already, I already got it, so I already paid for it, at least for the month, but I guess I could cancel it after this month, but we'll see. As of right now, I have both internets. Brock and uh, you know, we'll just see but tomorrow I told tomorrow. I'm gonna go uh, pick up a new router Because I do know that Darius he still has a pretty hefty credit I think and he told me that he I think he said I might be misquoting him But I think he said he's down for 12 packs so six spots out of 18 in the break. So, I mean that's a hefty start Drowsy, Raichu. Oh, you got Dodo and Dotrio in there and a Sandshrew. Good evening, all. Hey, Tyler, what's up? Yo, thanks for the like. Tyler, thank you for the like, man. He said one away from a hundo. Yo, thank you, man. Hazoo. Two internets means twice the double speed. I wish. Yeah, I wish it did. Hey, Crusaders. What's up, man? Oh, okay. Cool, Zeus. Thanks, man. Sounds good. Yeah, like I said, the line's not very long at all. So we're just going to go and order, Zeus. And you're going to come up pretty quick, actually. Actually, are you next? Oh yeah, so Zeus, you got one person ahead of you, and then we're gonna go right back to you, all right? Juanita! Three of the Chainsaw Man, Juanita. Yeah, no, Trev, I'm sure I could, but I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I'm down to just pay for the month, have it on standby, because if I do start experience lag again, you know, it just sucks. I'm not trying to have lag going on a lot. So at least for the month, I think I'm gonna keep it as a backup, if anything. And, you know, at that point, if it's like, okay, we're steady sailing for the month, then maybe I'll, you know, look into canceling it. But I hear you. I think that would definitely work. Because, I mean, I, I, I had issues today. I called them up and I basically bitched at them today about it. I'm like, you guys just got here to set it up, and it's already not working. New case. What's up, Joe? It sure is. Yeah, and I think we might have only opened up like a couple packs so far out of it. But yeah, brand new case of the Dragon Ball. 
Juanita with the chainsaw. The solar eclipse cleared your lag? Dude, I'm like pretty sure all it was was the wire for the coax being unscrewed and screwed again. That's probably all it was to fix it, which is nuts. Jesus! Let me get a Japanese Royal Five. All right. Damn, all right. So we might only have like, I don't know, like 30 or so? 30 or so of these Royal Five packs left. And Zeus, I'll let you choose a number, two, four, six to eight. So Zeus, give me a number one to eight. Actually, you might have more than 30. It's pretty small. Or pretty, not thick. So for those who've never seen the Japanese Royal Five Packs, uh, there's 100 of them made in this run. And out of the 100, 20 of them have a hit in it. So 10% chance at a Tag Team All-Stars. And 10% chance at a Japanese, like, Watsy Vintage Pack. Something like a Neo, something like a Rocket, something like a Fossil, a Jungle, a Gym Challenge. Six. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. So, in essentially, you have a one in five chance of at least pulling a Tag Team or a Vintage Watsy Pack. But then you also have a four in five chance of just pulling a Shiny Treasures, which would be a Tier 1. Crimson Haze in there, and... Ooh, okay! All right, all right, tier one, something light, tier one. Hey, Hector, what's up, baby? If you, if I continue experiencing lag, I'm canceling, I'm canceling my subscription. Well, I guess the nice thing is though now is my house is wired for fiber. So that's really nice. That is really nice. Yeah, no, BD, I, I'm sure that's exactly what it was, man. I'm sure. It just must have been. Must have been the issue. Good bit. Oh. Come on. We need something from Shiny Treasures. Please. Okay. We got Star You for the baby Shiny. I need another jam. We're all my life. So I am going to be getting ready to make another round of 100 Royal Packs pretty soon. What do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer the English or the Japanese ones? What do you guys think? Let me know. Because I am going to have to make another round pretty soon. Back on the cover about Emerald. The Battle Frontier was so hard, I had to level up several other Pokemon and catch a Latias. And it still wasn't enough to win anything? Yeah, dude. So that is, that's what made that game, in my opinion, really enjoyable. Because it gave you like a end of game challenge whereas i feel like the other pokemon games you would finish it and then you're just kind of like all right what do i do just level my pokemon to 100 for no reason you know so i definitely agree with you on that antonio so sign me in for temporal forces yeah i i think the router that they gave me was just bump. Yeah, I just think it was just a bump. Bunk. Alex! Two Crimson Haze! So, Alex, I'm not sure if you were able to check the menu, Alex, but Crimson Haze is currently out of stock. We should be getting them in, hopefully... I don't even know, but hopefully pretty soon, because my Japanese guy does ship pretty quickly. So, if not by tomorrow's stream... Or, sorry, tomorrow's Wednesday. If not by Thursday, definitely by Friday, but we should hopefully have it by Thursday. But he says, one TF. One, one, fifty-one, and then two Crimson Haze. So, Alex, if you have a different swap you want to make, let me know. But I basically owe you six bucks, all right? So let me know if you have anything else you'd like to swap to. I've never done a Nuzlocke. No, I know what they are, but I've never actually done one. Yeah, I'm sorry, Alex. We sold out pretty quickly on that set, which was nice to see. Uh, but I'll have you know, we did pull one SAR pairing, and I think we pulled like three or four full arts as well for it, too. So we did eventually get one, which is nice. We did get one of them. I'll take Lost Origin. Okay, sounds good, man. You got it. 
Hallo gesagt. The Battle Cafe was nice as well. With gym leaders using level 65 to 75 Pokemon. Uh, if I'm not mistaken too, I think there was something... Uh, something with... The, uh... There was definitely one, because I know there was a couple different, like, stadiums or whatever you want to call them, events at the Battle Frontier. And I think one of them, you, like, could use any... They gave you the Pokemon, I think. And they, it was already, like, leveled up or whatever, and they gave you the Pokemon to choose from. That was the one that I loved the most. Because you would just, like, go in and have to kind of, like, figure out, you know, how to make it work. Or how to win. They stole her, Alex! They stole her right out of your clutches. Right out of your clutches. Ah, yes, I think that was what they called it. The rental teams? Yeah, I think that's actually the exact verbiage, too. The rental teams. Brandon S. says Temporal Forces Battle. Awesome, Brandon. Thank you for signing up. He is in for TFJ. So yeah, I don't know if you guys do want to do Ancient Warns or not. I mean, we definitely can, but I guess let me know if you guys are feeling it or not. Because obviously, if it doesn't fill, that'd be kind of tragic. Two OP07. Hey, Ivan, what's up, man? One, two. How's the PSA sub doing? Um, we just got it into PSA, into their database, and it's currently in research and ID. So it, I know we shipped it like a week ago or whatever, but it just finally got put into the system. So it's there and it's showing up as an order now, which is nice, uh, but still hasn't really gone too far along, unfortunately. There we go. Cool. An OBO7, I think you just want the uh, SR is enough. There we go. Ancient Orders would be 75 for two packs. So 18 spots, 75 a spot for the Ancient Origins. And I did reach out back to that guy that I got the uh, EV Heroes from. So EV Heroes will be coming back. And we're definitely only going to do box breaks with it too, for sure. John B says three Star Wars galaxies, one evolving skies. He's just throw it out of nothing good. He wants a lucky $69 order. <laughs> John, damn dude, galaxies almost sold out. Holy buckets. John B with three of these. Favorite set in Pokemon? You gotta be, tell me, what, do you, what are you asking though? Vintage or modern? Limit me, limit it a little bit. Vintage or modern exclusively? What do you think? Because I, I have a different answer for both. I got it already lined up. Okay, John B. Let's get the disappointment. That is Evolving Skies out the way first, I guess. All of it? Damn, dude. If you're if you're talking... Ooh, everything combined? I'm probably going to go Neo Destiny, bro. Yeah, I can't go wrong with Neo Destiny. That has got the Shining Charizard. We got the Pea Bottle. Charizard, Mewtwo, Tyranitar Shining, Celebi, Noctowl. I mean, yeah, I love Neo. I love the Shinies. So any set with the Shinings, I love. I love Shining Legends particularly as well because of that. I've been playing 4chan Pokemon ROM hacks. <laughs> All right. Yeah, sometimes I do kind of feel like just hopping on and like getting an emulator or something to play some older games for sure. We did also crack open a fresh box of CP6 tonight, and it's like halfway sold out already, which is crazy. Uh, but CP6 is back on the menu, which is always nice to see. And it is one of those Japanese sets that are always guaranteed a hollow, so definitely always kind of nice to open one of those. John B. Just looking at Pokemon. Infinite Fusion. 
Is that like a is that like a custom made thing, like a ROM kind of thing? Yoda. Uh, Tops is not here yet, Hector, but we are going to be getting a pretty hefty restock of Top Series 1 and a little bit of Top Series 2. But yeah, they're already on the way. So Tops will be back, but honestly, dude, the way the, the amount you guys open it, it probably won't last very, very long. <laughs> Maybe like a stream or two. Uh, but Tops is on the way and it'll be back hopefully pretty soon. What else? Anything else cool that I got? All Pokemon games are fun to play on fights. You know, the last Pokemon game that I played was Arceus. Legends of Arceus. That was a pretty good game too, actually. I liked it. Okay, so we definitely need one more card in that pack. Oh, it is here. Okay. Ooh, it's kind of stuck. Oh, interesting. Ooh, what is that? Some sort of something. I go back to back. <laughs> All right, Hector, you got it, bro. Yeah, I know you guys really love the tops. Uh, it's just really hard to get in like big abundance. It really is. So I'm trying my hardest to make sure you have that stock at all times, but it's tough. But we got a lot coming in. A lot. So we're going to have a lot of it, hopefully. John B. Yeah, I don't really know what else. Um, I've just been doing some more research on like some top stuff. There is a card game that's already been out that's still relatively new. And it's got a lot of waifus in it. It's called Grand Archive. So I've been looking into maybe picking up some Grand Archive. I don't know if any of you guys know what that is. Hector says TF Battle to the loot, random spot on the Steelix, a Japanese Royal 5, and a vintage single. Holy buckets. Hector. All right, so Hector, we got you a spot here on the Steelix. Let's grab you a spot on the battle. Thanks for doing that for the battle as well. And pick a number, I think one to seven. Two, four, six. Yep, so Hector, one to seven for that. And then last but not least, a vintage hollow. Grand Archive booster boxes are huge. Well, Pug, do you mean like, do you actually mean like they're just big or do you think, or you mean like they're like a good item? Because I know that uh, what I've seen is the the last couple sets, they are like, I think the last set, they start introducing like sign cards similar to Weiss has. So to that degree, I'm pretty excited. I don't know what the pull rates are, but yeah, now they got sign cards in them and they're all booba cards. So yeah, it seems like it might be right up our alley. <laughs> might be right up our alley. Yeah, maybe we're picking that up. And then Union Arena is something that I'm really considering because it's now coming out in English. So I'm thinking Union Arena for English will definitely have that for sure. All right, so we got it all nice and shuffled up. Let's just grab you one at random. There we go, Hector. And he says number six. That's this one. I saw this morning doing a morning shift for OT. Chasing that bread... Bread friend to buffet money. How come everybody loves buffets? What's up with that? I feel like everyone's always talking about about buffets all the time. Tier one. Three dividers in a box. I gotta be honest, Pug. I don't really know what a divider means quite yet. I've only really just been looking at like set prices. Because one thing that I try to look at whenever I consider bringing something to the stream is what are the chase cards like going for? You know, I think a lot of people really care about that when they pick something to open. So I always try to look at that and the sign cards are going for a lot. Like some of those sign cards are going for like over a thousand bucks on TCG, which is like, damn. Rigged. Oh my God, that is really rigged. Hector. 
Arboliva, which, you know, I know we got a lot of Spanish speakers. Arbol? I know that in Spanish means tree. That much I know. And... Oh! Oh, man. I'm on a top loaders? Ooh, all right. We definitely need a top loader for this. That is going to be the OG original birthday Pikachu Black Star promo. Bro, this is in really good shape. Not bad at all. Ooh. Eating some teriyaki noodles? That sounds fire. All right, heck, that needs a top loader. Let me grab a new box. Get a celebrations piece of 10 of that. Well, it's still cheap. Thomas says $90 raw. Yeah, I know that's not going to be a PSA 10, but dude, straight up, that could be like a PSA 7, 8 for sure. If your grader needs some cataract surgery, maybe a 9. And even then, I think that still is a huge card in like a PSA 7, 8. So that's pretty good. Heck. Bro, oh, such a nice card, man. You know, I've, I've bought a lot of collections in my time, and I'll tell you, man, the amount of times I've actually bought this card as part of a collection, and the name is actually written up there, oof, it's, I've seen at least three of them for sure. Like that. And it just, it just hurts my soul just a little bit. Just a little bit. Zon Zon! This is one spot in the TF battle and six packs for myself. Zon Zon. Two, four, six, seven people! Wow. Alright, so five more and we can do a double box battle for those that might be interested. Nice thing about a double box battle is we are way more likely to at least pull an SIR. So that's nice. Yeah, Hector, hopefully you do, because <laughs> that was, yeah. That's the thing. I mean, it can also happen in English, too, right? You just pull a bunch of, like, bulk and maybe, like, an EX. But with the Japanese packs in particular, you know, you can definitely just get packs that are just straight bulk. So it does it does feel a lot, like, a lot less fulfilling, you know? I guess, like, if you really think about it, you know, in English, you also very well could just pull, like, hollows. At least that's hollows, though. But, you know, I guess it's a mental thing, right? You feel like you got something, even though we all know hollows are just kind of bump anyways. I had my name on mine, and I didn't give a shia. You still have it today? Sableye. But yeah, other than that, man, I don't really know, like, what else new is going on. I guess we got the new Japanese set pretty soon. Uh, Mask of Change is the name for that one. But yeah, other than that, I don't know. I don't know anything new what's going on What's anything new. I think Weiss, nothing really crazy coming down the Weiss pipeline. I guess Furion might be the newest title that I think I might be excited for. But other than that, I don't know. I just know there's too, too much new stuff going on. Obviously, Twilight Masquerade got released or teased already, but, you know, that's not out for a while. Yeah, exactly, Hector. I mean, I guess it adds up, though. You know, I guess it does add up. Hathim says six. Dedenji Bunko. All right, Hathim, you're just going into all the different white sets, trying to snipe them signatures. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess the only really cool stuff I have to offer to you guys is the Ancient Origins box break. I don't know if people want to do the Southern Islands binder. We could, but like I said, you know, that'd be 
pretty ridiculous, but we could. We do have some crazy people here, <laughs> including myself. Thoughts on custom ghosts, bro. He got two freaking ghastlies out of that box battle last stream. Two of them. Do more marbles. Hey, bro. I like the marbles. I like them. I know they caught a little bit of slack, but I thought the marbles were dope. Yeah, I thought the marbles were dope. Oh, yeah. I also forgot. Uh, maybe I should save until it's in. Maybe it'll be a surprise for that day, but... I did pick up another item. It's a Pokemon item. More niche item that I think will be pretty dope. And I guess a hint for that... A hint for that would be... Uh, if anyone watched the anime box break that we did, I posted it as a video to the channel. It was actually an item in that box. that I actually re got remembered about it, or reminded about it when I rewatched that video. So I did pick up a case of that. Not a case, a box of that. So that would be pretty cool when that gets in. A Pokédex and item finder? What are you talking about? Let's just forget that case battle, bro. We really should. Yeah, it's in all of our best interests. Just, just forget about it. I mean, Alan B, who won that battle, got a whole case of Temporal Forces for 24 bucks. <laughs> so, I mean, he's chilling. He's chilling no matter what. But yeah, in totality, that was, yeah. Yeah. Scott says, let me get a sticker. My great Scott with the stickers. What's the chase card for this white set? Are you talking about the Dedenji? Uh, well, just like all white cards, it's the sign cards for sure. Ah, Nar, you did get it. Ash, Ketchup. Oh, and a Pikachu. Magikarp. Yeah, why is Machoke got some, uh, what's that, Machoke? Little, little pink eyeliner on there. Machoke, about to go enter the, the drag contest real quick. Ash. Fair Pokemon, uh, gotta be Umbreon. Yeah, I gotta give that up to Umbreon for sure. Umbreon is easily my fair Pokemon. Dude, a lot of the stickers are OC. Yeah, they're almost all OC, which is why they're really hard to grade. And in a PSA 10, they go for good money. Just because they're really, really tough to grade. John! Damn, John. All right, John's got a pretty interesting order here. He says, let me get two Sneaker Bunko. Or not Sneaker. The Denji Bunko. We're out of Sneaker Bunko. Two other verse, uh, Two of the One Piece 500 years. Two Hollow Live. Two Azure Lane. And two picking up girls in a dungeon. Sheesh. All right, so I know we do need a new box of Bunko. That I know. Here's the Azor Lane. Jump. Two other verse. Where my Charizard at? <laughs> Uh, hopefully it's in the box. Hopefully it's somewhere in that box. Two of the Von Beast. How much is the battle? 24 bucks. 24 bucks. Two Hollow Live. What do you guys think about Funko Pops? I think Funko, Funko Pops are cool. Yeah, I think they're very cool. I just don't have a lot of free space in my house. It's already all cluttered up with a bunch of Pokemon stuff. So I don't I don't have, you know, like enough room to be collecting Funkos, but I think they're cool. Yeah, I think they're cool. Okay, John, let me get you a new box of the Denji. Are we ready to go? John. Some pops are okay, but yes, that's exactly the issue for me. Right. They just take up a whole lot of space. 
At one point, I also really wanted to collect like statues, like anime stat. I know it sounds weeby, it is. But at one point, I also was thinking about trying to collect some like uh, statues, particularly for like One Piece, like, you know, figurine statues. And they can be pretty expensive. Uh, but again, I just don't really have like the space. I just don't really have the space for it. So Kevin, I just flashed you the Neo Gauntlet. I'd say it's, it's more than halfway for sure, but definitely it's still a couple spots left. Alrighty, John, we have finally assembled. Actually, a really nice poo, poo platter order here. Let's do it. Start with the other verse. I have a bunch of Usopp figures. Dude, we gotta change that. Oh, no way! Oh my god. Crystal Fang Ice Dragon. Now, this is only the rare, so this is not the secret rare version, but still really nice. This is one of the best pulls in the set, I hear. So, not the secret version, just the regular, regular rare version. We'll definitely take it. I have a $700 Zelda statue. Whew. Would I collect waifu pillows? Oh, and a secret rare shadow step. It's the blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> I'll marry and have two sexy waifu statues on my computer desk. My wife doesn't care. Yeah, to me, it's not about people caring or not. Uh, it's just about the space for me. That's all. Jimbe. Don't got a lot of space in my house. Got a lot of Pokemon everywhere. That was the OPO7. I don't know, dude. I mean, I, I've, if, I, if there's an artist out there that wants to try to make a statue out of it, maybe. <laughs> I am not, I am not like artistic enough. Whoa. I am not artistic enough to, uh, you know, be making that kind of stuff. You need a lot of space for statues. This is a Sun Fan. You got statues, Sun Fan? Sun Fan has a statue of himself. And we got a non hollow Ancient Origins box break. Uh, I mean, we could. It's really, really expensive. But if you guys want to do it, I mean, I'm cool to open it. I think it'd be fun. Got some. Oh, nice, Sunfan. What kind of. Is it Dragon Ball? Let me guess, Sunfan. Is it Dragon Ball? I bet you I'm right. Is it Dragon Ball, Sunfan? Sunfan has a statue of himself. <gasps> oh, you said it's a, it's a, it's a portrait. Sunfan has a statue on the in the bathroom, so that way, even if he's not there, he's still technically in the bathroom. Hestia and the Hollow Light. Good evening, hey Kata, what's up, man? Marine. Mostly Marvel. Oh, cool. What anime one, Sun Fan? I don't know much about Marvel, but anime I know all about it. What ones you got for the anime? And Botan. Yeah, in the rave bathroom. The bathroom in the club. Sun Fan has a reserved stall in the club's bathroom. It's reserved for him. For his booty only. Go check out the Thanos bust. Ooh, you got Demon Slayer? All right, that's pretty cool. So, John, let me just take a look. I feel like I had a bag for you in a ship zone. Let me just double check real quick. I think I did. I think you had like a chance or something there. Yes, you did. Okay, cool. So you had some old maid cards in there. Don't actually know exactly where those came from, but you got them. Do you know one the March? I do. I was a gentleman named Justin. C actually, he's right here. His bag was in the no ship zone, but he still won it. So yeah, Justin C won the Emerald Pack. We opened it for him, and he got a really cool Hollow Energy and a Manetric for the non-Hollow. 
Yeah, that emerald pack for the members giveaway for last month went over to Justin C and we opened it for him. An opal silicon statue? I wish I did, bro. That sounds nice. I wish I did. Son, son. This is six more TF. Okay, I think I might need to open up a new case. Okay, this is good enough, but I will have to open up a new case here pretty soon. Son, son. Any golems done soon? Let me set that bag down just to show off the golems real quick for those who might want to join it up. Here's the Neo Rev. It's got two, four, six, eight, nine spots left. I think it's for our 11 pack in Neo Rev, I think. Uh, here is for the Steelix, the PSA 10 from Aquapolis. So really, really high end slab right there, honestly. Steelix 10 from Aquapolis. And then here is the three pack blister gauntlet. So this got two platinum and an EX power keepers in it. This could have a gold star. One in 72 chance of a gold star in there. Uh, but that's for this list. We pick three winners off of it, and those three winners will get a pack. Two Platinum, one Power Keepers. So that's the status of all the uh, the Gauntlets. And then the Temporal Forces battle has seven players right now in it. And if we had 12, we'll do a double box, unless you guys want to try to let it grow bigger. Incineroar. Hey, Adam. Actually, cool, Adam. Actually, I just said that. Yeah, seven people right now. Including you. Bramblin'. Let me ask you guys in the chat a question. If you could pick to be any animal, what would you be? What animal would you pick to be? Well, let's say, let's say, you know, I got a machine. You know, you step in it and you magically become an animal. What animal would you be? You only pick one, though. Hero's cake. I feel like I'd probably try to pick like a bird. Some sort of bird. That way I can fly. Honey badger? What? <laughs> Was not expecting that one, do we? A honey badger. Eagle? Yeah, eagle, eagle, I feel like is a good pick. You can fly. You're also not like bottom of the food chain. Or, or be like a tortoise if you want to live a really long time. Tortoises, I think, live like forever, bro. Tortoises live a really long time. Trumpet says I'd be myself. The one and only Trump in the animal. Oh, a dragonfly. I feel like dragonflies have like a really small lifespan, right? Eric B says temporary farts battle. <laughs> I like it. Eric B is in for the battle. Temporary farts. Nice. A bearded vulture. Damn, I don't even know. I mean, I kind of know what that is, but not really. Ryan M. This is five Japanese, 151, and the shipping. Ryan M. Cool. So, Ryan, I think I got a bag for you already, man. Let me see. Are you in the no ship zone, or did you already pay for your shipping? I feel like you might have. Ah, Yes. So, Ryan, I've already got a bag for you, and you've already paid shipping on it, so you don't need to pay shipping twice. And just to give you a recap of what you have, you do have some 151 with me. Oh, and you got a Blastoise? Oh, nice. Ryan M. Okay, you got a really nice bag. So, Ryan, I owe you the $5 back, because you don't need to be paying double shipping, all right? Uh, but just to let you know, Ryan, as well, if you are ready to ship out, just remember to request shipping, okay? So still got a bag for you. It's got some juicy stuff in it, and I owe you five bucks. So let me know if you want like a five dollar pack or something to pay you back for that shipping. Because you don't need to pay double shipping. You don't. Five of the Japanese one fifty one. That would be an, oh, an orca whale? Hmm, I never thought about that. That seems actually not a bad idea. Sorry, can you go over my bag and get some order? Sure thing, sure thing. Dragonite. Do you have a, a Pikachu? What's that, a Pikachu? A Pikachu? Squirtle? Yeah, I'm not familiar. Is that a Pokemon? What is that? Oh! Oh, we got a secret rare Wiggly. <laughs> All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. Secret rare Wiggly, though. 
But when they hunt, they have a near 100% success rate. Okay, big man, I see you. So you're trying to be a perfectionist. And you're never gone. Okay, Ryan, sounds good, man. You got it, bro. Yeah, and Ryan, I appreciate you, man. You're taking the initiative, so I appreciate you on that, man. But I just feel bad, you know. I don't want to take your double shippings. I know, I know deep down that you know that's that's not right. So I want to let you know that I owe you the five bucks. But if you want to use it, that's perfect. And Ryan, thank you for your order tonight too, man. How long does Pokemon Era last? Like, what year will it be, Scarlet and Violet? It's it's couple years, I think. Yeah, I think it's a couple years where the eras last. I think. Ronnie says temporal forces battle. Ronnie. I think Sword and Shield lasted for like three years, I think. Maybe even longer. Abby says, let me get seven of the other verse. Two, four, six, seven. Abby. <laughs> All right, Abby. I think I got one box left of other verse. That's it. That's it. Bro, Abby is on top of it, man. Abby is on top of it for sure. Oh my god, we got another one. Holy buckets. So still just the regular rare, but damn, that is a really good pull. Crystal Fang Dragon. Short Steel started 2022, ended 2023. Okay, cool. So, yeah, like three years. Or maybe, you know, like two and a half or whatever, depending on the month. Snow Sorter. Just lucky? All right, Abby. Come on now. <laughs> come on now. Uh, we weren't born yesterday. You can tell us the truth, <laughs> Dragon Queen. It's all right, man. It's all it's all fair, right? It's all fair games. Anyone else could order these packs. It's all fair game. Whoa! Oh my god! Out of ten! Oh my god! That's the lowest number I've ever seen. Ice Queen, 7 out of 10. Dude, they're usually out of 100. Oh, baby. Nice. Yeah, usually whenever I see those, they're like out of 100. See, there also are one of ones, I think. That was the lowest number I've seen. Oh, what is this, dude? I've never seen this. Water Dragon Secret Rare? Dude, he's got these like weird glands on his leg. <laughs> What's these called? Uh, this is the Otherverse TCG. Otherverse is the name for the card game. And Mermaid Girl. All right, Abby, that was great. Crystal Dragon and an out of 10 Ice Queen. Whew. Ben says, I'm not seeing my order show up in the queue. Is there a lag? Oh, uh, you see Ben. Uh, okay, yeah, Ben, I see an order for you. I see an order for you. Yeah, sometimes it does lag a little bit. Sometimes PayPal is a little bit slow. Okay, just showed up. Okay, cool. As long as it came in. Because I know sometimes it does happen. Occasionally that happens. John B says two more. Star Wars says pull me something good, sugar. John B.
Three years apart for sets I just Googled. Okay, cool. So I was, I was like in the area. I think I said three. How's the fiber? We are not even on the fiber, man. Yeah, we're not even on the fiber. I'm on my OG internet right now. <gasps> oh my god. Out of 50, bro? Yo, this looks insane. Darth Vader with one of the Fets? Boba Fett and Darth Vader. Out of 50, dude. Bro, that looks so nice. Sheesh. Whoa. I don't even watch Star Wars, and I want this card. <laughs> That's how you know it's good. Ah, I do know this character. That's Ahsoka, right? That's Ahsoka. What's with the numbered cards coming out all of us? Dude, I know, right? <laughs> right, dude? How much is it worth? No idea. Yeah, I got no idea. Hey, look, it's Trumpet. Ahsoka? Ooh, there's a last name? Ooh. <laughs> Is it Ray? Ahsoka Ray? No. Something right with an R. <gasps> Do we get another one? Or am I crazy? Oh, I'm just crazy. God damn it. Okay, still can't be upset though. That was a great, great si uh, numbered card right there. My balls! Oh, you got me. <laughs> You know, I don't, I don't get God very easily, but that one, you did Loki kind of get me there. Yeah, you did. Loki. Any more goddess story? Um, are you talking about the promos, John, or like the regular set? The promos are out of production and no longer printed. I can't get more. I have no more, unfortunately. The regular set, I am pick, planning to pick more up whenever there's a new set, though. Because I feel like we opened up a lot of the other set, the most recent set. And I'm, I'm just low-key was kind of waiting for a new set to come out or to drop. But yeah, I feel like there's been a lot of people asking me for Goddess Story back. I can't carry the promos anymore because they're just done. But the actual main set happily can carry those again for sure. Ahsoka Tano. John B. Damn, that was a really nice card, John. Ian the Ninja. This is one raging sir. Also, just so that you guys know, tomorrow is a Wednesday. So there is no streams on Wednesdays because that is the day that I work on shipping. If you guys do have cards with me and would like to get mailed out tomorrow, I do ship Wednesday and I ship Sunday. You can get shipped out tomorrow. Just remember to request shipping via the Discord or via Instagram. Let me know you want to be shipped out if you do want to be shipped. Don Hardy is in the building. He says one English. OP05. Don the Don. No, we just found out her, her last name is My Balls. No, no, it's M Balls. Not My Balls. M Balls. My Balls. Whenever you say raging, my intrusive thoughts say the next word. Yeah, mine too, but I don't say, I try not to say it. Pika. Tony, if anything, that just shows Tony that you got a dirty mind. You got a dirty mind, all you. Okay, Boomer. Raging Waters? <laughs> yeah, right. Let's see him. You're the dirtiest person I know, bro. You definitely know what he means. Definitely. Ryan M says Neo Rev Gallant. Awesome, Ryan. Thank you for signing up. You'll be on number 10. What sets do you think will be coming expensive from Scarlet and Violet? 
Oh, that's tough, dude. I, I, honestly, I don't think any of the sets that are currently out will be the hot one. I think it might be a set that's yet to be released, is my guess. Because I feel like, so far, none of these sets kind of have that jingle jangle to it, kind of like Evolving Skies did, you know? Evolving Skies was a set that as soon as you open it, you're like, alright, this is gonna do good. You know, this is gonna be a nice set forever. Haven't had that feeling from Scarlet and Violet just yet. A except for 151, because that is Scarlet and Violet, technically, I always forget. 2-4. Six, seven, the Denji for Hathib. So all of that, I mean, Peldean Fates is kind of nice too, but I don't know. Personally, I feel like Peldean Fates might just kind of get like swept on the rug a little bit, just a little bit. Also, Hathib, these are only $4. You send 42, brother. So you can get a lot more than seven. Hold on. Oh yeah, them. you sound way too much. I think the Dendies are only four bucks. Yes, sir. The Dendies are only four bucks. So listen, if you want, I get you 10 of these for your order. Uh, you send 42, so 10 would be only 40 bucks. So if you want, I owe you some more. So many people have 141 though, would that kill the value? Hey, same thing with Evolving Skies. <laughs> same thing with Evolving Skies. So with them, let me know, right? You send 42 bucks for seven packs, it's only gonna cost you 28 bucks. You send 42. Okay, cool with them. You got $14 left over, all right? My friend, I'll make you that credit. $14 left over off this order. You took that right out of my mouth, fingers. <laughs> Evolving Sky is the prime example. Exactly, right. And think about how many times Evolving Sky has got reprinted. Think about that. It's been a lot of reprints, man. I think, and you know, I, I was obviously around the whole time, but I don't really keep track very much. I want to say, if I remember correctly, Evolving Sky has got reprinted booster boxes at least three times. So like the original print, and I at least remember two more reprints, and there might have even been more that I can't recall. Hey Christian, what's up? Uh, so Ancient Orange is just a proposed box break. Not 100% sure, whoa. Not 100% sure we're gonna do it, but it'd be 75 for two, for two, and there'd be 18 spots, two, two packs per spot. So Ancient Origins is pretty wild. It is pretty wildly expensive. Uh, so we could do it, or I could just set it back, because low-key, I also don't mind holding on to it. But I just got it in today, uh, so I thought I'd offer it up, and if nobody... I know Darius said he... I think he said he's gonna buy, like, six spots. He would be down for six spots on his own. Um, so maybe it would happen tonight, I don't know. I would just feel bad having a lot of people sign up, then it doesn't actually fill. But you never know, it might. So that could be an option if people want to, but like I said, that is that is pretty expensive. It is. Especially considering it's X and Y, not that many hits per booster box. There's going to be a lot of unhappy breakers for sure. But oh, I just took prices on that Pika promo and a 10, it's 1.4. Wait, what Pika promo? You talking about the Rumble one? Hathib. I usually hold an ETB. Nice. The thing with me and ETBs is, again, they just take so much space. They take so, so much space. Benjamin T says $24 plus credit for some Star Wars. Okay, Ben, you got it. And Ben, you said let me show your bags. I'm not forget to do that either. So, Ben, let's hold the order real quick and let's just get you look in the bags first. Okay, cool. So these are just the three bags you got for you, Ben. Let's quickly just rummage through them. Do you have any waifu graded cards for sale? Um, nothing like super, super high end. I got some like lower value ones that are like pretty, you know, pretty, pretty lewd, I guess, for like 25 bucks. 
So literally just, you know, cost of grading plus the cost of the card. I can show you them if you want, but I don't have anything like super, super highbrow for the waifus. Can you get rid of the bulk? Um, yeah. Okay, so let me take a look here. So these you should keep. These you should all keep. You could get rid of these, but it's up to you if you think those are bulk. Because I feel like we might have got rid of all of it already, Ben, I think, at one point. And these are from tonight. Oh, you're talking about the birthday Pikachu. Charm oh my god, Charmander scored a War Turtle. Yamato. Now, these are English, so I know they're bulk, but I'd recommend keeping them. Some of them, surprisingly, might be worth a little bit. They're playable. And then the Gecko is a really nice pull, too. So, yeah, honestly, Ben, I don't think there's really anything in here that I consider not, like, having much value. I think everything you got pretty much is the good stuff. So I think we might have already removed the bulk at one point, too. All right, so let's tuck these ones back, man. Let's get you the actual order now. Um, yeah, while I'm down here, let me grab those. I only have two left. So I have this. It's 25 bucks. If you want it, let me know in the chat. If you want it, let me know in the chat. It's Mio, 25 bucks. We got the Doggy Doggy for 25 bucks. Some Korean Yu-Gi-Oh cards also for 25 bucks. Mystical Elf. Toon Summon Skull Korean uh, from Cybernetic Revolution, UF Roid Fighter, and also a Cyber Dragon, which is actually pretty dope. And all these slabs are just 25 bucks. Okay, cool. Yeah, Ben, sure thing. Yeah, that works. Okay, and then Ben, we also got you to take away the credit. Three of the Star Wars Galaxy. What's in the Japanese Royal 5 pack? Uh, you get five packs every time, and one in five packs, 100 made, so one in five will either come with a Tag Team All Stars or a Japanese Watsi Vintage pack. So made 100 in total, 10 of them have a Watsi Vintage Japanese pack in it. Uh, 10 of them have a Tag Team All Stars pack in it, all from the same box. There's 10 in one box, so it's perfect. And the rest of the 80 just have a shiny treasure for your extra fifth pack. So basically, one in five odds of pulling something better than 50 bucks, pretty much. I pulled a Master Ball today. Oh, cool. For some reason, I was thinking you meant like the Master Ball Hollow. Let's also, let's change playlists. Let's go on to Discover. So we can find some new tunes. Did we just lag right there, guys? Did we just lag? Okay, maybe I'm crazy. I think we're good. Let me know, chat. Are we lagging? No, I think we are. Okay, yeah, we're not. Whoa, that was weird. Okay, my, my stream that I'm watching on, like, my other monitor was lagging. Interesting. All right. All right, cool. Yeah, I guess I, guess I just have the PTSD <laughs> from that week of lag. I'm, like, still in shock, you know? Still trying to make sure we're not lagging. So, thank, thank you guys for the quick response there. It's called PTSD. Yeah, I know. I know, man. I got it bad. I got the PTSD bad. It's not what I have to, bro. Uh, with the lag, you know, I had to make sure I had a stream pulled up. That way I can see if it lags in real time. That was the only way for me to tell pretty quickly. Is this PokerF's tunes? I have no idea, is it? I'm playing, uh, it's just randomly recommending me songs in the playlist that I picked. Random recommendations. That way, if we, you know, hear some nice tracks, I can add that to our main playlist. So that, you know, that way we'll hear it every night. <laughs> that way we can hear it every night.
Ooh, I think I see something. Ooh, out of one, oh, 148, dude. Bro, that is almost the last copy they made. 148 out of 150. Nice crack dice there, too. So I think this is like a Japanese inspired. Uh, I think they might have had a, a Star Wars that was like a Japanese sty style parody or something. Hey, Ash, what's up, man? Happy Tuesday. This guy reminds me of Jon Snow. Ugh. You know, with these cards being so detailed, you kind of you kind of feel a little bit grossed out, just a little bit, because they're so realistic. Benjamin. Hey, Candy. All right, Ben. Don't let <laughs> sleep with one eye open, Ben. He's gonna pop out the card and come haunt you. That's me. <laughs> That's me. Joey is in the building. He says two celebration. Oh my God! I'm almost sold out of cellies. Oh God. Okay. Joey, two, I think I got more ETBs somewhere. I have to find them, but I think I got some more. Oh, is that what it is? Trust in Star Wars Visions? Is that like the style for it? Charizard, Lugia. Oh my god, okay. Joey, Joey Wheeler. Come on. Ooh, okay, we got Gotta Jump and Zamazenta. Gotta Jump. And I can pull some. Dude, you missed a lot of crazy stuff, man. Giovanni bought six CP6. Nick G bought the whole Heart Gold Soul Silver box. If you missed those, you might even want to rewind. It's worth, it's worth it. It was such a crazy opening. It's worth rewinding just to go catch that. Joey Wheeler. I love the video game music. Yeah, if any of you guys, if a lot of you guys really like any of the songs that are about to play here in this playlist, let me know, all right? I'll add it to our regular playlist if you guys like it. Okay, Joey, I thought we made you a new one last stream, but maybe we didn't. Yeah, maybe we didn't. Okay. I guess I was just thinking that. Yamate Gozai Gozaiza? Isn't Yamate like stop it? Am I tell me if I'm right by the way, because if I actually got that right just simply off watching anime, I need to go touch grass in the words of Trump and I need to go touch grass fast. Joey. Back to back and can't help it on repeat, please? <laughs> really? We could definitely do it. Yeah, we could definitely do it. Abby says left side for the Denji bug. Dude, Abby's in a sniping mood today, guys. Abby woke up today and chose violence. Seven, the Denji Bunko. Two, four, six, seven. Okay, that's it. Abby. Starlight's good, man. Starlight is good. Yeah, I like Starlight's tracks. This one ain't quite cutting it. Let's switch. I'm going to veto this one. This song is called Glimmer. Glimmer. Not to be confused with Glitter. Sword Art Online. Is it weird you call him Abby? It's only weird if you make it weird, Jumpin', right? It's only weird if you make it weird. Oh, and oh 
my god, how old is she? <laughs> Wait a minute. Chris Hansen entering the chat? Wait a damn minute. Tamu says yes? It's not weird, man. It's not weird. Okay, this song's got a nice little weird drop to it. I'm kind of liking it. A little vibe. Just so you know, the Boa Manga was not pulled on back-to-back. -back. I think tomorrow we have the short coming out uh, featuring the Manga Pull. I don't know if any of you guys saw the short that I posted today. I actually filmed it with my camera myself uh, about the PSA sub. So those are some of the cards that I sent out of my PSA submission that I made. Because PSA is doing a dollar cheaper per card. Ooh, a whole dollar. Adds up though. I think my sub was like, man, it was like close to a hundred something cards. So I guess it adds up. Change is horrible song. Bro, it's giving me all like video game music for the recommended. Let's get weird. You guys want to get weird? My pants are off. John, five Bunko, five other verse. Okay, actually, John, you gotta get a new box of both. You're gonna get a new box of both. Yeah! This is my last box of other verse. That is it. Last official box of other verse. So yeah, this is it, man. And Otherverse is pretty much out of print. So I've already spoken, the creator of Otherverse, I've spoken to them. And there are no more boxes to be had for this set. So this is literally it. This is literally it. Ooh, we got a lot of the fairy pack cards in this one. Nice. Don't think that means anything particularly, but usually I see the, the, the mage one, this girl. Is the Ancient Origins just a flex or for show? Uh, no, it's not just for flex. It's definitely available if people want to hop into it. It's 75 for a spot and you get two packs. Two packs. So yeah, I just don't think anyone's hopped into it is all. But no, it's available. I think someone just needs to start the, start the train, I guess, for it. But no, it's available. 18 spots. And everyone that buys in gets two packs of the 75. One, two, three, four, five. Jonas. Mine too? Oh, hell yeah, Dan. It just feels so freeing, doesn't it? What is it? Dude, Hector really doesn't like the tunes. All right, Hector. Give me a second. Right after this, I'll let you guys choose the next playlist, all right? I'll let you guys choose. Call me Cole because I start the train. J. Cole? Oh, wait, Christian, do you mean you? Oh, Christian, you did. Ah, Christian, thanks for hopping in, man. SR. Vaporwaves? Actually, dude, I think I know Excision. You're talking about an artist. And they make, like, really, really heavy, like, kind of dubstep, I think, usually. Funny enough, I don't remember a lot of names for the electronic-type music, but I think I know who that is. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> of course, of course, the booty cheeks are, you know, available, of course. <laughs> It's just windy. That's that's why it's like that. It's just windy. I'm throwing elbows. She's like 12. Hey, bro. I didn't make that card, all right. I'm just I'm just simply saying, of course. Dragon Queen. I don't think anyone is still wearing their pants. 
Nah, there's definitely some weirdos in the chat still wearing pants. Come on, weirdos. Flame princess. So Darius, I don't know if you're still around or not, but if you really do want to hop in for the break, uh, we got three orders in the queue and Christian's the last one and he hopped in for the break. Layla. So I'm not sure if you're still interested, Darius, but I don't know if he'll fill tonight, but we definitely can start signing up for it if people do want to do Ancient Origins. Oh, nice. We got Dragon Queen. I'm halfway there. I'm wearing shorts. Oh, we got another Dragon Queen. This time the full art looking. Looking one. Oh no, where are the people with the hand fetishes? Jump. How many spots taken on Ancient Origins? I think the only person so far to sign up has been Christian, so that's one spot out of 17. I quit wearing pants years ago. Dude, honestly, I just wear pajamas. Like, I, 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 not everywhere, but I wear pajamas most of the day. All right, let's take a look. Hector is getting a little fed up with the music. And honestly, we need the genres. Is that not the link? Oh, that is not the link. Popular tracks? What do you guys think? Any suggestions for the categories? Let me pull it up. You guys can pick. What do you guys think? Bro, where are the genres? There it is. Oh, okay. It's, me it's forward slash music slash genres. So I know you guys can't see this, but let's see if I do loaf, control F, lo-fi. We'll just do low. So they got solo instrumental bloopers, lo-fi house. They do have a lo-fi hip hop. I feel like that's just too too slow, you know? People are gonna fall asleep. Well, oh, they got Drift Funk. Yo, let's try this. Yo, back to back slowed and reverb? What? Yo, they got they got different versions of they got a sped up version? Yo. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yo, now now instead of having one back to back, we'll have three of them. <laughs> three of them. Demir says ten saying showdowns, just the SRs and above in my bag. You can remove the regular hollows, keep the texture ones from the mythics. Okay, Demir, you got it. Dude, I'm glad we looked at that, man. We found a whole new, whole new back-to-back. -back. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. The art that's clean. Okay, so Darius, let me ask you this. Is your plan to keep them all sealed, or are you looking to open any? I mean, it's cool if you want them sealed, but let me just know what your plan is. Because the way that I planned to do it, Darius, was just at random. It's so, like, shuffle the box up, shuffle the names up, and you just get the two next coming up with your order because if a lot of people joining it are planning to keep them sealed then i guess maybe i should think of a new way to do it that way people can get art sets sealed if they want
Yo, now we gotta find if they have a. I can't help it. Slow and reverb. <laughs> now I gotta check for that. Okay, so it seems like uh, Darius, who's gonna be buying a lot of the spots, is wanting his stuff sealed. Okay, so that's a rare. So I guess uh, with the Ancient Origins, if you buy at least two spots, so that's four packs in total, uncommon, then I suppose, uh, yeah, I suppose we could do an art set. So what that basically means is I'll shuffle it all up, and the people who want an art set sealed, I'll try to get those, them their packs first. SR. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts about that. Yamcha! North Kai. So, Ash, they're going to be sold in bundles of two. So, it's two for 75. But they are, you got to buy at least two of them, basically, because one spot is two packs. Oh, Gigantic Meteor as an SR. I want your Linda's tunes. The problem is, is Linda's tunes are copyright. So, I can't do it. Or Papa YouTube will spank me, I guess. According to Mr. Beast, and honestly, you know, if if there was someone I would listen to about YouTube devices, definitely Mr. Beast. All right, so Demir, out of that, we only got you three SRs and above. That was these three. So the rest, I guess, we'll donate, and then we can also go through your bags, like you, that you asked, and you remove those as well. Okay, cool. So we just got two for you. All right. So with these ones, um, these are the ones you want because these are the ones that are like the stamp ones. So that's the one you want. That's a. So the thing with the other one is the, uh, the the mythic booster one is a lot of them are actually PRs as well. So anyway, let me know. I'm not sure if you want the PRs or not. Uh, but that I believe is the stamp one. That's another PR rare. Uncommon, SR, Uncommon, SR, Common, Rare, Common, SR. That's a stamp. That's another PR, non-stamp, PR, stamp. Common, but that's a stamp. Stamp. That's an FR. So that's an FR. I don't actually know what that means, but FR, I'll keep that here if you want it, let me know. Uh, PR stamp, launch, stamp, PR stamp, 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 stamp. Another FR, got the Vegeta again. Stamp on this, stamp. All right, so it's basically just stamp, non-stamp, stamp, non-stamp. Non that is an SR, though. PR stamp. Stamp. That's an SR. PR stamp. That's an SR. Stamp. Oh, nice, and you got these SPRs, too. Okay, so there's bag number one. I think I did it correct. Any CP6 left? Um, yeah, Geo. I think after you, not many other people hopped in for it. I think we still got seven left, I think. I think it's seven. Yep, so seven of the CP6 left. This is the last box I got for sale, too. Damn, Geo. You thinking big, dude. You're thinking big. Okay, cool. So these are the ones that we're going to get rid of, so thanks for that. It actually saved a lot of space, too, and it's going to also save me on shipping, so I appreciate that a lot. And then, one last baggie. And again, the queue's not terrible, so really, that's an SR. I don't think it's a big deal that I'm taking the time to do this. SR plus stamp. That was an SR. Stamp. Stamp. SR. ST. 
But that's a stamp anyways. PR. That is not a stamp. So a little out of order there. And these are both stamps. Okay. SR, PR. Oh, secret rare cell. Stamp. Stamp. I've got I've got the rhythm down. That's an SR. Rare, rare, rare chicken and ham. SR. All right, cool. I think we got it done. Is there anyone to check? Uh, there, I know it would be nice. I've thought about making like a spreadsheet that links it, and that might be a good idea. Let me know if you guys think that's a good idea, but making a spreadsheet that I could just write the names on instead of that actual white sheet, then and then I also can give you guys the link to the Google Sheet so you can see it in real time. I've thought about that, and it's not a bad idea. What do you guys think? There, there is, there is something nice. There is something nice about like it being like a physical list, but there's also something nice about it being digital. So you can see at any t any point in time would be cool too. Joseph says two sellies and a 151. All right, so Joe, these are the last two sellies that I have. I'm pretty sure that I have more. So if you do want more, you can definitely still order it. I'll crack you like a brand new ETB or something, but also one 151. So LimeWire, I uh, had a lot of issues with it because LimeWire, dude, I don't even want to really, it's kind of, it's kind of a really ugly thing to talk about, but I remember seeing a, I remember seeing an article, actually, I think it was like a little micro doc or something on YouTube about a guy who got addicted to um, corn that you should not be watching. And because he, I guess he claimed that he downloaded a, a movie or something off LimeWire and it wasn't actually like Fast and Furious, it was some um, illegal stuff. And then I guess he got hooked or something, I don't know. So yeah, LimeWire also has like a pretty... Oh, Joey, bro. <laughs> oh no. Down here, salt is a way of life. Obviously the environment down here is all salt. The, the ceiling's salt, the floor's salt, the walls are salt and to an extent the air is salt and you breathe that in and you can constantly taste the salt two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen all right so that is 18 spots for our ancient origin box break hey babe, what's up man two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen spots cool so every spot accounts for two packs, and Christian is our first person to sign up. And he is in for the Ancient Origins break. Now, if you do want your pack sealed, please let me know ahead of time. You can always change your mind, but please let me know ahead of time. That way we can try to plan out. Because if you buy two spots and want a sealed art set, we'll try to make it happen if possible, all right? Andrew E says, yo, Saga, let me get two 151 English and one Obsidian Flames. I like to keep the verse in the hollows. My bag's in a ship zone. Also, I know it's not in the menu, but you got any vivid voltage laying around? I think I do, man. I think I do. I think I do. Let me take a look. I think I do. Is Ancient Origins weighable? I'm not. And hey, Christian, we can show your bag, but let me get through some stuff first. Okay, let me see. What do I got in here? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mike, I don't see why not. Yeah, if you want to reach out to me, I don't see why not. Okay, what do I got in here? So this is a box that I have of like random packs that I've gotten from like tins and like collection boxes. So I got I got Vivid, I got Battle Styles, I got Sword and Shield Base. Yeah. So I guess to answer your question, Andrew, I do have Vivid Voltage, and if you want some, I'd say maybe I got like 20 or so, maybe five bucks per pack if you want some Vivid, alright? 
when you have some. Although I don't really know exactly where they're from. I think some sort of tin I opened up a while back. That I got a bunch of those random packs from. So if you do want some Vivid Angel, I, I think I do have some. In fact, I know I have them because I just saw some. But of course, do you know that those are not from a booster box. Those are just like, you know, random tins or something that I cracked at some point in time. Scovillain. Shred them all. You know, I know, you know, it's funny that nowadays a lot of people do not like Vivid Voltage. But I was, I was still a streamer when Vivid Voltage came out, dude. And that was definitely like top three releases as far as popularity goes for sure in my opinion evolving skies was definitely always number one hidden fates had already released by the time i started streaming but i would put that up there because even though it already came out hidden fates was just running the streams for like a year straight really every single night we'd sell hidden fates multiple multiple times andrew we but, you know, I know over time, it feels like, and I, I think it's true, a lot of people have not really enjoyed it. Vivid Voltage. A lot of people don't like Vivid Voltage that much. Scott says, let me get a Stickers and another verse. Okay, cool, Mike. I'll get back to you, man. Thanks, you got it. Dude, I know, Shane, I know, man. What English cards are the VS type cards? The VS series is a Japanese only set. There are no English sets to, to get those. There are very few uh, really rare English copies of those cards, but those were made and produced for people that played in the tournament back then. I think there was a tournament in Hawaii and they printed some copies of those cards in English for the foreigners to play with cards in English, I guess, or something like that. I don't really know. Uh, but there are a couple English copies of those out there in the world, and they're really, really rare. Because they were only printed for tournament. There's some tournament that happened. I hate for Voltage to be clear. <laughs> Andrew had to make sure you guys knew. He's like, no, 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 guys, trust me. It's not me. I'm getting them for a friend, all right? <laughs> I'm getting them for a friend. They're not mine. I don't like Vivid Voltage, it's, it's uh, my friend Nick. Yeah, not me. Oh, okay, this one was missing a card, maybe? All right. Mother Nature, full power. For some reason, trying to luck at the box of reject packs. Well, if anybody wants any of those in the reject pile, uh, everything besides Sword and Shield base would be five. Sword and Shield base would be six. If people are interested in any of those. I mean, I'm happy to sell those. Uh, five for anything there. I think I had Darks of Blaze, uh, Vivid Voltage, Battle Styles, and then I had some Sword and Shield, but those are six. The Sword and Shield is pretty expensive. Base, that is. Nick, two of the Royal Five Packs. Holy crap, Nick. He says number six and number four. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. Nicholas Y, two of the Japanese Royal Fives. Holy bugger. And tier one. Come on, tier two or three at least. Oh, I can see it. Nice. All right, Nick. That is going to be a tier two hit, which is a 10% chance. And that is going to be a tag team all-stars pack. Nice. But now, of course, Nick, the question that I have for you is, would you like to open it or would you like it sealed? That is tag team all-stars fresh from a full booster box. So the reason why I say that is because at least one of those 10 packs will have a secret in it for sure. Which one it is, I don't know, but one will definitely have it. And, I mean, small chance we get a god pack would be pretty crazy, too. But there is god packs in that set. Can I weigh it? Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. Why not? I don't know what the weight would mean, Nick, at all. But I could put it on a scale for you. I just don't know what the weight would mean, all right? 
Um, I don't know if it can be weighed. I imagine if you had a god pack, it would definitely be like a super chunky pack. But other than that, I don't know. Uh, because every tag team pack does come with a bunch of hollows, a GX at minimum. But the secret is in the back and that replaces a hollow. So to that degree, maybe not Tyranitar. Because the card that gets changed out is not a bull card, it's a hollow. So you don't get a hollow in the back, instead you get a secret rare. So they might weigh a little bit more, but probably pretty close, about to bet. Yo, Eddie, what's up, man? Copper Raja. And Yveltal. Hey, sh this sounds so uh, You like this one, Trump? And I got some playlist. You like this one? That, that way, Trump stops complaining about the playlist. <laughs> let's let's get Trump in a song on the playlist so he can't complain. You like this one, Trump? Yep, that was Iron Thorns. I still call him by his OG name, Tyranitar. But yeah, that is the Iron Thorns, I believe. All right, so Nick, you want me to put it on a scale? Cause that I can do. Like I'm a little kid? No, not at all. You're you're a grown man, dude. All right, so Nick, this is weighing in at 1785, which again I have no idea what that means. Is that a heavy, a secret? I mean, they all have a hit in it. So is that a secret pack? Is that a god pack? I don't know. But 17, I think 85 it was. Yeah, the game is on. Yeah, the game is on. And let me add this song to the playlist. There you go. What's this called? This is called Kroosh by Azukars. Yeah, I have no idea who that is. Nikki. No idea what that means. Oh, oh, all right, Nick. He says we can open it. Yo, Hector was complaining hardcore as well about the playlist. You like this one, Hector? I totally get it though, man. Music definitely can make or break a stream for sure. You know, no one wants to watch something where the sound in the background is like annoying them. They got to put my annoying voice as it is, let alone the music. Garatina. Prism, Incineroar, Energy, and we got a secret, it's gonna be, <laughs> oh my god, is that Mina, no way, you got a waifu, Nick, That is a secret rare. I believe her name is Mina. And dude, tag team waifus are usually like bank. So I don't know if Mina is very popular, but it is a girl and she is an artist. So I venture to guess this is a pretty decent one. It's not the Erica, but that is still got to be a good one. Whew. Well, there you go. Now we figured out that 1785 might mean you have a secret, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Modest sleeves, of course. Yes. Yeah, quick, write it down. 1785 is a secret. Write it down. Two hundred dollars in a ten. Okay, not as much as I was thinking, but not bad. Two hundred bucks, not bad. And Japanese cards usually grade ten most of the time. Centering is usually pretty good on them. Not always, but usually. Salt says, she cute AF? She a baddie. She my little boo thing. Nice. All right, Nick. That was awesome. Trevor, no effing way. No effing way, bro. 
Uh, bro, Giovanni, you are a crazy gentleman, dude. CP6 is off the menu. Oh my days. CP6 is, I repeat, CP6 is sold out. Trevor pushing P says two vintage singles. Trevor, see here is one. And here's two. Trevor, the pusher P. I'm pushing P. I'm pushing P. Oh, okay, we got Deli Bird from Neo. And Ente as the Black Star promo. Trevor pushing P. Yes, yeah, sorry, Geo. Different Geo. His name is spelled with a J, too, actually. Ooh, this is back to back sped up. Ew. Yeah, there was quite a few Entes. There's a lot of Entes, also a lot of Eevees in there, too, actually. Ugh, bro, this is removing. Ugh, this is, this is making me no. Can we set that up to never play again? Is that possible? Joey says one brilliant, one 151. Imagine if that was my pack, the one that I cut. Dude, John, <laughs> it could have been, dude. It definitely could have been, man. Luckily it wasn't though. Joey, oh, that's right. Joey doesn't even care for the hollows. Really? Dude, Gio be selling feed picks? Yo, Gio, where can I... <clears throat> oh, my friend wants to know where he can purchase said pictures. My friend wants to know. Damn, Joey. What's going on, dude? Joey, what's going on, dude? I think we usually get you something. Anthony B says, let me get three random packs in the reject box. All right, hold on. We'll get you one of each. What do we have there? All right, Anthony, we'll grab you one of three different sets. One dab, one VV, and one BS. One of each. All right, Anthony. So this is Darkness Ablaze. Best card would be the Charizard V Max Wiggly. Save it for last. Now battle styles, you know, does kind of get a little bit of hate, but I like this set. The Sleepy Titar. I actually like the Houndoom Gold card the most, probably. Marowak. And the Rainbow Chew. Okay, no Rainbow Chew, but we do snag an Orb Beetle. Or a beetle. Dabbing on my haters. Straight dabbing on my haters. Anthony B. The awful pull rates. I mean, for Vivid was cool because you usually got at least two amazing rares, usually per box, sometimes three. But that also kind of killed the value on them because then, you know, there were just so many. There were so many amazing rares all over the place. Fernando Flo says one Star Wars Galaxy Chrome. I was totally expecting to get hosed. And <laughs> yeah. So I say reject box, Anthony, but those packs are per. Oh. oh. What is that, bro? Is that something or is that not? I don't know. It might be. Alea. Oh, okay. So I guess this card is just okay. Yeah, not sorry, Fernando. <laughs> Yo, Carnage. What's up, man? How's the Charizard doing, Carnage? I feel like uh, I feel like I was a sperm donor for the Charizard. You know, I'm not the real biolog or. I guess that's not right. You're the biological father. Okay. Anyways, I don't know where I'm going with this metaphor of mine. 
But I, I'm, I'm invested in it. I'm invested in the, the safekeeping of it. Amazing Rares are a cool idea. It's a shame they didn't bring it back one last time in Crowns. Yeah, they brought it back in Shining Fates at least, right? Yeah, Shining Fates had some. I feel like it was it was kind of like a novelty a little bit. A little bit, I guess. It was kind of cool. Woohoo! Geo! Geo, Geo, Geo. Dude, Geo balled out today, bro. I'm the surrogate. There we go. So, two, four, six, and yes, seven. So, Geo says, out of, give me all the rest of your CP6, open four and keep three sealed. Okay. So, Geo, let me know, but am I correct in thinking that you want to weigh them and open the heaviest? What's up, Jose? There's a Temporal Forces battle building up. It's only 24 bucks, and we're going to try to get to 12 players for two full boxes. But it's actually getting there. I feel like we got pretty, pretty, good, pretty good. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, so three more players needed for the Temporal Force double box. It's time. Well, I'm hoping we at least get you a nice SR in one of these, and also hopefully a Charizard, too. These packs are so shiny. Dude, these are beautiful. Okay, Gia, sounds good. So let's do this real quick. Let's get that scale out. Dude, the amount of time I use a scale, bro, if cops watch this, they might get the wrong impression. Okay, that's a 25. I feel like that was a heavy from the last one, I think. I'll just weigh them all anyways. We'll see. Yeah, there's an 11. So, light. Uh, oh, that's like in the middle. We'll put it over here, but definitely not like super heavy. Okay, definitely a light. Yeah, the 11s are definitely looking light. All right, 19. That's definitely also going to be over here. Oh, a 27. Holy buggets. Okay. And then an 8. Wow. Okay, that's really light. Wow. You know, to be honest with you, Geo, this was almost perfect. You said open 4. These are the 4 heaviest, and these are, like, the 3 lightest. So, actually, like, kind of a nice breakdown as far as what your numbers were. Are you getting more CP6 in the future? Uh, probably. CP6 has it become a really, really hard box to find at a good price. Um, so I won't say super, super soon. I have another box of this set, but I've been kind of holding on to it. Uh, because I know they're hard to find. So I have one that I'm kind of keeping for myself. If I do come across another decent price on CP6, I'll definitely pick it up. They're just really getting hard to find nowadays. Uh, pretty good carnage, bro. Yeah, they've been going pretty... Cr Dude, Nick G went crazy night with the hard gold. You'd have been proud. Geo went literally bought almost this whole box. Essentially. So, Geo, let me know if you're cool with this breakdown, but I'm gonna take your three lightest packs. And again, they always have a hollow at least. So, there's could still... There could very well be a hollow charger in one of these. But I think these on the right side are the four that give us a better chance at the secret rare. And of course, also like a double rare too. Because sometimes it's not a secret, it's a double rare. But let me know if you're okay with that, alright? Gio, let me know if you want to open up these four and get those three sealed. I think that's probably the advice I would give. Alright, hell yeah, Gio. Sounds good. Let me see these up for you and then we'll get into opening the other four. Hell yeah, Gio. Thanks again, dude. You went nuts today, Gio. So I appreciate the orders, of course. So for those who are familiar with CP6, what do you guys think? Any guesses? Because I'm hoping, I mean, I think one did go out sealed, so who knows? Maybe DMAC has a secret in his seal pack. But you do, you can get usually at least one, but sometimes you get multiple secrets in a box. So hopefully we might even have like a double secret coming up. Secret Pikachu, yo, what's up? Yeah, dude, Pikachu would be nice. 
I, I would really... I think the Pikachu goes for more than the Charizard, funny enough. But, dude, that Charizard would be nice. I've only pulled that card, I think, twice. And for how much of this set I've opened up, twice is not much. Alrighty, Geo, let us begin the crazy, crazy opening. Uh, these are the heaviest, heaviest, and these are like the midweights. So we're gonna go in this order, save our heaviest ones for last. And for an opening like this, we need a nice, nice song. This will do. Okay, Geo! What do you guys think of the chat? Two secrets in these packs? It is very possible. Is this base set? This is not base set. This is Japanese CP6. It is a base set reprint. It's the 20th anniversary reprint. So kind of like Evolutions in a way. But it's actually quite different. But it's similar to Evolutions. Magikarp. Drowsy. Vulpix. All right, hollow or secret. And, oh, okay, we got a hollow Clefairy. So first pack, hollow Clefairy. Nice, Clefairy's really, really pink. A really dark, dark pink too. A Clefairy coming in for the first hollow out of the four packs. All right, Geo, second one in the chamber. This was another one of those midweights, so I don't know. We could see just the hollow again, or we might even see a double hit too. It's very possible still. Ghastly, Tangela, Polywag, Porygon, Machop, Doduo, and... Oh, nice! Nice! That is going to be a hollow mute. Ooh, with a nice swirl. Oh, yeah, it's got a swirl on its tail right there. Mewtwo! Yeah, I like this track. I do like this track. I think this one's already on our playlist too, actually. The Mewtwo. Okay, and then Geo! The two last packs are the ones that I'm excited for the most. So, chat. What do you guys think? Will we be able to... Will we be able to snag a secret rare out of these two packs? What do you guys think in the chat? I think we can do it. I think we can. Look where it starts. That's not a tail. What do you mean? Oh, you're saying that's his schlong. <laughs> All right. All right, that took me a minute. <laughs> it took me a minute. I had to I had to follow the follow the tail back to its origin. <laughs> Oops. Growling. Metapod. Coughing. Kakuna. Drowsy. Come on, baby. Magnemite, secret. Secret. Oh, okay. Not a secret. We're definitely going to take that. Double rare for the Venusaur and Charizard. Oh, nice. And you got the lily pad Mew. Dude, that goes so well with the Mewtwo as well. Mewtwo. Mew and Mewtwo acquired now. So 
So I know, I know the Mew's on a rock, but we call that the lily pad Mew. That's just the name that people give it. A Venus Mew's the second best hollow. I could believe that. Yeah, I could believe that. Because there is no Blastoise. There's no Venusaur hollows. So I could definitely believe that. Charles are number one. I feel like Mew Mewtwo probably coming in second, third if I had to bet. Oh, it's a blue. No, this set actually does not have any banned cards. Yeah, this set has no banned cards, unfortunately, in it. All right, Geo. This is our last flipping pack. Can we do it? Chat, what do you guys think? Last pack of CP6 left. What do you guys think? I feel like this has to be. I feel like this has to be. There's the heaviest pack as well. Metabot. Ghastly. Seal. Megabyte. Weedle. Come on, baby. Charizard Secret Rare. Oh, okay. So we do grab a Secret Rare. That is the Full Art Mega Pidgeot EX Mock Cyclone. That is a Secret Rare. And Charizard in the last pack as well. Oh, we got the Magneton. Magneton. And it does have a really nice swirl, too. A Pidgeot as the secret. Got a really nice swirl on the Magneton. Hi, oh, James. Yeah, the secret Pikachu would have been nice. I'm just glad we got him a secret because, you know, DMAC did have a pack that he got at the beginning sealed too. Who You never know. Maybe he was in that pack too. And some boxes actually do have multiple secrets as well. I've had plenty, plenty of boxes with multiple secrets too. Mock Cyclone. So the really funny thing is, is in Japanese... <laughs> The text is in English, but if you see that card in English, the text is actually in Japanese. It's kind of funny how they kind of flip-flopped it. All right, Geo, you are crazy. But Geo, I appreciate the really, really, really fat orders. And CP6 is now officially sold out. Giovanni. So I will say, uh, I don't think I've ever had a CP6 box. Maybe one out of like the 30 we've opened that did not have a Charizard in it. So I would bet money that either you or DMAC that have some sealed packs left. I know they probably don't have an extra hit in it, but you probably have a Charizard in one of those sealed packs. If I was a betting man, I would bet so. Because usually we get at least one to two Charizards per box. So... Geo. Sheesh. Geo going absolutely crazy tonight. CB6 was in, and CB6 is gone. And maybe in the near future we'll have another one. Ah, oh, but I just don't know when. Joseph says one obsidian, one brilliance, and one 151. Joseph R. Yeah, Geo, sure thing, dude. You got some really nice stuff, Geo. I am shipping again tomorrow, so if you want to request shipping for tomorrow, I can definitely get you mailed out tomorrow, no problem. So one person bought up all the CP6, and one person bought up all the Heartgold. Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Oh, -ho -ho. there we go. Erica Full Art. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, and we got an SIR. All right. Hell yeah, bro. Joey, there we go. The luck just did a complete, complete 180. I almost said 360, but in reality, 360 is just a full circle. So you start right back where you started, right? So it's 180. Okay, cool. Yeah, Gio, thank you for that. Yeah, sure thing. As long if you put a message in Discord, you will 100% get shipped tomorrow. Clefable. So they finished our Coastal Silver box. Yeah, uh, Nick got the whole box, and we opened it for him maybe like a couple hours ago. But it was pretty early on in the stream. So really, the last thing that I got in that's new tonight, CP6 is gone, Heart Coastal Silver is gone. The only new thing that I have left is the Ancient Origins, uh, which doesn't seem to be filling up extremely fast, so we'll see. Guillermo says Wings of the Captain. Guillermo, 4 OP06. And I think we made a new box. Yep. What does a CB6 box cost these days? I think the cheapest one on eBay for sale might be like 3280 something like that, I think. And I feel like they're always in a different country, too. It sucks. Used to be 175 a pack a couple years ago. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yup. It pretty much only has just been going up. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had an instance where CP6 has been going down. As far as the seal stuff go. It's 75 for one spot. That's two packs per spot. So essentially 75 for two packs of Ancient Origins. And I kind of wanted to check too. Does... Darius, do you have any credit left? I think you do. Oh, damn, Darius. Maybe you're saying you want to use all your credit for that Ancient Origins, right, Darius? If you're still here, Darius, let me know. Did you want to use all the money towards Ancient Origins? And I do have one more of the Espeon theme decks left. It's 300 bucks, but he wants it. It comes with the Espeon promos and, of course, an Undaunted pack on the inside, which... Low-key, we pulled some Fuego so far. We got Legend Pieces. We got an Umbreon Prime from Undaunted. So I'm really loving Undaunted right now. Alrighty, Guillermo, show me the Zoro. Brook. Cammy. 225 and a bag. Uh, okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Boundaries Cross sold out. Uh, no. No, we got plenty of Boundaries Cross. I think the box is still more than halfway full. Oh, nice. And a Perona. I'll take the theme deck. Oh, damn, Steve. Yeah, it's definitely all yours, I think. Yeah, yeah, Steve, you want it, bro. It's all yours. I didn't know Pokemon used to put packs in starter decks. Why they stop? That's a good question. That's a really, really good question. I don't know the answer to that. Uh, but I wish they did it still. Because other, other than that, the theme decks nowadays are absolute junk. Absolute junk. Yup, Dark Explorer sold out. Uh, the Planet Marcius sold out. Guillermo. Ooh, Jose. Sign me up for the battle. All right, Jose, you got it. There's packs in the Pokemon Go. The battle did... Oh, is there really? Oh, okay, cool. I didn't even know that, actually. Oh, damn, Steve picked up the theme deck. Eric S2, OP07. The 
dual deck ones? Oh, interesting. You know, I have one of these. And these are really cool because it comes with one guaranteed EX era pack inside of it. So yeah, they definitely used to do that, man. This is a double trainer kit deck, and EX era pack is inside there, unweighed. So, that, so th those products are really cool. I feel like they didn't do them a lot. I feel like they didn't do them a lot, but yeah, those are always really cool. Wink. I gotta bring myself to do after buying the jungle blister arc set already. Well, if it makes you feel better, Adam, I'll tell you one thing. Literally just a couple days ago, I sold an art set of that for 1.1k on eBay. <laughs> so that guy bought it for 1.1k plus he probably paid sales tax. So you know, hopefully you hopefully it was a good deal in your eyes. I think it was. Someone out there definitely just paid a hell of a lot more for that set. But yeah, that's the benefit of buying direct, right? That's the benefit of buying direct. Eric guess. Ooh, we. We is getting in on the showdown. He says TF battle. Nice. So we thank you for signing up. Um, and then we got like four orders in the queue. Let me just kind of comb through real quick. Oh, Kevin's a shining legend. Nick says vintage singles. Uh, Matt with the one piece. Steve with the deck. And Guillermo with the one piece. Okay, cool. So no one is in the queue for the battle. How many we got? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. So Joey, if you want to play, I'm not sure if you're already in here, but if you want to play, Joey, you could be the last 12th person if you want. It's only 24 bucks if you want to sign up for it too. Kevin says one shining legends. Kevin. Aren't you nervous you get scammed on eBay? They always seems to side with the buyers. They always side with the buyers, that is true. Um, but you know, I mean I guess if you're worried about getting scammed, then I guess you can't sell anything ever. Right, because even selling to you guys directly, I still run the risk of getting scammed, you know? Hoopa. There's only one person that really can't scam or afford a scam, and that's me. Because if I start scamming people, word will get out, and my whole business I've spent four years, four and a half years building up will go in kapoosh in a minute. So yeah, the only person you can trust at the end of the day is yourself. Kind of, kind of a... Yeah, kind of crazy to say, but it's the truth. Definitely the truth. Kevin? Kevin with the Shining Legends. Okay, and then I think Darius, <clears throat> excuse me, he said he'll take 225. So that's going to be three sets. So Darius, let's get you in for three spots. Thanks for that. And Darius, I definitely owe you a thanks because the short that I made of your legendary pack opening with the Blastoise. I think it's almost at like 20k views, which is pretty good for me as far as shorts go. So I, th I thank you for that. Because if you did not open it, I would never be able to create that short in the first place. So that's going to be 390 minus 230, which leaves you with $160 left in credit. Okay, so we took care of the homie Darius. We got his credit and everything like that situated. We just finished with Kevin. Nicholas, two vintage singles. Nick Y. We'll go like that. Here's one. We'll do that. And here's two. Nick Y. <laughs> you can all know that I'll sue Sogger. Remember, Joey, you can't sue me, but you can sue Royalty Gaming LLC. 
Oh, and the Dark Vileplume. Kangaskong from Jungle and Vileplume from Rocket. I think Joey got the last spot. Yeah, so unless you guys are feeling adventurous and want to try to make it a triple box, which I don't know if we'll get to fill or not, but we could. We could. How are you guys feeling about that? You guys want to try to make it a triple box? I feel like it's always like that, where the battles are kind of slow, and then as soon as it gets to be massive, everyone just starts piling in at the last second. I feel like that's always the case. Matt! So six more of the One Piece. Uh, extra for the shipping as well. Okay, Matt, thank you so much. Matt T. I'm eating lamb tikka masala with rosemary cheese? Bro, I'm kind of jealous, dude. I could go for some Indian food. I could. I don't know. That last case battle left a frown? Yeah, not for Alan, though. Not for Sir Alan. He, he was smiling all the way, I think. And he was the last stack, too. He was the last stack, too. Bro, did it say TikTok? <clears throat> We're changing that one quick. New website. Yes, I've been working on a new website. Yeah, and I think I got a couple of boxes left. Not too many left, but I think I got some 151 still posted. Uh, so if you didn't hear, Japanese 151 is being reprinted at the end of the month. And I got a couple, couple cases in for allocation-wise for my Japanese guy. And I got them for sale uh, as pre-orders on the website. And if you do decide to buy anything off the website, you can use the code FREESHIP no spaces f-r-e-e-s-h-i-p and you'll get free shipping on your first order which otherwise is like 10 bucks flat Hello, yo what's up boost where you been at boost three boxes is fine but i prefer uh, that is max. Okay, I was I thought you were gonna say I prefer max. I was like, wait a minute, you usually only want two. Either you back up. Yeah, boost. Yeah, 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 I appreciate it. Yeah, I definitely would boost. I'm looking to get that. <clears throat> I don't want to blow the spot up, but you know, I'm looking for that new new. Yeah, boost. You do that like every couple months, bro. But boost, you might have just heard me. You might have just heard me. But there is a 151 reprint at the end of this month. I needed that Salvatore. <laughs> Even if you needed Adam, I would not wish that pull on my worst enemy. I would not. That card sucks. In my opinion. By the way, all opinions are thoughts of my own. They do not reflect the thoughts of my employer. <laughs> Art World to Gaming LLC is my employer. Slugger, ever have those Japanese Gym Hero boxes in stock? Um. I don't have a lot. So by that, Adam, by that, Adam, what I mean is just for flex, not for sale. I have one for myself. It's getting a little dusty, dude. I got to get a case for this. I do have one. I would not know where to find one at like a steal of a deal. But if you really want one, Adam, I could probably locate a couple people that have them and, you know, maybe let you buy it or something. Uh, but yeah, if you really want one, let me know. I just don't know where I'd find one for like a good price Because these with Eevee heroes getting more expensive boxes getting more faked and faked and faked These are like the best way to get two full boxes of Eevee heroes Like authentically sealed too and also the Eevee promo this the Espeon promo. I mean So if you really, if you really, really are looking for one, um, you know, I am pretty plugged up with Japan, so I could definitely take a look. Uh, but I don't even know what the market is on that at today's date. I bought that so long ago, I don't even know, I don't know what I paid for it, but I know it's definitely worth more for sure. What's a good price? Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea what a good price is on those anymore.
Bro, what is this song? Oh, Steve. Steve says for the theme deck. All right, so Steve, I can only imagine that you want to open it, but if you want it sealed, of course, that is always an option. But Steve, you let me know. Do you want to open it? If you do open it, you'll get like the coin, the promos, all the cards in the theme deck, just not like the actual, you know, box and stuff. For 975, I mean, I definitely paid less than that because I bought mine so long ago. I don't know what the market is, Adam, so I really couldn't say. I don't know what the market is right now on those. I started in full cases. Yeah, and they're pretty good priced. I mean, especially compared to eBay, the price is pretty good. Just keep in mind, though, that if you do pick up any of the pre order stuff, you know, I don't know what the market's going to do for 151 Japanese. It's a really great set, so I can only imagine that after like a week, all the supply for the reprints is going to be bought up. And they're gonna shoot back up in price. So 130 per box, 125 per box. You buy a whole case. But like that's really good. Uh, but of course, you know, only time will tell how this product does. And honestly, dude, <laughs> I think it'll do pretty well. All right, Steve. He says we can open it. My last official. Now I did plan to keep one for myself, but then I decided, eh, let's just sell it because uh, there is another one for this has an Umbreon in it. And if I am going to keep one sealed, I want the Umbreon one. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, if the gym boxes go for 1200 on eBay, I feel like nine or a thousand is what basically you pay. That's not bad at all, dude. Ooh, okay, we got Jolteon for the pack art. All right, it's amateur hour. I can't open it. It won't fit. Okay, so with these, I bend the plastic, not the pack, and bang, just like that. That's pretty easy. It's like it's like I've opened eight of these before. <laughs> you can never tell. So there's the SV on promo. Now these in a 10, I think go for 300 bucks, but every single one of these we've opened up did not look like a 10 to me. Now this one's not bad, but it's a little bit off-centered, so definitely thicker on the bottom. But I think from my recollection, I think even in a 9, this goes for like 100 bucks. So if you score 9 on this, that's like a good chunk of change back. We get the Cynical coin. Who wants to battle the case? Well, so Boost, the things on the website, uh, those are not today. That is a pre-order for when they release at the end of the month. So those are not in hand. So if you buy them from the website, those will simply only be mailed sealed. That is not to be opened up on stream. Because those are when the boxes come in from the reprint. So currently, the box price is still pretty high as far as market goes. Uh, but when the reprint comes out, you know, I guess we'll see. But most of it, for the allocation that I got, except for like two cases, is on the website. And those are all going mailed out sealed. All to be mailed out sealed. What does the coin go for? I have no idea. <laughs> I know you can grade coins, which is an avenue that I've actually never really ventured into. So there should be four EVs in total that we should pull out of here, because EVs are, in my opinion, grade worthy. There is another decent card in here too. It's the Blossom, but to be frank, it is a rare, but I don't know, it's Blossom. Uh, yeah, if you look in the description, third link from the top, it says extra menu. That is like all the vintage stuff that I have off menu. So that's actually in the description. It's called extra menu. It's a Google Doc. Okay, cool. All right, so Steve, we got all the good stuff opened up for you and, and extracted. But now the question I have for you, though, Steve, is do you want to open up Undaunted? Do you want to weigh it? What would you like to do with Undaunted? Is it possible to grade the plastic coins? You're talking about like from the ETBs? I mean, probably. Probably.
There are some pretty pricey slab pokey coins. Oh, nice, the boost. You making some good dough on it, or what's up? You making some good dough on it? Okay, cool. Steve says both. Yeah, no problem. Let's do some science. Do some science. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe I should grade some coins and get some experience in that, because I know PSA does, and I never graded coins. The price... Oh, is it really? That makes sense. I know, like, the uh, the jumbos are, like, I think $40 to grade. It's crazy high. Unless they decreased it recently, but I think last I checked, it was, like, 40 bucks. Which is, in my opinion, nuts for a grading fee. You don't grade... Really? You don't... Oh, you, like, grade it through, like, a professional, like, like American currency company or something? So there is a little, small, little bit of glue residue left on the pack. Just, like, a little bit teeny. I would have think that it uh, adds too, too much weight, but just let that be known. And that is 1869. 1869 giggity. So when you say Solana coin boost, you mean, like, actual Solana coin, or you mean, like something that's based off of it. I don't even know how it works. Like, you know, I don't really know how it works, but. No way, Wonder One case stayed as cheap. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm saying. So yeah, like I said, I'm no fortune teller. Uh, and of course it is a little biased because I am selling them. But I am keeping a couple cases myself. So that's why I'm able to sell some because my Japanese guy is able to get me quite a few of them. I've been doing business in a long time, so he gave me a decent chunk of allocation for it. Yeah, so City Fusion World, not at like a really good price to where I can feel like I can be competitive on it. So I haven't picked up Fusion World for that reason. Um, although I do, I do really want to, I do, do really want to open up some Fusion. What are you doing with the AO box? Is it a break? What's up? We yeah, it's going to be a box break. It's $75 for two packs. I know it's really, the box is really, really expensive nowadays. I remember freaking buying these for 80 bucks. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I think right now I only got four people in it. So there's still 14 spots left. Uh, but it is 75 bucks for a spot. You get two packs for that 75 bucks. Steve will do it. Manifesting a Pika Common as a bonus pull. Last sold for $3.50 and a 10. Ooh. Courier's already going off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. So, I don't know. You know, it's funny because I had a chance to pre-order Fusion World at, like, a really good price. And I passed on it, thinking that the set would flop. But, no, it's getting really good. Oh, okay, yeah, Steve. I sorry, I didn't even realize you said or you can just rip it. Okay, cool, Steve. Sorry about that. So you ready to open it, Steve? I was waiting, but my fault. I didn't see you even you answered me already. Do you think that's a good weight? I mean, we have some hard gold silver right here. What's this? Oh, that's heavier than all these packs. Okay, that's a good sign. Well, I mean, you know, different print runs, of course, but. Ooh, Steve, you're getting me all excited, dude. <laughs> you're getting me all excited. Oh, baby. You ready? Definitely open. Okay, Steve, let's go, man. All right, chat. What do you guys think? Legend Prime or a hollow? Or I guess you could say no hollow either, but what do you guys think? I feel like we at least got something here. Wait, the opal juice. <gasps> we'll just... Sprinkle a little bit of opal juice on there, like, you know, like a salt pepper shaker. <laughs> Throw in some, some opal juice on that. Make it juicy for us. <laughs> Make it juicy for me. Legend box. Oh, we got a Raichu and a Jolteon. Hold on. Makuhita. Murkrow. 
Aeron. Doduo. Houndour. That's such a great art for Houndour, man. Oh, we got Reverse Unknown. And the rare. It's a non hollow. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, dude, Steve. I wow. I'm a I'm a little bit uh I feel blindsided. That's what happened here. I feel blindsided. What? What? Oh, Steve! Oh, Steve, I was so excited. We all got duped. Agreed? Yeah. yeah. This is the biggest fraud in the entire history of Pokemon. I'm never gonna give you up, turn around and desert you. All right, Steve, thank you so much for grabbing the Espeon theme deck, the last official one I had for real this time. Last time I said that because I was planning to keep one sealed, but that's literally it. Man, dude, I really felt good about that, Steve. I really, really did. I really flippin' did. I feel, I feel like I'm fooled. I've been duped. I feel like Logan Paul now. I've been duped. I need another one, dude. I don't have any more. All I have left are these. Now, nice thing on these, these are way, way cheaper. Uh, but, of course, you know, these just came from that collection buy, so. My big brain play is to buy 1v1 cases. Resell them start in a couple years. <laughs> you know, Boost, Mike has done that, basically. Uh, Mike bought some sealed vintage from me, like, a couple years ago. We actually met in person, and, and he bought it from me. I gave it to a person. He sold them back to me recently, actually. I think for more than he paid. Guillermo says two wings of the captain. Guillermo. And our undaunted box breaks. Primes were coming from the... I forgot about that. Yes, dude. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, I, I can't make any claims about that as I just bought them loose. Uh, but yeah, that's, a, that's, actually, that's actually a good point. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, Plaza Blast. I think I have one product with a Plaza Blast in it, I think. Guillermo. Cool. So, Guillermo, I am just all putting this in a bag for you. I don't think Jose has a bag with me. He might. I could check. Uh, but I do. I am making new bags for you, Guillermo. So, of course, you know, five bucks shipping. And if the bulk goes beyond that, then ten. But I think right now you're still chilling just at the, at the same bag. Oh, Nami. But I know, I can see that Jose does have a order coming up. I do. Okay, cool. So, if you guys want to be shipped to the same place, Jose, and you have a bag that you've already paid five on, it would just be another five, uh, because you guys are requesting the bulk. So, as long as you guys pay the extra five, I can ship you guys together for $10 total if you want. Just, of course, like I said, because of the bulk. Otherwise, it would have been five flat. I really want to buy a poncho. Dude, ponchos are really nice. They've just... It's just like, you know, I've seen those cards rise in price. And it's like every time I was like, oh, that's too much. That's too much. And now it's like, it's even more. And I'm like, okay, it's way too much now. You know, especially if I had a chance to buy them for like 50% of what they are now. And I passed. No way I'm buying one at 100%. But I do want it though. The ponchos are really nice. Hector says, let me get a vintage holo. Hector. Guys, it feels so good. We, I don't think we've lagged a single time tonight, right? <laughs> All right, bro. Hector, dude. You are getting some juice, my boy. That is a decently good condition. Hollow Black Star promo Mew. 
Yeah, the verse, uh, honestly, bro, no. I mean, I guess in a roundabout way they fixed it. Verizon came. I'm not even using Verizon. I'm still on the RCN, my old network. But yeah, dude, we haven't lagged a single time, I don't think, today. Um, so I don't know if I even need Verizon anymore. <laughs> I think when they came and started tinkering with the wires, they did something that kind of fixed my main internet anyways. It looks clearer too, really? Maybe you're just on like uh, 1080p or something. Joey says for shipping and the battle. Awesome, good, thanks for signing up. Also Joey, let's get your bag out of the ship zone as well. They just plugged us to do. That's probably what it was. Or they just kind of like replugged it and that's all that was needed or something. So I'm assuming that's probably what it was. Guillermo says two more wings to the captain. Guillermo. Is there somewhere where I can see with loose packs? There is not, Alex, but I'll quickly show you. So those are for Guillermo, but Guillermo, I'm quickly to show these off because I don't really do it very often and we got a lot of packs. We do got a lot. So Alex, just to clarify, these are not packs that I obtained myself from products. These were all bought. So these all came in loose, like loose form that I bought. So and actually, I'll just keep them in the bag. Uh, but the way that I thought of doing this to keep it as fair as I can for me and for you guys is if I made them all the same price, then obviously people are just going to buy the heaviest weights and no one's going to buy the lights. So what I did and I thought was a good idea is I try to make it the cheapest price I can given what I paid. And I just put all the packs that I bought in the bag, wrote all the weights down, and when you want to buy one, you can just randomly get one out of the bag. So all packs in here are these weights. So here is first edition Rocket. We had unlimited, but those sold out. Here is Team Magma, Team Aqua EX 275 for an EX era set. Some of these, some have already sold. So if you see a list that has multiple numbers on it, but not that many packs in the bag, that just means someone bought one already. Hard Gold, Soul Silver, Triumphant. Like, bro, those are fat weights. But I really doubt these are all heavies. I don't know. But Triumphant right there. EX Ruby Sapphire for 250. Hard Gold, Soul Silver Unleashed for 225. EX Hidden Legends for 300. Now, EX Legends, does that have. That might have the Gold Star Regis in it, right? No, no, I think that doesn't have any gold stars in that set. Uh, Undaunted for 225. Base set for 300 for base set unlimited. EX Emerald, which honestly is another fire, fire EX era set that I feel like no one really ever talks about. EX Emerald, uh, Fossil Unlimited for 250. And then the last one is Neo Genesis Unlimited for 350 and there's the weights of the packs that were in there at the start. Yeah, so Rich, that one's 400. I think I got two varieties of it though. But I think only one has the plasma in it if you really want plasma. Are you thinking plasma storm or are you thinking plasma blast, Rich? Because pla plasma storm is the one that people always love. But I don't know if you're thinking plasma storm or you're thinking plasma blast. What's up, Jesse? It's 75 for two packs. Guillermo. Oh, Guillermo. Oh, we got you an SP. Oh, nice. Momomosuke. Zephyr. That's what my girlfriend calls her alone time. They got Plasma Blast, Plasma Freeze, Plasma Storm. I think that's it. There might be a fourth one that I'm forgetting, but I think that's it. Oh, is that not an SP? Okay, maybe I was wrong. Sorry about that. L luckily, Mo's here to correct me. 
I thought it was an SP, but Parallel Old Art is going to be what we call that one. Guillermo. Jose says two wings of the captain. Jose. Is there Rye in the box? There is. Yeah, there is. Any crazy Master Balls pull when I was gone? Uh, I mean, that's the huge boost. Gengar. I think we got Grizz of Gengar pretty recently, too. Tachigiri. Plasma Fates. Ryuma. Jose. I feel like the Funk playlist isn't that bad. What do you guys think? You guys liking the Funk playlist? So Rich, let me go grab that real quick and I'll show you the box, all right? Just in case you might want it. I think I got one left. doesn't want to stand up ah uh, but rich this is the froki pin box it comes with a drags exalted that could have the secret rare rayquaza secret rare superior i'm like a hundred i'm like 99 sure that middle orange pack is plasma blast that's the one you're talking about and then it also has a boundaries cross as well so you might be talking about this one if you're talking about plasma storm i also have another box with plasma storm in it that you might want Oh, uh, but this one is the one with the Plasma Blast. And I do have another one with Plasma Storm in it. Froki. Ashley says a battle spot. Um. Okay, so we are actually at 12. That's two boxes. I know we can definitely try to get it to three. Let me just see. Um, so Ash is in... Okay, and that's it. So, um, Ash, I'm going to put you in the battle. If anybody else does want to battle tonight, we're going to try to make it a three-box battle for Temporal Forces. But we would need five more uh, unique players. Unless you guys want to lift that rule about people not having multiple spots, I suppose. But with the current rules, five more people needed to make a triple box. Same box style? Uh, yeah, the Plaza Storm one's bigger, though. But I think this one definitely has the better selection. This one has Plaza Storm, Black and White Base, and Boundaries Crossed in this one. Same price, too. Box of OP03. If it doesn't fill, just credit me. Okay, yeah, sounds good, Ash. Yeah, we'll see if we can get it to work. All right, Justin, you are up next with a whole box of OPO3 looking for the Usopp. Do you want to pick a side? Justin, right or left? Evil or dark? Alrighty, he goes right. Send a 400. Okay, yeah, Rich, you got it, man. Yep, 400. Yeah, you got it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They didn't even include box toppers with these ones. And Justin, you want the leaders too, right? I think you do. Damn, bro, we had some... Cr we're having some crazy vintage tonight. Some... Ooh, Samantha! <laughs> We call it in the backup. We call it in the backup, dude. And Sam, how's it going, Sam? Sam, you better make sure he's treating you right. If he's not, well, let me know and I'll come steal all his Pokemon cards. <laughs> Chopper's gonna be the last. We've already pulled a new stop before. We pulled a new stop before, actually. Just once, though. Alrighty, Justin. Here we go. Jack says, huh? If you know, you know. I'll leave it at that. If you know, you know. Bell Marie. Alright, this is one of those sets where you get a Dawn card in the back. I love it. 
We got to play the uh, the back to back slowed. The reverb slow one. That was a good song. Nami Chiang. Kaku. What's up with Kaku? I saw him in the most recent episode. Now he's got a mask and stuff. Whatever happened to him? I feel like they all changed. Also, dude, Rob's awakened, uh, like, devil fruit, bro. Sheesh. Isho. I'll go back to back. Django and a hollow dawn card. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? <laughs> okay. Usopp. And of course, he's crying. <laughs> All right, we'll take it, dude. Usopp, aka Soga King. Of course, my boy's crying. What's your nationality? Ah, uh, you want to take a guess? Back to back. It's all right, man. You can guess. I won't call you racist. You can guess. Safe space here, don't worry. Yeah, dude, we got Beto Spittle. Chopper! Chopper Mango did not really seem, you know, it's probably like, I, I mean, I hate to say Usopp Mango over Chopper, but it, it seems like it for sure. Pudding? Scandinavian. I'm bad with that? Honestly, just curious. Well, I can't tell you unless you guess at least once. So you at least gotta guess the rule of the game, man. You at least gotta guess once. Then I can tell you. I'm American. Jin. What's good, gang? What's up, Cloud Gang Gang? <laughs> gang Gang? Hello, then. What's up, gang gang? Strucin. Wait, did I take some of the bulk oil? Let me double check. <gasps> oh my god, and we just snagged an ace leader. Oh, that is fuego, man. Ace leader. That is out of... That was a great box of OP03. And let me double check. If we didn't open any other OP03 tonight. Let's see. Oh, yes, this is OP03. One sec. That's OP06. Okay, cool. So start here. Okay, cool. So these I got to go through and just pull out the leaders for if you got any. Dude, that looks really nice. I love how it's red too to kind of go with the flame, of course. So that's really nice. Sagra is half man, half amazing. Damn, Adam, you're making me blush, dude. Italian? Bro, come on. Throw out a real guess. Come on. <laughs> you just said I'm Italian, bro? Oh, man. That, that does not qualify, bro. All right, I'm sorry. That does not qualify as a guess. You just said whatever was the first ethnicity you could think of. Come on, man. You got to take a real actual stab at it. Here's my skin. <laughs> Here's my voice. Now take a guess. A good one. That was for Justin. No relation to Andrew, though. Alaskan? A centaur? Dude, I don't know if I'd want to be a centaur. Half man, half horse? Canadians? It's one is Canadian in ethnicity. 
Or is it? Wait a minute. <clears throat> Forget I said that, guys. Hui is up next. He says, let me get some Agent Origins. Man Bear Pig? Oh, Hui. Darius says, use the rest of my credit plus this for three more spots. Let me get a total of three art sets. Holy crap. All right, so Darius, we had 160 left on the boat for you, plus 65. Yep, that's three more. Woo! Damn, Darius. All right, Dar dude, we got a lot of people going deep tonight. Holy buggers. Who are you guys going deep in? Your mom. <laughs> All right, I had to just say that. Had to get it out of my system. I would never guess your ethnicity you sound like a white American. No offense. Hey, no offense taken. Yeah, I totally get it. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, ten spots left. Cool. All right, so Darius, we'll make sure we get you three art sets. All right, because you got is that six spots. So I'm just put all your stuff together. Yeah. And we'll we'll probably grab your packs first. We'll shuffle it all up and get you three art sets off the rip. All right. And if anyone else does want an art set, just buy two spots. Let me know you want an art set. We'll make it happen, all right? But Darius with a lot of spots. We and Christian. We need some more people in there, it looks like. Wow, all right, Darius. That credit was around for really, really long. Really, really long. But we finally got it done. Jose says shipping and one Japanese one piece. All right, so Jose, that's five bucks plus seven left over. So Jose, I can only imagine that you were ordering one OP05, right? Which I think I need a new box of. Yeah, damn, I'm almost out of OP05. Oh my God, I got two boxes left. I thought I assumed an hour ago, you sound like a white American, but no clue. So, I am 100% Indian. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll let that, I'll let that air out. I'm 100% Indian, 100%. Both mom and dad are Indian, their mom and dad are Indian, They and their mom and dad's my grandfather, grandma. They both came when they were young. My parents grew up here in America as younger kids, and I grew up here fully. I was born here. Both my parents were actually born in India, though, but they came over here with their parents as younger kids. And I was born here in Boston. So that's why I sound the way I sound, because I grew up here, and uh, I went to school with all my, my white folk, and so I sound like them. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Like Abu from The Simpsons? <laughs> you could have picked anybody else. You could have picked any other American Indian to compare me to, but you pick Abu. I do love Masala, though. I do. Derek is in. He says, give away a spot on a gauntlet. Oh, bro. Derek is a hero. He doesn't wear a cape, but he is a hero for sure. Our hero. There goes my hero. Yeah, my voice fooled you, but if you look at me, uh, you know, I'll, I ask people, because in real life, when I ask people, like, what, if people ask you, what ethnicity are you? I'll ask them, what do, what do I look like to you? And the number one answer I get is Muslim. The second answer I usually get is Mexican. No one ever says I'm Indian. Never. That's like the last guess. They're like, oh, you must be um, like like Muslim. No. Oh, you must be Brazilian. No. Indian? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're like, oh, okay. Alrighty, but let us pick a winner. Simply make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you've liked the stream tonight. Put a BR in the chat. They'll get your Pokemon on the screen. And a chance to win a spot in either the Neo Rev. The Steelix or the three pack blister. So winner does need to be here to pick a spot.
You're not from Boston? Let me see. Say clam chowder. Clam chowder. Yeah, I don't have a Boston accent, but I grew up in Boston. I went to school in Boston for six years. I lived there even after. So I've been in Boston for a long, long time. Now I live outside of Boston, but I grew up in, not grew up in it. I also grew up on the outskirts, but I lived in Boston for like seven years, seven and a half years, I think it was. Uh, no, I am not South Indian. I am like central, a little central, a little bit north. If you look on the map, cardboard, and you want to know, I'm from Amritsar. That's the place in India that my family comes from, Amritsar. It's, it's more like north, central north India is where I'm from. Boston is pretty cool. I hate Boston. Yeah, I think Boston's a shithole. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> you weren't expecting that, were you? Yeah, Boston's an absolute shithole. I hate this place. Alrighty, guys. Good luck. Do I speak Hindi? I speak a little bit. I speak a little bit of Hindi and a little bit of Punjabi. Just a little bit, though. Not much. Well, I don't say not much, but I'm not fluent, but I can speak. You know, if I was in India, I could definitely live off what I know. My friend's from Boston. Yeah, does he like it? I hate Boston. I absolutely hate it. It's expensive. There's so many people there. You might as well not even drive a car because of the amount of traffic and people jaywalking, uh, clicking the crossroad sign. You got so many lights. You might as well just walk to wherever you want to go. If you drive, then you also got to find a parking spot, which never is available. Then you got to pay for the parking. Usually you can't find a spot on the streets. So then you got to go to a garage and pay even more for parking in a garage. And it's just jam-packed. Everywhere there's mad lines, there's hella people, there's nowhere in Boston you can just go and just like, have it be chill. There's just so many people everywhere. Yo, Tamu! Sounds like downtown LA? Sounds like New York City, yeah. I guess any major city is gonna be like that, pretty much. And Boston's no exception, I hate it. I, I would, I do not like living there. I only lived there because I had to for school. Alrighty, Tamu. Let me know, Tamu. What would you like? Neo Rev, Steelix, or Three Pack Blister? Tamu. I would pick Neo Rev, but up to you. Hours. That kind of sounds like a Kanye West sample. So, Tamu, let me know if you're in the building to pick a, uh, pick a spot. We're going to keep moving on, though. We got Guillermo with two more Wings of Captain. Guillermo. Saga, so really trying to push that Neo? Absolutely, bro. You don't want to see that box opened up? I know you want to, Christian. I, know, I think you got a pack in there, don't you? Alrighty, Guillermo, this is for you. Now, I know I know we said you have to be here to win. Tamu is no exception to it. If he does not reply, we will do it again. But I know Tamu was here earlier saying that he's feeling pretty sick, so I'm going to give him a little extra time because he's feeling sick, right? But Tamu, please, for the love of God, if you are here, let me know or we have to pick a new winner, all right? I'm in Salt Lake City, Utah. Is that a really like, po is that like a really popular spot? Hi, Antonio, we're at, I think 13 players. So we're pushing to try to do a triple box actually. I think we're at 13 players right now. So we need, yeah, we need five more. There's no way Tomu signed up and then just left, right? There's no way. I find it hard to believe because he just typed to join, didn't he? Danny B says 10 Korean EVRs, three evolving skies. Holy buggies. And then he says six Paldean fates. Sheesh, Danny flipping B. All right. So if Tamu is not, well, the, pro the problem is, is I, I, I love Tamu. He's been a part of me for so long, but I can't break the rules for him. I did, I did say 
verbatim. You got a beer to pick your spot. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And I think Tom would understand, you know. But there's no way Tom who said BR and then fell asleep like a minute later during the battle, right? There's just no way. I do ship to Canada. It's usually 20 USD for shipping, though. So keep that in mind. And all prices are in USD. I do know that the Canadian currency is a little bit um, less right now compared to USD. So just keep that in mind. It is all in USD and shipping track to Canada is usually like 20 USD. So it is definitely a little costly to buy from me if you live international. Samu, bro, where are you? We got to like ping him or something. All right, Danny, this is for you, bro. I play the back-to-back -back reverbed and slow version just for you, Danny. Cyclozar. Maybe some was narco. I don't think any of that. I just think he, because he did say today that he's sick, his whole family's feeling pretty sick, so there's a good chance he also just kind of passed out. Because when you're sick, that's like the only thing you really want to do is just sleep it away. Clodzire. I think Tomo, I've done my part. Yeah, I think that's really as good as we can do for him, yeah. DM him, ping him, that's really about it. Charizard. Blows my mind, happened a couple years back, and all of the tubing place there shut down. Is that because abuse, that was a huge attraction and brought a lot of tourists? I have no idea actually what you're talking about. But I, I've only I've been snow tubing a bunch, never been skiing, never been snowboarding. So that's like the next thing I want to try is either skiing or snowboarding. The world is ours. Clive. All right, so we started with the easier set to hit from. Now we're going to pivot Danny and go to the uh, evolving sky. But, you know, Vomit Skies is pretty good, because all the old darts right now are being pumped up. So if you pull one, it's even better, I guess. Skiing, I've heard that. Yeah, I've heard that skiing's easier, too. A lot of people tell me that don't go up there first time. Like, take lessons, a lot of people tell me. Victini. Come on. Something. Salad blade. Yeah, Evolving Skies never gets any better, does it? <laughs> it never gets any better. All right, I hate to say it, but I don't think Tamu's here to claim the prize. I don't think he is, so. Dude, Alex, I think so too, bro. I'm low-key liking this version more than the original. Yeah. There's also a sped up version, but that one is awful. I can play it next, but it's so bad. It makes you hate the song. Uh, not really. So I live in Massachusetts, and there's not really that many great spots around here. I think usually people will go to Vermont, I think. It's so like, I remember like in school, a lot of kids were like, oh yeah, we're going to Vermont to ski or something. And I, there might be. I know we have Neshoba Valley, but I don't think that's like for adults. I think that's like a kid, kid area. Umbi. Slow back to back is pretty dry. I kind of dig it. Hello, Gauss. And that's right, Danny. You don't actually want the hollows. So we'll throw them in the trash with them. Please don't play the sped up version. Don't feel bad. I'm mixed Middle Eastern, black, and Native American. I get confused for an Indian all the time, even though I look more black. Oh, dude, trust me. I don't mind at all. Yeah, trust me. I don't mind at all, man. It is what it is. Um, I, if you look at me and you think something, dude, I, I don't I don't see color, bro. I see people. So I, I don't care. It doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me at all, man. I get it. It doesn't bother me a lick. Danny B. Ah. 
I don't see color, I see people. There's barely enough snow to run a ski. Really? I thought I thought Canada was like really cold and snowy. Maybe I was just wrong. All right, Tamu. I am sorry, my friend, but time has elapsed, which means we got to run that giveaway courtesy of Derek one more time. Alrighty, so just make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you placed a like on the stream tonight, then put a BR in the chat. If you have not done any of those three steps, your Pokemon will not appear on the screen. So if you're going to be like, oh, my Pokemon didn't show up, I don't want to hear it. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like the stream. Put a BR in the chat. Three simple steps. If you've not done all three steps, your Pokemon will not appear. And we will all drop an RIP to Tamu as his sacrifice led us to be able to re-give it away. Samantha is up next, and Samantha wants in for the TF battle. Samantha, thanks for joining up. I think we only need four more people now for a three-box battle, too. Let me see if I can comb through the queue. It's not super long, so let me just comb through it real quick and see if... Oh my god, Steve! Oh my god, Rich! Yo! All right, guys, we got some, let's just say, guys, we've got some very, very exciting things on the agenda. Holy buggies. Holy buggies. What's up, Bill? It's 75 for two packs. For two packs. 75. Alrighty guys, good to the luck. Now keep in mind, winner does have to be here. Winner does have to be here and they got to pick a spot on either our Neo Rev Gauntlet, our Steelix Gauntlet, or our three pack Blister Gauntlet. I feel like the Gauntlets have not been super, super popping off recently. So maybe it's my fault or not picking good enough items, I guess. We'll chalk it up to that maybe. And then after this, we've got Rich, and he is opening up this really, really crazy vintage box. So Rich, you are up next, man. And of course, Rich, I guess I'll ask you in the, in the interim, do you want to weigh anything? You want to just open it all up? You want it sealed? Let me know if you got any ideas before we get into opening it. I think all the gauntlets are solid. I think so. I thought so too. I mean, the three pack is dope. Someone's going to get an EX Power Keepers. Two other people get a Platinum. Steelix, I think is a great slab. Maybe not, not for everybody, but I think it's a great slab. Wow. Okay, Rich. You got it, man. Holy buggies. John! Hey, John. There we go, man. All right, John. Would you like... A spot on which one of these, John? You got it. You want Steelix, Neo Rev, or three pack blister? John with the dub. We do also, we are also looking for some more people in the battle. I think we only need four more people, and that's gonna be three whole boxes of temporal forces. Yep, 14. So we only need four more people, and that battle will be full. That is gonna be the max. So four more, and that's the max capacity. Bro, there's no... Okay, John is here. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's no way John is also not here. Cool. So, John, you are picking up number 11. Thanks to Derek. Slab bag gauntlet again? I suppose we could, man. Honestly, I'm not liking that. I guess this might be the last slab bag that I make, honestly. It's just not really popular anymore. So, I think this might be the last round. Because I don't like the fact that we have to gauntlet them off. You know, I hate that fact, because that basically just means people don't like it enough to just buy it straight up, which is not a good sign for me, at least. But we could definitely do some gauntlets for them. Get these ones sold. Okay, Rich! Are you ready? Where'd that box come from? That came from my shelf. <laughs> that came from my shelf.
Because I do like the slap bags. All right, Rich is ready. Let's do the obligatory zorp as we open this puppy up. Just ignore the fat stack of cards on the side there. Uh, yeah, so I, had, I have another one. It's not the same packs, though. It's the same price, but not the same packs. So I can show that off again if you'd like. But yeah, I show these off, like, briefly. Although, to be honest, Rich kind of asked me about it, so I showed him. Sometimes people see things during a certain stream, and then I still have it, and then they ask you about it in another stream, and I'm like, oh yeah, I do have that. So, yes! So, Alex, I was thinking about that, man. The only problem with that one is, like, I don't know. The problem is, I feel like all things kind of have a cycle. It's like, things are really, really popular, and then uh, suddenly they stop becoming popular, and you gotta, like, switch it up a little bit. Okay, these actually are not bad. I don't think they'll grade a 10, just because I do still see some white spots. And the centering's not perfect either, but these are not damaged at least, so that's good. It's 400, but I don't have any more of these ones left. And the one that I have is not the same packs. There is no Plasma Storm in it. But there is Dragon's Exalted, which is also a pretty good set. This Terrakion's really in there. Oh, God. All right. We got to go Surgeon Mode here. Rich, this Terrakion is really in there, man. It is really, really in there. This is a four-pronger. It's got prongs on each side, I think. We opened up quite a few of these, and I think that's always the case. Stop at the time was a little slap stuck. That could definitely be it. Yeah, Alex, that actually definitely could be it. But I do have a lot of slabs in right now. Yup, this is a quadra prong. Oh my god. <laughs> that is the worst. Four prongs on every side of the card. Alright. You know, surprisingly, no prong indents. Although it does have a scratch right there. But, you know, surprisingly, surprisingly, no prong indents, just a random scratch. That I don't know where that came from. Alrighty, Rich, we've got the box opened up. We got you the three promos inside. Here we get Plasma Storm, Black and White. Dude, these are all great sets, actually, bro. None of these are blame. These are all really nice. So, black and white base. We're going to start with that one, Rich. We are looking for the secret rare Pikachu. Let's do it, baby. So, I guess in reality, Alex, I think I would like it more if we didn't do a wheel. So, if we had like a different strategy for it, I think I'd be way more game. But I don't know. I guess I... <gasps> Alright, I can already see a white dot. Bro, knowing our luck, this is going to be a Pikachu, isn't it? Pignite! Revive! Darumaka. Energy, these look pretty cool, actually. Solosis. Blitzel. Snivy. Timber. Snivy, not a bad reverse. And Pikachu! Oh, it's a non-hollow rare. Okay. You know, if there is going to be a damage on a card, I guess I'm glad it was a non-hollow. Yeah, that is definitely whitening. 100%. What's up, Rodney? I cannot really say as to what's been pulled and what hasn't. So I'm not sure. Forgot to thank you for the down and pearl. Yeah, dude, Eric, no problem, bro. You've been a part of the community for a long time, Eric. It's the least I could do, man. Least I could do. 
boundaries crossed. We looking for full art Skyla, full art Bianca. Any reason? Yeah, I'm not like, it's not really too, too crazy reason, honestly. I guess in my mind, I would like it if I didn't have to pull up like a screen, like an electronic screen. I just think it'd be like a better flow and also kind of vibe better if it was just kind of like a mechanical thing. If that makes any sense. I don't know exactly what we would do, but something that isn't like digital. I know it sounds stupid, so maybe I am just kind of overthinking it, but I don't know what else we change it to, to be honest. Farfetched. Pat Rat. Spoink. Ooh, we got a Charmander. Snivy. Switch. Oh, Toxicroak Reverse Rare. And a Blossom for the non hollow. Blossom. Buy a random ball machine. I don't know. I don't want to roll dice or anything like that either. Or roll a ball. But maybe I'm overthinking it. Because I don't know how else he'd really do it, to be honest with you. Especially make it totally fair, too. Rich. This is it. Black and white plasma storm. Please, for the love of God, if we can get the secret rare shiny Charizard out of this set, and there's a secret rare Blastoise, it will be heaven. Buy a Blade Beyblade Arena. Let it rip. One, two, three. Plasma Frigate, Girder, Magnadon, Scraggy, yo, Scraggy, bruh, yo, my man airing out his wiener, <laughs> Fungus, Wismer, get us some air in there, some fresh air, coughing, Elgum, oh, oh, we got an A-Spec, oh, <laughs> that is really dope. So they brought these back in the newest Scarlet and Violet sets, and this is where it all began. So black and white with the Drowsing Machine Ace spec. That's actually a pretty good pull. And, oh, a non-holo. Okay, although it wasn't a complete wash, because we did actually pull you an Ace spec. The Dowsing Machine. Hey, Matthew. Um, I don't think any gauntlets have gone off today. You were here at, for the end of last stream, though, where some slab bag gauntlets ended. Uh, but today, I don't think any gauntlets have come to finish. What the? <laughs> yeah, so I couldn't tell you the value on these, but I, I think they're worth a decent chunk. You'd have to double check. I don't really know too much about the A specs. Damn, Rich. We got three non hollow rares. Oh, God. Oh god. Scraggy packing that heat? I got that thing on me. Rich. Dude, Rich. Thank you for picking up one of those boxes, Rich. But. I guess Ace Specs is kind of cool, though. Ace Specs is kind of cool. I don't know. Maybe they're also coming a little bit more into. Just, you know, throwing it out there. Maybe with the new introduction of Ace Specs, the older ones might see some increase. Perhaps. Rich. Use that a Pokemon tournament and see if it works. I think, um, I feel like I've heard from somebody that if they reprint a set the cards from older sets become playable again as long as the same exact card eric b 15 korean ev heroes he says no bulk just the hits eric b two 
four, six, eight. Let's get you a fresh box. Winner on the back, you could still choose a number when entering. Yeah, so I, I guess the more and more I think about it, Alex, I guess the the problem that I was having with it was just everyone would, you know, join and they'd also want a number. So I feel like if we were to do it again, I would probably just make it to where you cannot pick a number for those small ones. Like the big ones, they're big, I get it. But the small ones, you know, they're just kind of meant to be like quick, fast, like bursts. A PSA 10 of the Ace Specs is listed for 135. I can't find the sold. But I guess let's start by asking this. So for those who have been around for a while, you might remember uh, we used to do like mini slab gauntlets. Eights. 10, 12, 14, and 15. All right. Would anybody that knows what I'm talking about be interested to see those return? Because they were, they were pretty nice. They were pretty nice, I'll admit. Pokemon's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you get. They might be nice. They might be melted. They might be old and stale. Opal's old and stale, but I still love her. Steven says, I love the slab goblins. Uh, different from the multi-slab gauntlet? Yeah, so I can, I can do like a quick, quick rundown, I guess, of what it used to be. But, you know, then again, Alex, I think that's really what happened. I feel like we ended up switching that to just be multi-slab gauntlets because it just was a lot. Like, people would get multiple spots. I had to keep showing the slab. That was really the annoying part in truth. It was me having to constantly show off the slabs. Because, you know, someone would come in and then, like, 10 minutes later, a new guy would come in and say, Hey, what's this, you know, what's the mini slabs? And I had to show them off again and again and again. So I think that was really my gripe with them. Just the amount of verbiage you have to kind of do to show them off. But we can definitely do it back, Alex. I'm not, I'm not much of a complainer, but we can definitely do it again. If people want it, we can try it again. Sylveon. Hey, can you show me the slabs? Yes, I mean, it wasn't even like that. It was just like constant, constant, constant. Fix on a website? Yeah, or like a Google Doc. Yeah, like a Google Doc, right? Eric B. Yo, I, oh, I, I hope Perp is doing well, man. I haven't heard from Perp in a minute. And I know the last interaction I had with Perp was when he graded all those cards with me. So he, so dude, Perp is crazy. He bought a whole box of Fossil on his own and opened it. Like, imagine now you go out and you buy, like, a box of, like, Temporal Forces, you open it, great. He bought a whole box of first edition Fossil and just opened it. <laughs> he just opened a whole box of Fossil, all casually. Ashley is up next. Ashley says random slab number four. One, two, three, and four. And then he sent me all of the cards to grade, and I, and he got, dude, he kind of got hosed. I'm not going to lie. Like, he got a lot of eights, a lot of nines. Like, I don't think he got a single ten. And that was from a whole booster box of Fossily opened up. So I'm, like, positive there's no way he came out on top with that one. I don't think he got a single ten. Maybe he did. But it, I just remember it being kind of rough. Like, I think some of his gang, he got a couple Gengars out of his box, too, and they didn't score a ten. Uh, I am out. So, Sam, all I have left is this. This is it. Once this is sold out, I am sold out of this set for other verse. Ashley. So, I, you know, I know personally that I can definitely be tough. You know, you spend over ten you know, I don't, fossils. I don't know what he got for it, but definitely over ten thousand bucks. And you know, you get back. Definitely not $10,000 back in graded cards. 
you know, it's gonna make you a little, little frustrated with the hobby for sure. NK PSA 10 coming in for Ash. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if he really was 16. There's just no way, right? How can you be 16 and spend that much money? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I believe that he was uh, 16. Steve, two triumphant. And a boundaries crossed. Oh, snappy. All right, so Steve, boundaries crossed. I can say for certainty, I'm the guy that opened up this box. So these are all nice, legit, unweighed packs. And what I'll let you do, Steve, is let's just see how many we got out of here. And then we'll let you pick a number. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. So, Steve, let me know if you want to pick a number 1 to 11 for your boundaries. And then triumphant, because uh, these did come from that collection. That, what does let you choose, I guess. So, if you want to pick your pack cards, cool. If you want to do it randomly, we could do that for you, too. Ten. Okay, cool. So, this is 11, and this should be ten. And then for the triumphant, honestly, Steve, you just want to pick your pack cards. That's good for me, too, man, if you want to. Or if you want to do them randomly, I can do that for you, too. But if you want to pick your pack cards, I'll let you do that. And I don't think a single pack has gone out of this bag yet, besides the one you just purchased. Okay, two and four. So, two and four. Bada boom, bada bing. Awesome. Living home with his parents? I don't know. I mean, dude, when I was 16, I, I guess that's true. When I was 16, I had some money from Minecraft and stuff like that. I guess that's true, but... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Super cars? Yeah, that could be very true. Yeah, I guess that's very true. It could definitely be the case. All right, Steve. He's going deep. What do you think, Steve? You want to weigh anything? You just want to open? Let me know what you think. Wait, I guess that's true. Yo, Matthew. Dude, thank you for the gifty, baby. Oh, he says just open. Steve, you're wild, dude. Chat, can we show some love for the homie Steve? I think we say triumphant for last, dude. I'm thinking we say triumphant for last. Start with boundaries crossed. Maybe his parents just didn't care what he spent his money on. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of assumptions going on. I have no idea. All I know is that at that age... I was definitely not balling out like that. I was saving to buy my car. Then I balled it on the car, which was a terrible idea. But you live and you learn. But, you know, maybe his family is just super rich. So maybe to them, you know, like twelve, thirteen thousand dollars $13,000, whatever it was for him, uh, you know, it was just nothing. Maybe. Great ball. All right, come on, baby. Bianca. Skyla. Eldio, Delibird, Energy Search, Scyther. That's a really nice Scyther art. Scyther, Spinda, getting dizzy. Ooh, yo, I can't think of a single time where I saw a Rattata art and think, wow, that's kind of cute. That is kind of cute. I like that. Rattata. Makuhita, come on, baby. Oh, we got a reverse Psyduck. And... Oh, we got a Grumpig. Grumpig for the non holo rare. Grumpig. Scyther. I really do like that Scyther common in there, too, actually. Now, I'm not really one to tell people to grade common on common cards. Unless... They're starters, or they just generally look like really dope art that someone would want to buy simply for the art, too. And this actually might be one of those. I think pretty cool. I think, at least. I do this customer's lawn, and I know they have a 13 or 16-year-old son who has a Corvette. Some YouTube channel thing, but he has a ridiculous amount of money. Yeah, I guess that's, like I said, you never know, right? You never really know. You can make assumptions, but you don't know until you know. Triumphant! Come on, baby. Legend or Prime? Please!
What do you guys think, chat? Legend or Prime? Two packs of Triumphant coming up. What do you guys think? Yan Mega. Porygon 2. Dragonair. Eh, I like the crazes art, but I do like Dragonair a lot. Volbeat. Cricketot. Yanma. Machop. Nidoran. <gasps> Oh my god. And a Waylord! <laughs> Yo! Bro, I love Absol! Oh my goodness gracious. Steve! Dude, Absol is so such an underrated Pokemon, dude. Beautiful. Okay, Cedarin looks pretty good. I do notice one white dot up in that corner. That corner is pretty good. Small little white dot in that corner. And maybe like a little speck or something right there. But all in all, that is pretty freaking sick. Absol Prime coming in for Big Dog Steve. Dude, now, dude, Steve, I'm excited, dude. Because all of these weighed similar in, in weight, right? What are the odds that all four of these have a Prime? What if this guy sold me a bunch of heavies? <laughs> well, you know, like I said, it was a huge collection uh, from his... From his recollection, he said he bought it from a lot of different sources, apparently, so. Leonard. Very, very nice. Alright, Steve, round two. If we get another Absol, I can or another Prime, I guarantee you those are gonna sell out right away. <laughs> right away. Maybe color in those white dots? A weeping bell. Junkar. Phyloshwine. Yanma. Carvana. Apol. Lick a tongue. And another prime. Here we go. Oh, okay, Tentacruel on the reverse. And... Oh, wow, that's a non... Okay, well... <laughs> oh, well. All right, all right. I'm still really happy with the outcome, though. No wow, all right. They're all pretty similar in weight, too, which is a weird thing. But Tentacruel coming in as the reverse. And Sharpedo. Dude, Steve, you really got me excited, bro. <laughs> you really, really did you got me excited for your theme deck. Then you got me excited for that one. But I'm still happy. I'm still very, very happy with the outcome there. And Steve, thanks for grabbing a boatload of vintage right there. Very, very happy. I at least got you a big pull out of the three. And that is going to be none other than the beautiful Absol. One would assume the primes weigh as much as the reverses. Um, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. And like I said, the other thing too is there's no way to know for sure if all of these packs came from the same box, came from the same product even. Because there are, you know, there are blisters with Triumphant in them. There are, um... Like the, like the same theme deck for Undaunted, there's some for Triumphant out there too. So I have no way to say these all actually came from the same like print run, same product. You know, they were just loose buys, so. So no idea, no idea. Weigh them for science. I don't want to weigh them without the sleeve on it, because why would I ever do that to Steve? And if I do weigh them with the sleeve, then I guess we could, but the sleeve might, might be different, I don't know. 
Damn, all right, Steve, that was sick. I've been, I've been forgetting the right timestamp all night like a goofball. Danny B says a spot on Neo and a spot on the three. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, Danny, thanks for signing up, man. You're on 12 for the Neo. And you're on 11 for the three pack. Danny B. My name is Math, and I like maths. I like turtles. Bro, these vintage packs today are getting me really excited. <laughs> oh my god, Steve bought the last two as well. Bro, Steve is... Dude, Nick, Steve, and Rich, and Giovanni. You guys are like a, the four musketeers. You guys are crazy. All right, Phil. One Slabby Patty going for a snipe. Nick is up next. It says Neo Rev Gauntlet. Oh, sweet. I think we got a couple of people signing up for this. So, Nick, you are on 13. Thank you for signing up. I feel like we played all the songs already on this playlist. We added like one new song. Let's go to Lo Fi Funk. No, there's only one funk playlist. Okay, let's try uh, Lo Fi House. What's this? Ashley B says Neo Rev number 21. Ashley, thank you for joining up, Ash. They did an LA $30 million heist. Who did? Oh, the Four Musketeers? Danny B is up next. He says 10 more EV heroes. Danny B. Yo, Haley with five? Yo, Haley, dude. Holy buckets, Haley. Big balling tonight, dude. Yo, Haley. Thank you so much, Haley. Five flipping gifties. That's a lot, Haley. Thank you. Thank you a lot. I just pulled Articuda V out of Chilling... Oh, nice, dude. Nice. Yeah, Chilling Rain's getting harder to find, so that's good. Danny B, looking for an ult art. I missed stream yesterday. My data wasn't working for the chat. Wait, Haley, you got, you got unlimited data, right? You got unlimited data, right? Hopefully... Yo, Otherverse, you too, bro. You too, man. I'll get your stuff shipped out yet, or tomorrow too. I think John gave you a slab. I'll get the mail out of you tomorrow as well. And if you do somehow find some more Series 1 in, like, in the back of the storage facility or something, let me know. Because we are almost sold out of it. And that that out of 10 card today got me pretty, got me pretty riled up. <laughs> got me pretty riled up. It also seems like Ancient Origins may not fill tonight, which is okay. We can carry it over to the stream on Thursday, but if anyone is interested, Lost Ancient Origin is still available. Oh, okay, nice. Rainbow Sylveon. I found a couple of each. Whoa, that's a great find, Bill. Oh, yeah, okay. I was going to say, you should have kept those sealed, man. That's nice. Um, TF is almost ready. It's going to be a three box battle today. And I think we need four more players bar anybody that might be in the queue for it. Dominic, just so sign me up for the blister. Dominic on number 12. Dom, thanks for signing up. Oh, damn. Okay, so this is actually, like, almost halfway full. That's a huge gauntlet. <laughs> That's a huge gauntlet, now I think about it. Miles P. So let me get a random slap. Alrighty, Miles. I've got six left. Miles, can I get a number from you? One to six. I've only got six left. 
Ooh, Chi signed up for the TF battle. Awesome, Chi. Thanks so much. Let me get you in right now. Miles pushing P. You're up next with a random slab. One out of six. Four. All right. So one, two, three. Here's number. Ooh. Looks like trouble. What's this? A top scarf? So, yeah, Abby, I just combed through the queue. We got, I think, like four or five orders in the queue. And it doesn't look anyone else is in the battle from the queue, just Chi. So I think three people left, I believe. If you join two left, and hopefully at two, we could hopefully get two more to make it a three box. What's these slabs they're buying? Uh, these are the $28 random PSA slabs. Just keep in mind, if you do buy the random PSA slabs, uh, they're somewhere between like 20 to 40 bucks. And 28 is kind of like right in the, right in the middle there. Ooh! All right, that's gonna be a PSA 8 movie edition tops. Looks like trouble. We got Meryl, Snubble, Cubone, Raichu. Kind of cute, actually. I like that. Oh, damn! Bill and Jesse just signed up. So if Abby signed up as well, then I think it's full, actually. Eric B. 10. Korean. Eevee Hero. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I think it's full. So I think Abby's in the process of sending for it. Hello, Abby. If you don't want it, let me know. But I think if Abby's in, then he might be the last person. Unless you guys... And honestly, Adam might not be happy to hear this. But unless you guys want to make it a four-box battle, this is exactly how the case battle ended up. We were like, oh, let's make it two-box. Three-box, four-box, five-box. Oh, might as well make it a case now. <laughs> That's exactly how it happened. No, okay, so then we'll do three boxes max, and then we really only just have one spot left. I think Abby was down for it. Let me just make sure no one else signed up. Yep, so Abby, if you do want the last spot, let me know, all right, man? It is going to be reserved for you, hopefully, if you want it. Yeah, after that last case, I could totally understand not wanting to be another case battle. Yeah, I could totally, totally understand. Uh, boost, that's the new Pokemon set, Temporal Forces. 24 bucks for the buy-in, $4 a tax. Pretty nice. Uh, but I think it is full. I do have some, uh, tin packs for Lost Origin, Brilliant Stars, Astral, Silver, uh, Chilling Rain. And we could do those, uh, 30 for a battle for those who might be interested in that. And that would just be, like, how many people join. Case battle made me feel icky. Yeah, I hear you, dude. It was really, really dry until the last stack had a finally had a nice pull into the sweet coon, but it took 220 or 215 packs to make that happen. Okay, cool. Yeah, Trevor, welcome aboard. Sure, you can definitely get the last spot. Justin S says 10 as or lane. Okay, cool. I think 10 come in a box. So Justin, let me get you a fresh box. All right, Justin, we're looking for a signature out of this set. And Justin, you let me know. Would you like right or would you like left? I do believe there's 10 packs plus a promo. So you get the whole box with 10 pack order. Yep, I think so. Right, okay. Dude, guys, I'm so happy today, bro. I cannot believe we finally had a stream where we did not lag our asses off. I don't know if you guys understand how exciting that is for me. Finally, a stream where we did not just lag right out the wazoo. So, two, four, six, eight, ten. Perfect. Just want to make sure I get you to make sure you're getting the right amount of packs. Just no, actually, go. Verizon came through, and uh, 
They set it all up, and it does not work. It is awful. So I think uh, they might have gave me like a bad router or something. Because Verizon doesn't work at all really anymore. It was really, really bad and laggy. So I'm actually using my OG internet. Which, funny enough, I think in their process of doing it, they might have actually fixed my main internet line. <laughs> so I guess in a roundabout way, low-key, they kind of helped me out. So I'm right now about my main internet, my OG. Oh! <gasps> no way! Just an S with a stamp right off the rip. Hey, medium. Um, I think the battle is full. Yes, yeah, so sorry, medium. I think the battle is full. But if you guys want to do a separate battle that's, you know, not included in this one, we could definitely do a new round for sure. I have a lot of temporal forces. We definitely could do a new, new round. I found... Yeah, dude, Haley, that was clutch. Although I will say that in my mentioning to everyone that uh, all the people that came to my house today to do the, the new Ryzen, I told them that my current internet lags every hour on the dot, and they're like, hmm, interesting. And that's all they cared about. They're like, okay, sounds cool, brother. Let me get my shit set up and get out of your house. I'm gonna do super chat? Absolutely not. Yeah, no way, Jose. Super Chat takes 30%. So when you send a Super Chat to a streamer, YouTube takes a 30% cut of that. Whoa! So yeah, if you sent me 24 through Super Chat after YouTube's cut, I'd lose money, so I can't do that. Yeah, it's gotta be through PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App, or Zelle. Nice, dude, Justin, that was pretty damn good, bro. Not a bad first box. Hit you with a stamp and hit you with a... Woo. I'm in Canada and I take a flat rate from PayPal. That's why. Yeah, unfortunately, man, that's the only option. Or you could try Weiss. If you have Weiss, I do accept Weiss. Uh, but, you know, also on my end, if you pay through someone in Canada, instead of paying 3%, I pay 5%. So it's bad for both of us. <laughs> so I, I know. Not ideal, but, you know, just how it is. Just can't do Super Chat. 30% is way too much. PayPal already takes 5. Steve! Last two triumphant. They are off. Yeah, they're sold out. All right, Steve, I'm sure you don't care to weigh them, but I always got to ask, do you want to weigh? They're all about the same weight anyway, so I'm hoping we get something juicy out of these two. But yeah, I, I do know that it particularly sucks if you're international because sometimes the currency conversion definitely screws you over, so I totally get that. Okay, cool, Steve, sounds good. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care to weigh them because, you know, they're all right there. And they're all similar, but if you want to know, we could definitely do it. I usually ask, because some people want to keep it sealed. If they see the way to have an inkling that it might be light, then, you know, they might want to keep it sealed. All right, so that's the 71. So it was saying 71, now it's the 72, but that's probably this pack right here. So actually the lowest weight out of the bag. And this one is... Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Dude, see, I don't know, guys. I promise you when I weighed these, I wrote down the exact weights. But now, when we weigh it again, it's showing a different weight. They're both actually 0.7. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Because the same thing was happening with the other scale that we used, and I bought a whole new scale because of it. And I bought a whole new scale because of it. Very sus. No, so let me see. Just just for just for example, let's see. Because this got me hyper paranoid last time, and that's why I bought a brand new scale. Because I used to use this scale, 
And then I feel like every time I would weigh in a pack, especially for Darius, Darius will be able to verify this pretty easily. Let's just take a look. So this one is 2061. Let me just see if it's the same or show something different. Look at that. Yeah. So I don't know, dude. Maybe it depends on where I scale it. Maybe my table's uneven, so it screws with it. Because when I scale these, I don't actually sit right here. I sit over there on the right where my computer is. But see, this is off by 0.2 as well. And that was definitely 2061 when I weighed it. So yeah, in truth, I don't really know. I don't really know. And obviously, my goal is to not lie to you about the weight. But it's just the number that I get when I weighed it. Look at that, dude. 2061, now showing 2057. See, I don't really know. I don't really know. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know. Let's try one more. This one was 2089. This is for an old pack, too. I weighed this one years ago. Bro, what? 20? No, that can't be right. Maybe the whole, maybe the whole pack's weighs some. Huh? That can't be right. 2011 from 2089? No. Sorry, Steve. I know you said rip them nonetheless, but that's got to be crazy. What? There is no way I the scale or me was off by like 90 or 80 gra 0. 80 grams. There's just no way. Let's try this one. No, it says 2012 here. Bro, what? Now that is crazy. So either my scale was like all sorts of effed up. 2010 is a super light weight though. Wow. Okay, well. Just pull that one off. <laughs> Let me just pull that one off. That one, I gotta put to the size. I gotta reweigh that one for sure. I do have a 100 gram calibration weight that came with this scale. Oh, this is off by a bunch. Oh, hold on. That might be the culprit. So this is not showing up as the proper gram. So that could very well mean that these might have been correct but because the scale is off by 0.03 the ones that were like four five and seven four might have just shown lighter because now the scale is showing 0.03 grams lighter interesting this one's already off what the okay this one's not bad this one's this one's even closer than this one all right anyways Case in point, I have no idea why the weight is not the same, but you can trust me when I say I'm as honest as it gets. Those were the weights as I weighed them at that point in time. And, you know, I think Steve would trust me enough to know that I'm not going to lie over a couple of, you know, a couple point oh, couple grams. You know, what's the what's the benefit in that? But anyways, just thought I'd, I'd take that because now I'm kind of kind of weird. Because... That base set one is crazy different. Crazy, crazy different. But anyways. Every time you weigh your pack, you have to recalibrate? No way. No way that's a thing, right? That's not exact. That's not true, right? Alrighty, but anyways, enough of that escapade. Steve, thanks for grabbing all the triumphants tonight, and let's get into the pack. Need to figure something out? I don't know how. I don't know how to figure it out, man. Yeah, I just don't. I just don't. Like when I got that collection in, bro, I was weighing like sixty something packs. I'm not gonna recalibrate it after every single pack. Are you crazy? <laughs> Are you crazy? Steve. Stop putting weights on packs. I think that's the only way to do it, though, man. 
How else will I sell it to Trump and be bluntly honest about it? I can't say it's unweighed because I didn't buy it from a box or get it from a sealed product myself. I can't say it's heavy. I can't say it's... I guess I could just say it's light by default, but even that I think would be kind of a little bit underselling, to be honest. Junk arm! Diglett! A A A Raw! Bellsprout! Magnemite! Yanma! Ooh, reverse! Scruppy! The rare? Oh, non hollow, but it is a Dragonite! Yo, a little chunky Dragonite here! Dragonite. Just bang the scale on the table. That will definitely break it. That will most definitely break it. Put a cup on 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 tear it and pour whatever in the cup. And get... <laughs> yeah, but I don't think a I don't know. I guess a pack might go in a cup. But you're talking more about the drug dealer <laughs> method. Like, I guess I am selling some sort of drug. It's just not actually illegal, you know? Right. Steve, I just ran out of top loaders. So let me go grab you some more because I'm hopefully anticipating we need to use it. And Steve, let me know if you're changing your mind. But if you're down, I'm down to open up the last pack as well too, Steve. Let me grab you some more top loaders first, though. Sterilize it too? Okay, so Steve. Last pack of Triumphant. Come on, baby. One more hit. Absol was great. We need at least one more hit. Another Prime. At least a Hollow or a Legend is what I'm hoping for in this last pack. This one, I didn't do a great, great job opening. Let's we'll just go down the spine. You gotta hit tear after turning it on and tear again after every weight. Ooh, okay, that's a really nice card. We got Indigo Plateau, Nidorina, Nidorino, Magnemite, Dratini. Voltor, Pidgey, and Baby Prime! Oh, okay, we got Larion on the reverse. And, oh my god! <laughs> Steve! Dude, Darkrai and Cresselia Legend. Bro. Bro. The, yeah, I don't care what you guys say about the weight, weighing, no weighing. I don't give a shit. This was only four packs I got from this guy. And we got a prime and a legend out of four packs. So I don't care what you guys got to say. But two bangers out of four packs is phenomenal. Usually you only get like a hit. Including hollows in every three packs. We just got two huge hits out of four flipping packs. Oh, and this looks crisp. Dude. Bro, I don't even think I see a single white dot. Oh my god. Alright, bro. Steve, no cap. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal copy too. Maybe a smidge thicker on the right side by a little bit. But I kid you not, I don't see a single white dot on this card. Oh my god, this is... Dude, this should hopefully be a 10. And I don't say that lightly. You know me, I'm usually the first person to say, I don't guarantee 10s, but this literally is beautiful. The last time I said that to somebody was Carnage, and his Zar from base set got a 10, by the way. So I don't, I don't say 10s to people usually, but this is actually a beautiful copy. 
Darkrai and Cresselia bottom. Beautiful, Steve. I told you we were going to need some new top loaders. I called it. Don't care what you say, don't take it on us. <laughs> you guys are the ones saying it, though. <laughs> no, dude, cardboard, cardboard catching catching crossfire all the time, though. It's If I see cardboard, it's on sight automatically. I see him in the chat. Immediately, I think, how can I make fun of cardboard today? Damn. All right, yo, Steve. I am very happy with the outcome on these, man. Thank you for being ballsy enough to grab them. I know it's always scary to buy packs that are not coming right, you know, sealed right in front of you from a sealed item. So thanks for taking that risk, and that was great. I think that paid off really well. Paid off really, really well. Steve. Damn, bro. <laughs> now I'm getting really excited. Now, we do have a ton of Unleashed. But the weights are so different. Oh, did I throw that sheet away? Is it here? Yes. Yeah, the weights are so different. So, so different. But then again, the Heart Postal Silver were all similar weights, and we still had some lights in the mix, too. So I'm not going to discount the Unleashed just quite yet, but that is really, really nice. So I'm really excited. The Heart Postal Silver era is so good, man. Even the weights? Yeah, but dude, I don't even know. At this point... Because even, even though the weights show different right there, I think that 0.03 grams off calibration probably explains it easily enough. But furthermore, furthermore though, I think that it doesn't really matter. Because as long as I weighed all four packs in the same session, and that's what I did all back to back to back, if the scale was right then or the scale was off then, they should all be off or right by the same exact amount, right? That's how scales work, right? I think. So, like, if when I weighed them, the scale was off by, like, 0.05 grams, then all packs should be off by 0.05 grams. So, in, in the grand scheme of, like, relativeness, the pack should still have the relative weights about the same. Hopefully, that's making some sense. It makes sense in my head, at least. Wow, that was awesome, dude. That was really, really awesome. City is up next. Yo, City says 10 celebrations. Says, you know me. I'm from Germany. City, I sure do know you, man. All right. So, City, I actually got to open up a brand new celebrations product for you to get you those packs. So, City, let me go run and grab you something real quick for your packs, all right? But, City, you are up next. I don't know if this is a smart idea or not, but we're going to open up this. I don't know. I mean, I have I have Pokemon Center ones, and I also have... I have Pokemon Center ones, and I also have, like, regular ones, but I'm feeling like I should open this one. Which might not be great. Not smart? Eh, too late. Too late. Too late. Want him with the promo? Sure. Yeah, the Greninja, sure. I don't care about the Greninja. Bro, these are so hard to open. Okay, so where is that promo at in here? Wait, are these really going for 260? No. <laughs> don't tell me to just open this up. It's 260 bucks for for a hundred dollar order don't tell me i just did that two four six eight nine ten we'll study that greninja too why not i got three more oh there's like 13 in here shit wait are these really going for two dude don't mess with me are these really oh if they really are i just made a big oops <laughs> are these really they are the Pokemon Center edition. They are the Pokemon Center edition, so maybe. Wait, are you guys being serious? Oh, I should have checked. Really? 
Last Soul 280? No. <laughs> oh my god. All right, well, it is what it is. It is what it is, I guess. Now it is. Pokemon Center Celebration Elite Trainer Box. Pokemon Center Exclusive. No, they're not. No, they're not. You guys are crazy, bro. You guys are lying to me. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, cool city. Here we go. Is there a menu for the loose packs? Uh, there isn't, Sunfan, but I've been showing them off, but I can happily show them off again, too. City. All right, so City, hopefully you're here, and I wanted to ask you, City, I know you're international. Do you want the hollows or just the hits? Do you want the hollows or just the hits? The reason why I ask is because, you know, if you want the hollows, no problem, but just keep in mind, you know, the heavier your bag is, the more the shipping will end up costing at the end of the day, so might as well ask you ahead of time if you are here but these are for city yes sir we haven't done a god stack in so long where's ash and kusher from the punked i don't know you guys you guys in the chat all like said that simultaneously and i low-key believed it you guys got me i got got i got got and I low-key kind of believed it, dude, because this is the Pokemon Center version, and, you know, some people will pay more for the Pokemon Center one, without a doubt, so I don't know. And as, as Celebrations came out years ago. I've had these in the closet for probably years. So, yeah. I believe it. I haven't price-checked it in a minute. I haven't changed the price of Celebrations in, like, over a year. So I should probably take a look into that and see. Just because I bought so much of it. I bought so much celebrations. I was really bullish on the set. Still really am. Still really am. All right. City. This is a 10-pack celebrations god stack, so I like to call it. Oak Zabazenta. And these came fresh out of a Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box. Thank you. Rockets Admin, Flying Pikachu. Man, you guys got me real bad. <laughs> I started crying a little bit. Groudon, Zacian. Professor's Research. Come on, Zardy boy. Ooh, Rocket Zapdos. And Flying Pikachu. Are you selling any of those Greninja promos? I got like hundreds of those. Yeah, I got plenty of the Greninjas. I am not uh, low on those. I got tons. If you're opening up, I opened up a lot of silly DVs uh, for packs when they came out. I got plenty. Although I don't think they're that ex I don't think they're that expensive. I think those Greninja promos might be just like a couple bucks, five bucks at the max, I think. City. It's alright, I'll my first order. Can you shoot? Yeah, yeah, bro, with Christian? Yeah, sure thing, with Christian? Yeah, no problem. And I don't know if Christian's still here, because I know he was asking me to show his bag earlier, but I never got around to doing it quite yet. So, Christian, I don't know if you're still here or not. Just see your biggie. Um, you know, Dan, I don't know. I don't know, I have to take a look. Off the top of my head, Dan, I'd say like five bucks for a sealed copy of it, is what I'm thinking it'd be, but, you know, without looking it up, I'd just do five bucks. Five bucks for one. City. So you guys are in the same house. That's pretty dope. Does he ever like come tell you like, yo, 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 come check out what I bought. Come see, come see. I would do it. I would probably do it. Ian the Ninja says one raging surf. Ian the Ninja. Alright, slowly but surely, Raiden Surf Box getting emptied. Gulerk. <laughs> now, I can guess they're bros because they're last name too. Although, you know, I once met a Jade. Do you guys know Jade? Oh my god, Bren, I see what you ordered, bruh. Holy buckets, you weren't kidding, dude. Oh, William is in for the TF battle, William. Bill, thank you for signing up. 
Yeah, this is definitely full. Jesse's mom has got it going on. My boy Jesse is in for the battle as well. Trevor is in for the battle as well. Shoosh. All right, so I think that is our triple box battle full. Full to the brim. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. That's it. So this three box battle is full. We're going to do it pretty soon. Um, the queue's not terrible, so I'm thinking I might just get through it real quick. That way we can do the battle and no one has to wait super, super long. Ashley, two, 151, one slab hitbox. Ash. Yeah, yeah, I do remember, man. I, I don't have a great memory, but I feel like I remember a lot of stuff about the stream. It's all I do all day, every day, so hopefully I remember a lot of stuff about it. Run it. Yeah, so we got, um, we got, I think, four orders in the queue. So we're going to finish those up, and then we're going to do the battle. Uh, that way, those people don't have to wait like an hour. <laughs> Three boxes won't take us an hour, but probably take us at least 30 minutes. So I'll try to do those first, and then that way they don't have to wait super, super long to their orders. They already placed them, so it's only really fair in my opinion. Oh, wow, this has no swirls on it. You know, I wonder if, like, there are some people out there that are like, man, I really want ones with no swirls. I wonder. Because I feel like it's just it's just as hard to get one with zero swirls than it is to get one with, like, four swirls or whatever. Ghastly. Ghastly with the pump. Yeah, Avery, there sure are. Yeah, there sure are. More spots. I think quite a lot of spots, dude. Live with a fam? Oh, dude, 100%, man. It's a very, like, Americanized concept. Oh, you're 18, you gotta move out. Yeah, it definitely is. In my culture, you know, you don't, like, people don't really tend to move out of their parents' house until they're, like, married or settling in with somebody. So it's definitely a very, like, you know, like, American concept of moving out as soon as you can. I never understood that either. I mean, you know, if you grew up in a nice house, you enjoy your parents' company, why do you, why are you in such a rush to leave? Rodney with a whole box of EV heroes. Sheesh. Alrighty, Raw Dog. Rodney, would you like to pick a whole box, right or left? Rodney. <laughs> My mom's got it going on. Rodney. My dad always told me I was an idiot for wanting to be on my own at 18, so I should have stayed at home and saved money. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. I don't have a wife. I'm 13. Bro, I bought a house next door to my brother and wife and their kids, and we moved out father into an a, uh, ADU. Oh, back. It's all about... Yeah, hell yeah, Trumpet. I'm with you on that. I'm 100% with you on that, man. All right, so I don't know if Rodney is here. Does someone in the chat want to pick on his behalf, right or left? Rodney. Raw dog. We're gonna get this box for him. You can buy it from me if you want. 30 packs in it. All right, so Nick says right. Nick was the first person. So Rodney, we're gonna go with the right box for you on this one. And that's a lot for love. Let's get as soon as can. Yeah, I mean, everyone everyone has like a different situation, of course, right? If it's not a good place, of course, you want to get out of there. But if you are fortunate enough to have a good family, and you know, I am fortunate enough to say that I, I enjoy my parents. I love my parents. love my siblings. So I was in a rush to leave. I was in a rush to leave. Obviously, like I said, everyone's got different situations going on. Because I remember my roommate in college, his parents kicked him out. Like, his parents were like, okay, you're 18 now? Get the hell out of my house, essentially. 
and I was always just like, damn, that sucks, man. Like, I can't, I can't really imagine that, you know, that definitely has to suck. Are lucky? Yeah, exactly, go, right. I mean, you know, you, you never really know, right? You never really know. You don't really appreciate things until you kind of, you know, see other people in their situations. You're like, wow, you know, my situation's bad, but it could have been worse. <laughs> it could have been worse, you know? I think about that all the time. I'm like, oh man, such an unlucky day. But, you know, there's people that are out there and, you know, they're living on the streets, so I'm not, you know, could have been worse, right? Could have been worse. You always just got to kind of think about the positives. Rodney. Enter. In this economy, everyone should live with your home until you're 50. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. I've been seeing a lot, a lot, a lot more uh, videos talking about how, like, oh, you know, the next generation of kids and are never going to be able to afford a house with the way things are going right now. I mean, current generation of people still are not going to be able to afford houses the way things are going. So we'll see. Flareon. Once you realize, yeah, you cherish it, right? And you know, I think um, I had like a pretty big perspective change when my grandpa passed away. What the hell is that? You. All right, well, I don't know what that is, but let's throw all these in the garbage. <laughs> let's throw all these all in the garbage. So yeah, I don't know. Once, so when my grandpa passed away, I had a really big perspective switch where I was kind of like, all right, you know, time is definitely limited. Oh, and a Sylveon now. Kick them out and let them experience the world? I, I suppose that could be a strategy. I suppose that could be a parenting strategy. I don't know. I don't know if I like 100% agree with that, but I could, I could see where someone could make that argument. My wife don't own a house and make 140K a year. Damn, that's not bad, man. Dual income, that is not bad. That is better than average for sure. Yeah, it's just getting tough. It's just getting really tough, bro. Like even here where I live, houses are not cheap. They are not as cheap as they used to be. And this was like two years ago. This was like two years. Ooh, raw dog, old art. Oh, it's not an old art. <laughs> oh no. All right, we'll still take it though. That is gonna be the full art Glaceon Seeker Rare. Wow, I really thought it was gonna be an old art. Swampert. Ending. Renting is smarter nowadays. Well, I mean, I think from a logical standpoint, if you can own a property and not have to pay every month for rent, I think obviously that's like the ideal. But just given what it costs to own a house, especially if you have to take out a loan, which most people have to, depending on the loan you might get, yeah, it might be cheaper to rent for sure. So it just kind of depends what kind of, you know, stuff you could do, right? Raw dog with a books of Korean EV heroes. Rodney. So Rodney, if you did not like that box and watch this on replay, <clears throat> just know it was Nick Y that picked for you. <laughs> it was Nick Y. I blame him. Dylan John, this is 10. Paldean Evolved. Dylan. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Nice. Yeah, that's true, Avery. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, it depends, though. It depends what you got going on. Because when it comes to finance, you got to find the balance, okay? If you have a... Let's just say you have... An example, and I know this is a low rate. Let's say you have a 3% insurance or a 3% interest loan, right? 3%. If you could pay it off, great. But if you could use that money to pay it instead of paying it off and put it in something that's going to make you 6%, it actually mathematically makes more sense to put that money in the 6% return 
because it's going to make you more money. Rather than paying off the debt, that's going to take away 3%. You could make 6% for a net of 3% gain. So it just depends. It just depends on your situation. Depends what you got going on. And it's not as easy as like you know black and white. It really depends on your situation. Lokix. RGP offering 401ks for me. Yeah, I was scared of. Do I still do pharmacy shifts? I do not. Yeah, I don't do any pharmacy shifts, which kind of sucks. Uh, because I was I was still getting insurance through my pharmacy gig. But then when I like officially formally quit, I lost insurance from my job. And then I had to go and get my own insurance, my private health insurance, which really, really sucked. <laughs> finding that out, doing that, uh, finding a broker, getting my own insurance was really a pain in the ass. And that is like the one biggest benefit of having a job is you usually just get, you know, you get insurance to your job. But almost everybody does. So that's nice. Uh, so I look forward to getting married eventually. And then hopefully I'll have insurance through my wife and I won't have to have my own insurance again. But for now, I have my own insurance. But luckily enough, the insurance does end up going against my taxes as a write off. So it's not all bad. It's not all bad. Kroga. D Damn, Dylan! Oh my god! Um, Dylan! I have a question for God. Why? <laughs> Dylan! One Meow Scared. That was the last 10 packs in that box, too. Holy buckets. Dylan! It sucks we people have to worry. I like insurance. Yo, Haley, you're in Canada, right? So I'm pretty sure you guys got that all set up for you, right? I think. Kevin E says a spot on the Neo, Kevin E. Awesome. Kevin, thanks for signing up. That means three spots left. If anybody would like to hop in for the Neo Gauntlet, there's only three spots left till you pick a new winner. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Brent. Holy buckets, dude. Brent says, let me get three legendary treasures. Sheesh, Brent. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. I got sixteen in stock. All right, Brent. I need you to pick me. Three numbers, one to 16. This is huge. This is absolutely huge. Okay, let me try to grab, Christian, I have his bags. They got card savers and stuff in them. His bags are not alphabetical, so I gotta like kinda, that's why I've been trying to put it off a little bit, because I actually have to go search for all the bags to see if I can find anything. card saver it does not fit with the regular bags and you know sometimes you just need a card saver all right so christian i think this is all of it i may have missed a bag but forgive me uh tomorrow's a shipping day so it is kind of messy around here with a lot of bags so I think this is all of it, Christian, but there is definitely a chance you have another bag that I just kind of missed in my quick run through. Uh, yeah, I think that's all of it. Yeah, so maybe I missed a bag, but I think this is all of it. Okay, so he says, uh, yeah, through 16. Yeah, did you want to pick a new number? New numbers? Oh, okay. Eevee, Ivysaur, Carussel. Got the double Slow Kings. Kafarigus. A Hollow Blizzy. Hollow Aegislash. Oh, Heatran from Pokemon Rumble.
I'm working till I'm 75 and dying the day after. <laughs> Oh, nice. You got Eevee, Vaporeon, Swana, Timber in there from... See, I think it's mostly Dragon Exalt... Or, uh, Dark Explorers, maybe, like, a smattering of Boundaries Cross, perhaps, too. Bulbasaur. That looks pretty cute. Leafeon, Spoink, Tangela, Meow, Chinchow, Hollow Superior. All right, so Brent's sticking with his guns. Four, six, and 12. You got it? Sorry, but I'm just showing Christian his bags because he asked me really, really early on and I haven't done it yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, Brent, this is huge. So I got to ask you, Brent, do you want to just straight up open them or do you want anything special? Oh, we got two Mewtwo pack arts. Now, Legendary Treasures, I think, is a pretty hard set to weigh, even if you wanted to try. Just because there is a lot of different spots you can get hits from. So, I don't think weighing is really even that important for this set. But if you want to weigh it, we definitely can. And Sunvon bought the last three spots in the Neo Rev. Sheesh. Okay, thanks for that, man. So, we'll pick that winner right after this as well. Sprinkle the opal juice. The opal juice. Gotta shake that thing. Shake that thing, miss. I like gotta shake that thing. I used to love Sean Paul. Oh, dude, I always forget there's gold in this set, dude. I haven't pulled a gold in forever. We pulled a lot of Mews, a lot of Pikachus, not many golds, though. Alrighty, pack numero uno. Well, I was gonna save the code card, but <laughs> it was up backwards. Okay, what am I doing a pack trick here for? Ooh, I think I see something, bro. Holy bucket. Zorora, Time Pole, Trubbish, Woobat, Vulpix on a reverse. Nine tails now? Holy buckets. And oh my god, dude. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? On the first flipping pack. Dude. Dude. <laughs> dude. All right, well, at this point, Brett, you might as well just keep it all. No, I'm just kidding. But that is amazing. I mean, at this point, you are already chilling. Like, your other packs could have nothing in it, and you're... Oh, well. Okay, so this is a really nice pull, but, you know, Legendary Treasures is usually a pretty tough set, and I can say the centering is looking pretty rough. It is really, really thick over there. Really, really thick on that right side. So I think due to centering alone, this probably would not be a PSA 10 copy, but still beautiful. Still very, very beautiful. Mew. Yeah, Legend Legendary Treasures is tough. I've opened a lot of these, and I don't think I've ever seen a card. I'm like, that's a 10. Not a single time. And I've opened up over 100 of these. So I can tell you from experience, this is not an easy set uh, to pull 10s from, for sure. Torchic. And Torchic is also from the Radiant Collection, too. You might not be able to notice, but it's got Hollow Stars on it. Torchic. We got Shuckle in there, and a Primplup. That Mew's beautiful. Yeah, that Mew's a beautiful card. All right. Pack number two. Can we get the Pikachu now? <laughs> Can we get the Pikachu to go with the Mew? A Pikachu to go with the Mew, hopefully. Okay, cool. This code card was the right way. Shrubbish. Vulpix, Gothita, Tangela. Ooh, a Hollow Terrakion. Nice, we take that. Snow Day Terrakion. 
Fion, non holo rare. Ooh, nice, and a Pipla. Pipla and a Curlia, also from the Radiant Collection. Pipla. Oh, dude, a gold? Yes, dude. We need a gold. It's been a really long time. I might have pulled, I think, two golds in my life. I know one was for Casey, actually. And Casey still watches. I saw Casey today. So I know we pulled one for Casey. I don't remember who the second person was, but I know we pulled two before. They're really rare. They're really, really rare. Nice. All right, Brents. Don't faint on me, Brent. We got one more pack to go. I love gold. Damn, all right, these are not opened up very cleanly. Oh, it is what it is. Ooh, Charmander? I'll save that code card for you. I don't even know if these are valuable or usable, but I think I might as well give it to you. Krogunk. Gibble. Solosis. Oh, a hollow chinchino. <gasps> oh, Victini EX. And an Eevee. Okay, that was a really, really good pack, dude. And Charmeleon. Charmeleon in there, too. Teddy Arce as well. Sheesh. All right, dude. Eevee, Victini, and a Chinchino. All cute Pokemon. Nice, dude. That was good, man. Brent, thanks for grabbing these packs. And I think we got you some really, really nice hits. That was great. Chinchino. I think you got Charmeleon and Charmander in that pack, if I'm not mistaken. Chinchino. Nice. So, Brett, I'm going to stick that. You know, what I'll probably do is I think I can probably fit the all of Christian stuff in these two bags, and I'll try to put all your stuff in that si single bag. I don't know if you guys share ba uh, share cards or not as far as collection goes, but all your stuff will be in this one, all right? And you'll, you'll probably know. I'm sure you remember what cards are yours. Wow, that was great, dude. Mew on the first pack. It's hard to follow that up, though, right? Mew's like one of the best pulls, <laughs> so it's hard to follow it up. After the Mew came on, it's like, okay, what, what else can we get, right? Gold and golds are tough. I don't even think you're guaranteed a gold in every box. Jake D says five with a new Dragon Ball set. That Eevee sold last week for three thirty and a ten. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. If I had a penny for every time I type Eevee, I'd be rich. Okay, yeah, Christian, sounds good, man. I'll get you guys know now tomorrow, then. Sounds good. Uh, the TF battle. So after this, Jake's the last order in the queue. After this, we're going to pick the winner for the Neo Rev. Then we're going to do the TF battle. So right after this, Gauntlet, TF battle. That is the agenda. Jake. You fool. And Beerus. We got a lot of nice hits. So again, Geo, Nick, Rich, Christian, Brent, Giovanni. Might have missed a few, but thank you guys so much for the crazy, crazy vintage orders tonight, man. Been having a lot of fun today. I think that and also, you know, not lagging is definitely nice. Ooh, SPR trunks. Eric, battle me for my crowns. <laughs> the gamblers are coming out. That time of night. Son Gohan, good father. Jake D. Not bad, Jake. We did nag you an SR, SPR in there. Are you in a contract? I am not. So yeah, Verizon is just month by month. I can cancel at any time, yeah. So I was really, I was like the one thing I was like making sure I was like, so this is just not a contract, right? <laughs> All right, then we got Sunfan who got the last spots in the Neo. 
So let's pick the winner for this one. Let's see who gets the next pack in a near rev box break, and we'll do the temporal forces battle. So Agent Origins, I'm gonna put it to the side. It is still available, but I don't doesn't seem like they're gonna fill tonight. We'll just put that over there. Make sure I don't lose any of the cards. Okay, so 22, three, two, one. All right, I'm gonna go grab a case of TF because I know we need a new case. Yeah, it's more on the three. I'm looking at it. Yeah, it's a little light, but slightly more on the three. And the three is Gabe H. Gabe. Congratulations, Gabe. You just got yourself a Neo Revelation pack in our box break. Gabe H. Welcome back, Troy. The kids keep me busy with no school. What's up, Misfits? It's $25 to join. New Revelation, it's $550 a pack. Or we split up $550 by $25 because it'll be 22 spots. And you can try to win one that way. Oh, okay. So I was mistaken. Gabe, you just got your first pack in the box break. And we are now at 10 packs sold. So we were not at 10 before. We are now at 10. So 10 packs sold for Neo Rev. We got 26 packs left. And the box break is fully, fully sold out at that point. Word. Gabe H. Alrighty. Let's do the battle. I just crapped. Not crapped. I just grabbed a whole new case of TF. Let me open this up and let's battle. Hey, bro. I'm C. Hey, what's up? So I opened them up for you. Uh, if you were not here for it, I'm sorry. But the nice thing is, C, it is it's always on the VOD. So if you want to rewind and go catch your order, you definitely can. Uh, but just to give you a rundown of what you got from your 10 celebrations, here's what you got. Rocket Zapdos and a Flying Pikachu. So these are all your hits off of those 10 sellies. But if you did miss the actual opening, you can just kind of rewind maybe like 30 minutes to an hour ago we opened it. All right, so let me grab three from the same side of this case. Because hopefully that means at least one of these got to have an SIR in it, right? At least. Bro, I just can't believe, I just can't believe that I got Xfin or Verizon today and <laughs> I'm using RCN still. Oh my God, dude. That is too funny. I originally wanted 10 packs to see how much I got screwed. Dude, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. It really is kind of sad. But honestly, Brent, I, I think you did really good, bro. Three packs. You did really damn well for it, man. Eevee, Piplup, Mew, Victini. So yeah, I think you killed it, bro. You really did. I think you did really, really good. Ancient Origins, it's $75 for two packs. So they're sold in bundles of two because it's 36 packs in a box. So 18 spots will get us a full box break. 75 bucks gets you two packs. Two packs out of the box. Uh, but I'm in la Yeah, dude, the internet seems like it's fixed, dude. The, my main internet seems like it's fixed now, funny enough. Too late? What's up? Yeah, Ramiro, this battle is full. Uh, we capped it at half a case, so three boxes, and all the players are in. If you guys do want to do another battle tonight, we sure can. Uh, we just start a brand new one. So if you guys want to do a battle still, we definitely can. We don't have to do Temporal Forces. Like I said, for 30 bucks, we could do uh, five packs of lost or sorry six packs of lost origin 
Silver Tempest, Astral Radiance, Brilliant Stars, Chilling Rain even is on that list. Uh, Vivid Voltage on that list, Darks of Blaze is on that list, so we got a lot of different sets. So we could definitely do a battle too for other types. People prefer more Sword and Shield type stuff. Okay, so we need 18 stacks. Holy buggers. Yeah, this might be tough. Let's turn that this way. Can I fit eight? Let's move Steelix out. Steelix has to get out of here. If I can fit nine back here, we're good. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, no. Barely. Two, four, six, eight. All right, we'll just do it like that. And then we'll have to put two more on the front. And we'll do those people first. Neo Rev base at two battle. Well, you know, I just want Neo Rev to fill up. Because that way we can get to other boxes that are cheaper. <laughs> and we'll fill quicker. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely down for Neo Rev. So if anyone wants to join in for the gauntlet, we'll start a brand new one. And let's try to get Neo Rev finished. It's gonna take a while, I know, but... As soon as it gets to be like, you know, like eight, ten packs left, I'm sure more people will be more eager to hop in. Alright, I didn't even add these two here, so I got the two more right here. Man, I feel like I should just do six at a time, really. I feel like one by one by one is just so dumb. Alright, he's getting a little jumbled up here. Maybe I should have just done like, you know, put them all in a corner and do six at a time when I draw a name. But I feel like this is more aesthetic. You know, like a whole mat just full of stacks. It is kind of therapeutic in a way. Uh, what? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, these people are missing an extra pack. Okay, cool. So those two belong here. Let me spot check. This is six. Yep, okay, cool. So we're good. You want his three box battle? I'm down for it, though. I'm down for it. Awesome. So, City, I just saw you sent in for your shipping as well, City. Thanks so much. I'm shipping tomorrow. So, City, because you are international, if you could just send me a message on Instagram. I know we already talked there. But if you could just send me a bump, City, on Instagram tomorrow when I ship you, I want to just make sure, double check your address and make sure it's going to the right place. So, if you wouldn't mind, City, just bump me up on Instagram. Just say, you know, like, hey or something. And tomorrow when I ship you, I will send you the tracking number, the address is going to, and we'll make sure it's going to the right place, all right? Because the U.S. is pretty easy, but sometimes international addresses are kind of kind of wonky on the shipping program, so it doesn't hurt to double check with you. If this damn business sells this month alongside my shares, I'll buy the Neo Rev box. All right, Carmore, let's not cap. <laughs> let's not let's not cap here tonight. All right. This is a cap-free zone. Yo, Antonio! Dude, thanks for the five freaking gifties, man. Ooh, Hector on the first stack. William. Jose. Antonio. Adam. John. Samantha. Chi. Ash. Trevor. Hui. Brandon, Jesse's mom, Sansan, Kevin, Ronnie, Joey, and Eric on the last. I feel like Eric's always first, and I see him go last for once. Alrighty, heck, this table is blowing up. Let's do it. All right, Jonas Kim. Thank you, City. Appreciate it, man. And thank you for taking part in the stream, man. I, I know it's a little bit difficult from the international standpoint, so I thank you for that, man. Thanks for taking part in the stream. 
Yeah, dude, if we're really lucky, maybe three, but let's not <laughs> let's not hold our breath on three. Let's just let's just say hopefully at least one and we pray for two. Let's be let's be more realistic tonight. Melky Ranunculus. All my crowns are gone. What have I done? What have you done, Nar? Did you lose it all gambling? <laughs> Did you lose it all gambling? Ooh, Torterra full art coming in. Dude, Hector, we're getting a lot of hits right now, dude. As I say that, the next pack is not a hit. Relican. Okay. So that was Hector going first with four hits. Torterra g g gouging fire. Hey, we'll put you over here. Not a bad spot. Alrighty, Bill. You are up next. Bill. Corey's seen my amount due. All right, well, if Corgi's seen it, why not share with the rest of the class? What's the number, Cardboard? I want to know now. What's the number? Yo, Haley! Have an awesome rest of your night and Wednesday. Haley, I'll see you again Thursday. So have a great rest of your day, Haley. And as always, appreciate you so much. So thanks for being awesome, Haley. North of 500? What? Cardboard. I didn't know you had it like that, dude. What? Bro, for a guy who's so rich, why are you so stingy? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, man. What, dude? God damn, bro. God damn. Are you talking about the card shop? Or are you talking about, like, your hookah stuff? God damn. Iron Leaf. I guess that's true. I guess they say the richest people out there are the cheapest, right? I think that's a saying somewhere, right? Saving is how you keep wealth. Alrighty, so that was Awakening Drum. I honestly have no idea who's in the lead right now, but we're gonna keep it like that so we keep track of who's got what. Nope, that's not the right way. Awakening drum. All right. I just feel like we're gonna pull an SIR and they'll probably win it. So for now, I'm not really keeping too hard too heavy tabs Jose Jose Just throw me the loot bro. <laughs> get it over with A whimsy Right off. It's all for the kids. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't have kids yet, so you know, take what I say with a grain of salt. But I feel like when I got kids, I'm gonna give them the same treatment my parents gave me. Immediately, as soon as they, I think when I was 15, I got my first job. Legally, I think I had to be 15. So when I was 15, I got my first job at a grocery store, and that's exactly what I'm gonna make my kids do. It taught me the value of money. And it taught me how hard it is to actually earn money. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do with my kids. Secondly, yeah, I'll pass down my stuff to them, but you know, I'm gonna make sure they, they're earning their own money first and foremost. I don't know what the statistic is anymore, but you know that statistics they hear like, like, oh, like 70% of inherited wealth just ends up going broke or something like that. Maybe it's actually athletes they talk about. Jose with a Cypher Maniacs code breaking. Antonio, you're up next. What other boot packs are good other than picking up girls in a dungeon? Um, Hollow Live's pretty good. Azerlane Rebirth for you is pretty good. Um, I don't really want to say the Denji Bunko, but there is some waifus in it, and it's really cheap, but it's not all waifus. Not all, all waifus.
My kid's 19. Oh, wow. That's not a kid anymore. Pretty. I mean, yeah, it's still your kid, but yeah, he's like a young adult now. Wow. There it is, dude. Raging Boner. I think it's the second best card in the set. Wait, Raging what? Oops. Oops. Raging what? This is, yup, the second best card in the set. So the only way to beat this card is to pull the best card in the set, uh, which is the Iron Crown. Who is this, Antonio? Oh my god, it's Antonio! Sheesh, Antonio! Raging who now? <laughs> exactly, right. I don't know. Oh, and we got the Licky Licky. Nice. Alrighty, so Antonio, you are the man to beat. They gotta pull a Raging... Or, um, they gotta pull a... Uh, whatever it's called. Which means all of these players are now officially in the loot. And I think for ease, we're gonna put the loot over here. And we're gonna put you in the winning stack over here to see what we gotta beat. All right, Adam, you are going to be our next player. Adam M. Does it say the peeping Tom? Yes, it does. Yeah, if you pull it, I think it's a Chinchino. Maybe it's Minchino, but if you pull one, I'll show it. Yeah. You can put my seal packs in the loot. Dude, I honestly, dude, Jesse, don't give up just yet, man. This was three full boxes, and we pulled a bunch of Iron Crowns already, so who knows? We can still see some more. In the U.S., anyone making un- What? No, dude, that can't be right. You're joking, right? That definitely can't be right. Charger. I feel like I don't pull this one very often, Charger book. I'd give up. Don't listen to him. Is or Alrighty. Adam in the loop. John. Alright, John, you're up next. I wanna be forever young. No, Rich, don't give up hope, bro. Hope is the one thing we got. Don't give it up. Never ever surrender. Never back down. Never what? I feel like I kind of hit the camera. I'm feeling, are we slanted, guys? I feel like we're a little slanted. Ah, there you go. Better. No one told me we're slanted. Fine, cool. I want to be forever young. Do you really want to live forever? Alrighty, John. Just one Apex added to the loot. To the loot. The only way you can win every time is with the stickers. Yeah, we all win on the stickers. The stickers are just so fun that even viewers win too, you know? Everyone wins. So win-win. Alrighty, Samantha. Yo, Antonio, you're cheering on the competition? That's new. He's like, don't worry, guys, you can beat me. Oh, ball. Yo, Dama. What's up, dude? Dude, Dama, doing big things, bro. How you doing, man? Iron Crown. Yeah, Dama, it sure has, brother. Yeah, it sure has. I can't complain. Hope you've been well, too, Dama. I see the content's going. Getting better, man. Keep it up, Dama. I want to call you by your name that I know you by, but I'll keep it Dama. I'll keep it Dama. Well, you know, when I consider someone a friend, I like to call him by their name. 
kind of how, like, I don't expect anyone to call me, like, RGP, you know, people just call me Sauger. Kind of weird, though, isn't it, when you think about it like that, kind of weird. Gorge and Fire. Yeah, not too crazy, Dama. We're, we're doing all right. If I made more content, like actual videos, I think I'd see a little bit more growth, but man, that's time consuming. I'm not much of a... I don't know what to call it. Like, get in front of a camera and just kind of like, talk about stuff. I'm more of like a, all right, here's the topic. Let's give you some data about, I'm more like a, I would be like more of like a Danny Phantom kind of, kind of video guy. Digging into facts, stats, stuff like that. Samantha, you are in the loot. The loot. Well, I'll call you by name then. Because we're friends, no? The only time I call somebody by their username is if I either don't know their real name or their real name is like really hard to say. Instead of messing it up, I just say their username. I think you ought to treat yourself with some vintage packs like 25k. I think I ought to put that 25k towards getting a house. <laughs> Incineroar. Put that 25k towards getting a new car. Something. Dearling. I will be honest though, I've had really, really really uh like like really strong urges to want to open up a vintage box grade all the lights and sell the heavies i've had a really strong urge to do that i don't know why i've seen your photo and it's just two arms and a chest <laughs> yeah i am just a i'm like you know super smash bros the final boss the the hand guy that's me i'm that final hand boss double incineroar for chi in the loot. Yo, Ghastly Pumper? Bro, I don't know what the hell's up with all that, bro. I've been seeing the the videos on it. I just don't understand. Oh, Master Hand. That's his name, right. Master Hand. What are we going to do for 25k? That is a really good question. We are getting kind of close to it, and I don't even know what to do. You guys got any suggestions? My usual go-to is do like a trivia event, but 25k is kind of a good milestone, so maybe we do something else. Oh, Christian, I now understand what you were saying, bro. My fault, dude. I thought you were saying spend 25k on vintage. You were saying open some vintage for 25. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Do I open up my do I open up my no rarity base set pack? <laughs> do I? I don't know, bro. That cost me a lot of money. But, you know, some, some things are worth it. Maybe I should. But if I do, I just don't know when I'll ever come across another one to put back into my pack collection. So that's the only problem. And I think it might be a light on top of all of that. I will say this. I have... Oh, man. I won't say it. I won't say it. I won't say it. I'll keep it a surprise. Excadrill. All right, Ash, that is going to the loop. Keep in mind, the only card that can win this right now is the top card in the set, Iron Crown. So that's the only card. I'm just not liking this placement. Anyway, we'll get it out soon because Hui is going to go pretty soon too. Big baller move, get PSA to grade your house. Ugh, sorry, sir. There was... Uh... There was some trash on the floor there. You didn't sweep up. And uh, there's also some mold on the ceiling. So you're going to get a PSA 3. Open pack slash packs from every era. The problem with that though, dude, is I don't have every single pack from every single era. I have a lot of it, but not everything. I don't have a first at base. I guess I get it supplemented with an unlimited. I don't have... I guess I do have a Neo Destiny. I don't have some of the more obscure, like, X and Y stuff. I feel like we should do a 25-hour stream for 25k subs. 
The problem with a 25 hour stream is I'd have to figure out what we're gonna do in the interim because I doubt we're gonna have enough orders to go for 25 hours straight. That'd be crazy. Well, like, you know, we go for like six, seven, eight hours and sometimes that's also kind of a stretch. Now, t you know, times that by three, essentially, I just don't think we have enough orders to kind of get that to go. So if we did ever do something like that, it had to be like orders with a mix of like, I don't know, like video games or something. I don't know. Some sort of thing to do in the in the interim to kind of make it get that long. I don't know what to, I don't know how to impress you guys for 25, 25 hours straight. What am I going to do? Alrighty, hooey. Here we go. In two weeks, the 23rd of April. Hold on, these are all falling. It'll be my birthday. Maybe it'll consign. Yeah, it might actually. You never know. It might. All right, there we go. Except for that, we just wanted to stop the cars from falling over. Heroes cake. Orders play scary games. Watch your advertisement. Do you shop on eBay? For the 25k uh, celebration, I'll just play the eBay ad for 25 hours straight. Over and over and over and over again. Bronzor. 25 hour lag stream. Pokemon, dude, Pokemon Coliseum would be pretty dope, dude. I just don't know if a lot of people would care to watch that. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. If I did that and played Pokemon Coliseum, we'd have like 20 viewers. Max. Yeah, maybe like 40 and then it dropped to 20 like after 30 minutes. Nah, Brent, that was all you, bro. You picked the packs. That was all you. All right, Hui, that is going to be the loot. Brandon Bougie. Up next, Bad and Bougie. Roar Moon. Do live Smash Bros. Mario Kart? Yeah, that actually would not be bad, dude. That would not be bad. Some multiplayer game type stuff would not be a bad idea. I'll lend you an N64 and you can speedrun Pokemon Blue version. Raging Bull. It's PewDiePie. I don't know, guys. I mean, it'd be cool, but I don't know if I could go for 25 hours, bro. That's a whole day. By the 10th hour, I'd probably just be like, hey, guys. So, we're on to the next order. <laughs> we're on to the next order. All right, guys. Oh, yeah. So, we just got an Absol Prime. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice. Play Call Dude, I haven't played Call of Duty in forever. I got Pokemon Stadium 2 I could send in to play. Oh, wow. You guys are all so kind, man. We'll see. I got to think about it. We still probably have, like, at the sub count we're getting, we probably still have, like, another month before we hit there. Loading Simulator 2K24. I do actually know how to play 2K. I do know how to play 2K. Do a mukbang? Bro, I can't eat that much food, man. I'm a skinny dude. The mukbang will consist of like one burger and a fries. I'm like, all right, guys, I'm full. I'm full. <laughs> mukbang over. I'm full. Shave your head? No. No, 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 no. My hair is like my favorite part about me. I would never do it. Never shave my head. The only time I may ever shave my head is if, if I just like go bald on a molder. Then I might consider it, but until then, I'm leaving my luscious locks on my head. Yeah, no thanks. Have a girlfriend open up packs for 25. I guess. Ooh, Prime Catcher. Not gonna beat the best card, but that is still a really valuable pull. The Rago. 
All right, Jesse, I put your stuff out of order, but it is all loot anyways. Sun, sun, six packs. Do in and out versus five guys versus Culver's. I got to see if there's a Culver's here. There is in and out or in and out's not even here anyways. In and out's all, I don't have in and out here anyways. I'd have to get like an in and out mail to me. I have a Tikka Masala bath? Dude, that would smell. Oh. Who is this? Son Son. All he needs is an iron crown to sweep the victory. Oh, it's the wrong one. <laughs> oh my god. Iron leaves coming at a $49 price does lose to the raging bull that was close you needed iron crown but you got iron leaves yeah i don't know if i was to dye my hair i don't know what color i would do i feel like if i was to dye my hair man i'd probably go like gray like i'd be down to dye my hair gray as weird as it sounds Hey, Grizzy, what's up, dude? What did Grizzy say? He said, I got a, a job ID on the cars in the BGS. Bro, should be a couple days. Tops on having my... Oh, cool. So, Grizzy, that just means, like, they put it in the system. Essentially, right? Shlugma. I'd be so mad if I lost. Yeah. Well, Sansan's won a couple battles. I think it'd be all right, hopefully. I know Sansan is watching this VOD tomorrow, so Sansan, if you're watching... Kevin? If you have the hair, enjoy any color or style you want. Oh, this is not the one with the Mr. Mime. One thing you need to do for 25k is pop a nice bottle. That could be done. That could be done. Yes, Eric, exactly, dude. I think I could pull it off, too. I feel like gray goes well with my skin color. Like, you know, no weird shit. Aldi Satoru Gojo. Although I won't be able to do his uh, dimension crap. Maybe one day. I went bald at 20? Holy buckets, Dan. Did your dad go bald really early, too? I feel like usually that kind of stuff runs in the family. Iron Boulder. Yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. My dad still has hair, not much of it, but he still has hair. So I'm hoping I got, I got a lot of years left of me with some nice luscious hair. I'll never cut my hair and sorry for your loss at 20. Sorry for your loss. Damn, dude. That's crazy. Ronnie. Too much testosterone. That'll do it to you, man. He's a T-male. I go bald somewhere else, just saying. Well, dude, I would be happy to go bald down there. Are you kidding me? That saved me so much time. 25% store wide for 25k. It would be easy if that if we had like a website for that. Might maybe you know maybe for 25k I just put some crazy shit on massive discount and just put it on the website. That way it's two birds one stone. Crazy prices. Website gets a little bit of love and I can kind of test ride it a little bit more. Maybe I do that. Can't imagine going bald. My pasta flight. There you go. Yeah, that's good. So you're probably chilling. Just know, when it comes to hair care, I've done a lot of research, and I think I'm doing it pretty good. Do not, and I repeat, do not shampoo your hair every single day. You guys hear me? And girls, do not shampoo your hair every single day. You will definitely go bald earlier, for sure. Do not shampoo your hair every day. I used to do that. I used to shampoo every single day. Sometimes twice a day. If I took two showers, sometimes I shampoo twice. And don't use head and shoulders. 
If you have dandruff, yes, you can use the blue one, the blue salon or whatever. But the one that I found to be one of the best is actually Shea Moisture. So Shea Moisture is a brand for um, shampoo, and I find that's one of the better ones for your hair. Joey. Yeah, head and shoulders is really bad for you. If you use head and shoulders every day, you will definitely go bald for sure. For sure. Joey. What's the most valuable car in your personal collection? I got a lot of cars that I've hung on to over the years. I don't really ever price check my personal collection cards. So in truth, I don't know what the most expensive car that I have truly is just because I don't really, I haven't price checked some of these for years actually. So I don't know where every car in the collection stands price wise. I could show you a really expensive car that I own and it's also my favorite at least, but I think I probably have more cars that are worth more than that. But I'll show you a car that I like that is pretty expensive, but it's definitely not my most expensive. Because I know for sure I got some cars in there that are definitely way more than that. But to be honest with you, as far as like investment goes in Pokemon, I don't invest in the slabs. I invest in the seal product. That's kind of my idea of what investment is. So when it comes to slabs, I simply just keep the ones I like and sell the ones that I don't care to keep. That's about it. Joey, Eric B, our lash deck. And I would give that same advice to anyone that's looking to invest in Pokemon. Uh, definitely stick with steel product. Now, yes, yeah, slabs can go up, but slabs can also go down. And as far as like seal product go, yes, seal product can go down, especially if there's a reprint announced or if it's a brand new set and there's not much demand for it. But overall, time and time again, Every set that's been sealed has gone up. Has gone up. Drillbert. And this is not financial advice, just speaking of what I do. Yeah, no, and Rich, I'm not saying don't own any slabs. I own a lot of slabs. A lot that went down in price, some that might have gone up in price. But I don't care enough to check them. I own them because I like them. I enjoy having them. I like to look at them. And I don't care if they're $200 or $500. I just like having it. But as far as like actually like investing and stuff like that. Oh, 100%. Only in seal. Yeah, only in seal. Damn, Eric. You went last and got zittle. Zittle. I wonder where we're going to get the next Evolving Sky set. I'll try to tell you if I if I get like a, a sensor like oh this is evolving skies level of hype I'll, I'll tell you or maybe I won't Antonio is the winner for our trip that was a good box bro that three boxes was better than our whole case battle let that sink in <laughs> a triple box battle beat out the whole case battle by probably a lot probably a lot which is actually just hilarious. That was a bad, bad case, that one we opened. Yeah. Next game, guys, is 151. I like 151, but I don't, I don't think so, man. I'm sure it'll go up just like every other set, but I don't think it's gonna moon like Evolving Skies. Evolving Sky just has too many good hits, bro. Umbreons, Rayquazas, all the evolutions, the Dragonite. It's just like banger after banger with that set. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 39, 40, and 41 total hits with two really really nice SIRs Antonio damn has Antonio ever complained about never winning a battle <clears throat> I think he might have <laughs> I think he might have well Antonio can no longer say he hasn't ever come up on top because that was a really nice battle for 24 bucks Do you think Fates Collide box at 500 could be... So, 
when it, when people ask me that first thing, like I said, not financial advice. You know, you're just listening to some random dude on the internet, so take that with a grain of salt. But I much more am a component of investing in smaller, smaller items to get a better percent return. So sure, you might buy Fade's Live for five hundred dollars, and in a year might be six hundred. You know, you made a hundred dollars off that, or but you spent five hundred on it, or you could take that five hundred dollars and buy. You know, just for example, let's just say like you nog of a promo, all right? And I'm not saying invest in that. I don't think it's a good idea. But let's just say you could buy, you know, uh, 10 Unagabas for 50 bucks. And now those Unagabas go from 50 to 100. Well, now you just made $500 of the same capital. So, uh, and in truth, it is a lot easier for a $20 item to become a $40 item than a $500 to become a $1,000 item. The only caveat, though, is it has to be something that will have a lot of demand. You got to think about that, because if you have 500 units versus having 10 units, it's a lot more work and a lot harder to sell 5,000 units versus 500 units or 50 units or 5 units. So that's another thing to consider, too. But generally, for me, I like to try to think of these smaller items that I think will have a better percent increase compared to... But, you know, everyone's different, though, right? Everyone's different. You might be like, yeah, I don't want to work that much, though. I'm happy to get a $100 return on 500 bucks and only have to sell one item. And I'd say that's totally okay, too. Everyone's got different strategies, right? But that's just my own personal two cents. Buys 50k of RGP. Oh, my God, we got a lot of ores in the queue. What the heck? So then, we've got City and City sent in for the shipping as well. So, City, thank you for that. You're going to be at $25 total shipping paid. And I think that's going to probably be enough. So, thank you for that. Update your bag real quick. Gabe H won the Neo Rev. Gabe H. Speaking of punches, dude, there's been a lot of times when I've passed on a promo that I'm like, damn, dude, I wish I didn't. Grizzy says, let me get a hidden gates. Grizzy. All right, Grizz, one pack snipe on the Chuzzer. Chuzzer. Bruh. Bruh. Ash's stepdad? What are you doing, stepdad? Grizzy. Grizzy with the pump. Ashley says random vintage hollow. Ashley B. All right, Ash, let's break it at a random spot. And this one will be yours. Ashley B. Ooh, okay. That's going to be Neo Genesis Ampharos. Ampharos. Ashley. So, Ash, I got to ask Ash, what do you prefer? Do you prefer Ashley or do you prefer Ash or do you, or do you go by something else? Ashley. When are you going to get more tops? Uh, pretty soon. Pretty, pretty soon. Koki! Two! OP06! Koki. You think booster box will significantly decrease? For example, a booster box of $500 going back down? Honestly, I, I don't personally see that. However, the, the factors that will figure, you know, figure that out for you is supply and demand. Very, very simple. Supply is only going down, right? The only time supply will really be impacted is if some dude had like, or a warehouse is found of, you know, thousand cases of like some random set and then it hits the market, that's going to dump it for sure. Second one is demand. So as we know, more and more Pokemon sets keep getting released and keep getting released. And time and time again, we keep seeing sets are really hot. Years go by, and then the singles go down, the, the, the demand to open it goes down. Because in truth, you got to think, who's the end consumer? Who's the end consumer? Somebody who wants to collect it for a sealed collection, or somebody who wants to buy it to open, right? 
So those are really your only two end consumers. <gasps> Ooh, and a Shanks parallel. And I guess a third consumer would be like an investor flipper. Oh, that's a buying it for investment purposes, I guess. But I guess that would also kind of fall along the lines of a seal collector somewhat. Koki. Koki, I need to grab more top loaders, bro. How do we keep running out of top loaders? Some V... Dude, I used to have a lot of VS series. But then you guys made me open it up. Then you guys made me open it up. Got a manual Franks. They got Silver Tempest ETBs. So what, that's eight packs? Eight packs in there? Silver Tempest just really isn't like super, super hot, man. I gotta be honest, so I don't know. I wouldn't be super aggressive on Silver Tempest, personally. And now I have the VS cards, thanks to you. That's true, I don't have it, you guys have it. <laughs> Which is like, damn. But I got a lot of VS stuff. I do. I do have a lot of VS stuff. Not sealed, but I got a lot of slabs, loose cards, and stuff like that. So I still got a hefty amount of VS. But, you know, Avery, you definitely ask some good questions, man. And like I said, you know, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what the future will hold. I just have a, you know, my personal opinion slash guess on it, but... Ashley, one slab hit books. Okay, cool. So we can actually get the table back in order here. We got our Steelix slab. Ancient Origins definitely ain't going to fill tonight, but we'll leave it on the table to kind of showcase it. I think there's like 10 spots left in it. Slab bags definitely going to sell out tonight too. But Ashley, one slab hit books. And I got to refresh this box up. Ruck, ruck. Twenty-five need to be? Not really, dude. I remember seeing photos of people with distributors in them for like twenty-four bucks. So I got, yeah, I guess that's true. Because after shipping and maybe like fees and stuff, yeah, I guess that's true. Jesse, one random vintage hollow. Jesse, boop. Give me this one. Oh, all right. Kangaskhan from English Jungle. Kangaskhan. Yes. I remember it's 75 for two packs. 75 for two packs. Oh, Grizzy. One hidden face and five Pixar, Grizzy. Just so you know, Grizzy, these are coming from ETBs. So these hidden face packs are coming from ETBs. I personally think nowadays is the right choice. Tins are just too sh too shitty, man. They're just too shitty nowadays. Plus resealed. <laughs> Plus resealed one. And I need a new box. I don't. I don't need a new box. Are you really a collector if you keep it sealed? I think so. Yeah, I think so. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, Grizzy. Um, Simon, I don't think so. I mean, at this rate, we're already seven hours in, and we already started an hour late. I don't think we have enough juice left in us to get it filled. I mean, if it fills, it fills. We'll do it. But I think that might be like a Thursday thing, if anything. But if it fills, I'm always down. If it fills, I am always down. The good dinosaur.
Finding Dory, Mike Wazowski. Great stream tonight, dude. We had finally had a good stream. Well, I wonder why. No lag. <laughs> no lag. Yeah, it's not, you know, people don't want to watch a stream where they might order something and then it lags. People don't want to watch a stream even if they don't want to order something and it lags. So when you're lagging a lot, it's just never good, man. It's never good. People don't want to watch content that's lagging and buffering every hour. I mean, it wasn't really that bad, but, you know, still, still stands true. No one wants to watch that crap. Clefairy. Eggins! And Clefable. Clefable. Grizzy. Slugger told me to eat the gum and the rest of the chat hopped in and made me feel like I wasn't going to be welcome back here for anything poison gum. Shut up, Nar. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Nar, I, I will not stand for this. I told you I do not want you eating the gum. All right, because next thing I know, you're going to get sick. And I'm going to be like, oh, RGP told me to eat it. No, I did not. I'm going on record right now. I said the same thing that night. I'm saying the same thing again this night. Do not eat that gum. If you get sick, I'll feel bad, but I'll know I told you many, many times to not eat that old gum. Bro, that gum was from 2006. Bro, we're in 2024. That shit's 18 years old, dude. Carl says one OP07. Two Cyber Judge and a Wild Force. Yo, the Pokey Dawn. Yo, Pokey Dawn, bro. Thank you so much for the raid, man. Hope you guys had a great stream. Pokey the Dawn. Two Cyber Judge. One Wild Force. On record, I... <laughs> okay, so Cardboard on record wants you to die. Nice. What a good friend, Cardboard. What a good friend. Uh, but I, I'd probably try a bite of one of them. My kid would pitch in too. I'm sure you'd be all right, dude. But I don't want to... I don't want to... Although I am an LLC. So I guess I don't know if the li limited liability company extends to that degree. But I guess maybe it does. Hey, Don, what's up, bro? The man himself. How you doing, Don? Hope you had a great stream, brother. Thanks for stopping by for the raid, man. I'm sure there's not that many people still left at this time of the night. <laughs> at this time of the night. Law. Carol. Because you got to think, though, Bill. Nar was... You saw... Did you see the stack of gum that he ended up getting sent to him, bro? It was probably, like, at least 20 sticks of gum. So, yeah. Maybe, like, a bite of the gum or one stick won't hurt you. But if you eat all 20 at once, dude, especially because some of those have some juice in it. It was nasty. Some of them have some juices in it. Oh, nice. Book one TCG. I know how to play it, but I, I can't say I do play it actively, but I know how to play it. I don't know what's hot right now. Back when I was kind of in the scene still, ADP was running amok. I know the Lugia decks are really hot recently. And I don't know, actually. After that, I don't know what's really hot right now. Yeah, I've been out of the scene for a minute. Jig D, five more Dragon Ball. Now, the real question, though, is should I restock some more of those wacky packages? It was one of those oddball items that people I actually... I, didn't, I shouldn't say people. Nar really liked those. Nar bought all of them, essentially. Okay, so Lugia's still running around. All right, Lugia's still running amok. Yeah, I'm not super into the Pokemon TCG, but oddly enough, I'm way into the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, <laughs> which is honestly way shittier of a game. Oh. Go tanks. Believe it. Wait, wrong anime. Believe it. Jake to the D. Morelli. 
Top points? We don't got a top points. We do have a leaderboards. So we do have a uh, exclamation point leaderboards. Go tanks. Trucks. Yeah, bro, Yu-Gi-Oh is pretty tough. It is. The only the only reason why I even wanted to play Duel Master is just because I loved Yu-Gi-Oh as a kid. So I did it out of, I guess, respect. I did it out of respect for Yu-Gi-Oh. I did it out of respect. I have a few friends who play the gay ho. <laughs> Yo, your buddy's running the gay ho deck? Oh, that's my favorite deck. I love them Geos. Antonio says a Japanese royal pack. He says number four. One, two, three. Oh, okay, I'm telling you, number four right there. Craziest pull ever? Dude, Simon, I've got a lot. I've got a lot of crazy pulls, man. I would say craziest pull ever might have been when we opened up Evolving Skies for Wes and we pulled just a piece of cardboard. The shorts on my channel somewhere, the video, the live streams out there for the raw footage. But that's got to be one of the craziest pulls I ever had in my life. The second craziest pull was probably the two times we've done it where we opened up XY Evolutions and we pulled a hollow, or sorry, reverse, and then a hollow Charizard from X Evolutions. We did that, I think, for Casey years ago. And then we did it again a couple months ago for Nathan G. So we've done that twice. Uh, what else? There's been a lot of crazy pulls. Uh, another crazy occurrence that I remember was when we were opening up, uh, it was actually Evolving Skies again, and we got a pack that had, like, it was missing a, a hit, and then the next pack had an ult art and the hit in it. So it had, like, an extra hit in it, and the hit, for some reason, in the booster box, like, skipped a pack, and one pack had an extra hit in it and an ult art. So it was pretty dope. Oh, SR! Oh, and a Gardevoir. Nice. And the Natu. Bro, Duelist of the Rose was so good, bro. Duelist of the Rose was probably, like, the best Yu-Gi-Oh game, man. I love Duelist of the Rose. You could, like, you know, place your card, then you, like, move it around the board like a game piece. Yeah, Duelist of the Rose is great. Probably my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh. And I played a lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh games. I played Forbidden Memories. I played Duelist of the Rose. Um, I played the one on the DS with Jaden. I think it's Duel Academy, maybe, was the name. I don't remember, but I played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh games growing up. And Duel of the Rose was definitely the best. It was definitely, definitely the best. Ashley, three more. Slab inbox. I see people get destroyed in one turn. Talking about Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been a while forever. Oh, like OTK? Oh, yeah. Ooh, the double Letty Ma. <laughs> Ash! So, Ash, I just got to give you a very fair warning, Ash. The queue's almost empty, and that is the prime time for the snipers to come out. All right, so just be careful. Giving you a fair warning, just be careful. Queue's very low. And I want to see you get annihilated by the sharks. Koki, 2 OP05, 2 OP07. Okay, cool, Koki. You're talking Japanese here? No. Yes, you are talking Japanese. You got it. Koki. Oh, all right, Ash. It's all a part of your plan. All right, word, word. You got it. Ash is like, don't worry, man. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. It's all part of the plan. I got this. Sorry, giving hints. Oh, no. I don't even know what's coming out next. Yeah, I have no idea what the value is. I just know that, you know, when the... When the queue's like full and there's like 10 orders in the queue, it's hard to snipe because there's so many people ahead of you. But when there's like one person in the queue, it's, it, you know, they can order and it's instant, basically. And I've seen it happen to many people, especially at the end of the night. So I just kind of take it upon myself now to give people a heads up. Yu-Gi-Oh is so cheap now? Yeah, dude. It sucks because opening up Yu-Gi-Oh is basically like... I don't want to say not worth it because it still is fun, but Luffy. So I says I'm a victim to it. Yeah, there you go. So I'm trying. To, I'm just trying to let people know.
Bro. Koki. Probably not, but this could be. Probably not, but this could be a signed autograph. <sighs> okay, all right, not the Oda. Not the Oda, but we will take that. Anniversary Luffy. <laughs> Still a good pull, though. Still a good pull, though. And we get a Zoro. Not a Zoro, sorry. We got a Luffy Mango right after that. Okay, okay. That was underwhelming. Yeah, I tried to build it up. I tried to I tried to make it happen for my man Koki. I thought if I, you know, prayed a little bit, comped it a little bit, it happened, but we'll still take that though, not bad. Only uh, only signed Oda card I pulled was actually in English too. Grizzy, so six Pixar. Full eight hours of sleep? Dude, I, I I love sleep. Some people like think they're really big, you know, big, strong, burly men. Like, oh, I only sleep two hours. Yeah, good for you, man. I sleep eight. I sleep nine, ten if I can. Sleep two hours? Yeah, bro. Yeah. People would come into work like, oh yeah, I only sleep two hours last night, like bragging about it. Worst car party this year? Dude, it's been announced for like months, bro. Yeah, it's in Florida. It's in Florida. It's this June in Florida. Yeah, man. If you plan a go-go, you should get your tickets like ASAP, bro, because flights are getting more expensive as time goes on. It's in June and the tickets are only going to get more expensive as time goes on too. So if you want to go, I'd say try to get that stuff booked ASAP. I try to sleep. Yeah, see, that kind of sucks. Because my girlfriend's like that, too. Where she'll, like, wake up in the middle of the night. And she has to go to the bathroom and shit. And I can sleep for, like, 12 hours straight. You could, like, try to wake me up. You could call me. And I'll still just sleep right through it. What do you... You know, you know those, like, items they, like, advertise for people? Like, oh, you know, buy this bed. It'll, like, electric shock you to wake you up. Like, I'm that guy. They make those for me. I can sleep through an earthquake. Like, legit. I am a really, really deep sleeper. I'm not gonna make a car party this year? Yeah, because it's not in your home city. Or your home state, I should say. All you Cali people had it so easy. I had to travel. I had to fly like six, seven hours just to get there, bro. They all just walked down the block like, hey, I'm at car party. Let's go. I had a hotel room. Super light sleeper? Yeah, I'm not jealous of that. I'm not jealous of that at all, man. I would not like to be a light sleeper. I know I know my girlfriend is, and she... And it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. Like, if I, uh... If I get to bed late, so let's say she's already, like, in bed trying to sleep, and I get there kind of late because I'm doing something, as soon as I walk in and, like, lay down, she, like, wakes up. I'm like, bruh. How the hell? I was like, I was ninja tiptoeing into this room and you still woke up? Eric B. 2. Slab hitbox. Eric B. 1. 2. Car party was 7 minutes away. Eric B. With the pump. Ashley B, two more slab hitbox. Ashley B. Ah, double Clefairies. Eric and Ashley with the pump. With the little pump. I have the same problem. My girl always tells me to stop being loud and walking, waking her up. I'm like, I can't be any quieter. Yeah, dude, seriously. I honestly can't be any quieter, man. I tiptoe in there. I like I when I go to lay on the bed, I try to like put less weight on it so it doesn't really like make a super 
you know, like noticeable like impression and she'll still wake up. I'm like, bruh, I barely even breathe. I held my breath walking in here and you still woke up? <laughs> okay, so the queue is empty. We're seven hours in. Oh, never mind. Antonio, <laughs> never mind. Antonio, five slab hitbox. I used to sleepwalk a lot? Dude, I, I can't imagine how that is, bro. Sleepwalking? I guess the problem with sleepwalking is you probably don't even know you're doing it. Someone has to kind of like, hey, bro, you know you sleepwalk? Or I don't know, did you know you sleepwalked, Corky? Or did someone have to tell you? Antonio with the pump. Low pump. Grizzy, three slab hitbox. Grizzy. Pokeball. Grimer. Lediba. Grizzy. Eric B. Five slab hitbox. Damn, this is DJ hour, isn't it? <laughs> this is DJ hour. Hidden Fates playmats. I don't think I have any new ones. I think at one point I used a bunch of them to like. I don't even know what I used them for, but I think I used them all. Wow. Eric B. Ashley B. Five slab hitbox. Ashley B. Wow. <laughs> Holy bugget. All right. That is just a whole lot of pump, pump, pump. Sheesh. Grizzy says three more. Slab hitbox. Grizzy. Stud you. Jigglypuff. Cue to fly. Oh, snappy. Nathan G. Two slab hitbox. Nathan G. Eric B says two more slab hitbox. Eric B. Come on. God damn, bro. What's in there? Thousand dollar slab? What's in there? Bill three slab hitbox. Bill you. Aaron. Will. Will. Alex B says three slab hitbox and one vintage hollow. Alex B. <laughs> Sunfan. Sunfan might not be here. You guys might be lucky. Okay, Alex, so put the vintage hollow on the back. Let's see what you got here on the front. Ryolu. Dangle up. Jesus Christ. And. Oh, and you got mucked. <laughs> oh, no, Alex. And then you get mucked after the pump. Oh, man. You know, a pump and a muck sounds like a pretty good time, actually. A, a pump and a muck sounds like a good time. Oh, yeah, that's right, Alex. I did ship you this weekend. The muck. So guys, do just remember, the slab hitbox is non-changeable, non-refundable. So if you do buy into the hitbox, I'm sure you guys already know this, but I'll just say it for any new people, you are locked into it. The only way out of the hitbox is if it sells out. Other than that, you are locked into it. Nathan G says two more. Nathan G. Yeah, hopefully that was okay, Alex. Hope that was okay. Damn, bro. Antonio, three more. Let's 
Scyther. Ooh, energy retrieval. Antonio. Eric B. This is two more. Eric B. Holy buckets, guys. What the hell did I put in there? Ashley, three more. Grookey. Snover. Woo -hoo -hoo. Holy crap, dude. Grizzy. This is two more. Grizzy. Blitzel. Ooh, dude. Was I on some crack when I made this? Brent says one more. Brent with the Dilly Bird. God damn. Wow. Um, yeah. Williams says five. <laughs> Bro, this is getting absolutely degen, man. Oh, my phone also just said 10% battery. Okay, let's do a little bit quicker. Bill. <gasps> oh, Bill, Bill, Bill. Bill, Bill, Bill. Bill, Bill, Bill. Oh my god, bro. Holy crap. Yeesh. Now, if that is not a massive pumper, I don't know what is. PSA 10 Magneton from the Legendary Collection. Now, not usually, not usually a huge fan of Magneton, but bro, you gotta love this. This is from Legendary Collection, and it's a flipping 10. So, in my opinion, that is a huge, huge, huge slap. That is going over to Bill the Magneton. Totally worth buying while driving. No, Bill. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. Holy crap. Antonio. Three more. Antonio. Anyone up for another war? Nathan G. Three more. Dude, you guys are crazy, bro. Nathan G. Chris is in the house. Chris L. And Chris picked up five of them, yo. Wormple. Woohoo, Chris. Choo choo. Richard, seven rich. Oh my god, Rich. Seven. Rich. Blueberry. Wow. Rich with a massive, massive. <clears throat> yeah, I was going to say pump. The whole time I was going to say pump. Eric B says, never mind. I'll take five more. Eric B. Trim me a Magneton for the new rev pack? Honestly, Bill, I might consider it, dude. I might actually consider that. Are you being serious? Pseudo Wudo! Attic! Nicholas H! Hopping in. Nick, Nick hopping in too. He says three slab hitbox. Nicholas H. Roselia! Wormple. Wow. Alright. Damn, bro. Holy fuck. Oh, but Daniel A is in the house. He says one slab hitbox to pick up girls in a dungeon. A dungeon is clearly the best place to find them. Bro, the hitbox is almost sold out. Oh my god, dude. 
I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Should I quickly add, should I quickly add some more to it or not? You think we should leave it as is? What do you guys think? By the way, when I add more, you know, these stay the same. I just add more to the back. I've never done it live before, but I don't see why not. I do have slabs priced out already. But we could definitely just keep it that is and I'll restock it for next stream too. Not yeah, I thought so. Probably a bad idea. We'll just keep it as is. Um, just keep in mind though guys, the slab hit box is almost sold out. And uh, if you do order something and it's sold out, it'll make you a credit, alright? But there's probably not that many cards left. Hestia and Hestia. The booba. Shop it. Shop it. 500 and nothing. Damn, Antonio, really, bro? Yeah, I guess the hitbox is kind of like poker. It's a luck game, but it also does have some skill involved. It does. I hate to admit it, but it definitely does. There is definitely, like, you know, smart and bad buys, I guess. Kind of like in poker, you know, you can have a stupid call and a stupid raise. And... Ashley B. Five more. Ashley B. One, two, three, four. And five. Ashley B. Ash. Grizzy. Three. Slab hitbox. Grizzy. Damn, Nick. Yo, yeah, dude, Ronnie, that was uh, Nick Y. If you got someone to yell at, yell at Nick Y. He picked your box for you. Grizzy with a pump. Nathan G. One, two. Nathan G. This is three more. Gumi. My wild. Damn, bro. Rich says, ooh, four shining legends. All right, Rich, switching it up. Let's. I thought you bought. I almost thought you bought fourteen of them. Ooh, Rich, I might not have four left. Oh snap, Rich, I don't think I do. Damn. Yep, Rich, Shining Legends. I just have two left. Oh man. So, Rich, do let me know. I think I owe you $70. I only have two left. Let me know if you still want them to. If you wanted four, I can also totally understand that as well. But I do only have two left. So let me know if you want the last two. And let me know if you want something else, a credit or anything like that. But let me just go pro bono. Mark these as sold out. Hey, Grant, bro, Grant. You woke up to a bunch of tomfoolery. So, oh, so dude, Rich, I, I don't, if you want to do it, Rich, I think to play it fair, I have to make you a credit and then you got to separately order the hitbox just to make it fair. Cause that way you can't kind of like jump line. If a hit comes out, then people are going to be mad. So I think fair is fair, Rich. I can make you $70 credit. You can quickly place a penny order, put you in line, and then it'll be all straight. Are you cool with that? If you want to do it. Okay, yeah, Rich, sure thing. So, Rich, I made you the credit. You do not have to use that on the hitbox, by the way. You can use that whenever you want. However, before we continue, let me, in secret, just count these. Four. Oh, my God. All right. It is sold out. The slab hitbox is sold out. The slab hitbox is sold out. No more orders for the slab hitbox. Slab hitbox is fully, fully sold out. Fully, fully sold out. I repeat, Slab Hitbox is fully sold out. It is fully sold out. So, I'll just ask again though, of course, Rich, are you cool with the last two packs and the 70 in credit? Is that okay with you? Or did you want to dump these and just get full credit? Yeah, no, Grizz, I'm accounting for yours. So just to let you guys know, we've got Rodney with one, Ashley with five, Eric with one, and then Grizzy with eight. So that's the four people in the queue and that's gonna definitely make it sold out.
Came home yesterday and my car was drooling. My cat, the cow was drooling? And a steam up? Oh yeah, and two silver tempest? Yeah, yeah, Rich, that's totally cool, man. Sure thing. So Rich, let me just get that right. You said, and a team up and two silver tempest? Hey, Empire, what's up, man? Yeah, okay, hell yeah, Rich. You got it, brother. So Rich, I'm gonna throw the credit in the garbage, all right? Okay, so Bill said, poor guy had a really nasty infected tooth and couldn't close his mouth. Had to take him to the ER vet and they pulled his tooth and gave him some drugs. He's much better and it cost about $600. I'll be honest, dude. I thought it was going to cost you way, way more than that. So $600, I thought it was going to be a lot more. So that's not bad. For an ER visit, that is not bad, man. I think when my cat had to go to the ER, it paid like $800. $800. And it wasn't even like anything serious. I mean, it was serious, but she had a broken leg, but they didn't do anything extra. Like, they just took an x-ray, and I guess the x-ray might have cost a lot, but... Yeah, they took an x-ray, and that's really all they did. So, it was like 800 bucks for that. Shining Legend! Come on, baby, Mewtube! Shining Rayquaza! Yeah. Definitely need to get more Shining Legends in the stock ASAP. ASAP for sure. I love this set. And... Hoopa! Alright, Rich. Team up. Please, Latios, Latios. I haven't pulled one of those in probably like three years, bro. It's been crazy. Actually, that's not true. Um, SA pulled two of them maybe like a year ago. So that's not true. Three years is too long. Maybe like a year. Team up. Team up make you sweep up. Mimic you. Rich, we got skunked on everything. I guess we got up a Simeon. Yeah, I think we got up a Simeon in there. Holy buggers. Rich. All right, Rich, just for you, bro. Oh, no, Rich. Down here, salt is a way of life. Obviously, the environment down here is all salt. The, the ceiling's salt, the floor's salt, the walls are salt and to an extent the air is salt and you breathe that in and you can constantly taste the salt <laughs> oh no not the salt rich only a select few get the salt only a select few get the salt all right looks like we'll be finishing off the hitbox rodney says one hitbox Rodney. Rockruff. Rodney. Ashley B. Five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Ashley B. My cat went missing for five days. He came back home and my wife and kids were in tears. Male cats find mates and do this. So I have a female cat, Antonio, and... She's been gone for me like two days, and I was so scared. I was like, dude, what if like an animal got her or something like that? But luckily, she came back home after two days. I can only imagine how scared I'd be after five days. Eric B. And Grizzy bought eight of them. There is not eight left. There are only three. So Grizz, let me start by making you a $50 credit. Because that's only a $30 order now. So $50 credit going back to Grizz. And I think you guys all know what that means. I think you guys all know what that means. It must mean. Yep, there it is.
Yup, and a refund. And a little refund. All right, Grizz, I hope you like it. I hope you like it because I was on the fence of whether or not I even wanted to put it in here. So I hope you like it. Grizz, this is a PSA 10 graded booster pack. And more in particular, a Japanese Faja Jungle. PSA 10. And it is in one of the older, I would say shittier slabs. But the cool thing about these is PSA doesn't use these anymore. So at the same time, these are also kind of like a relic. Because no more of these will ever be made, at least in this case. There still might be more 10s that come on the market. But they should all be in the new case now and not in the older case. Crack it? I mean, you could crack it. It's guaranteed a hollow, but it, you could just buy one for way cheaper than the PSA 10 sells for. So, yeah, definitely. I think this is a $450 slab. Either $450, $500, I think, last sold when I checked it. Let's see. Does it say it on here? It doesn't. Okay. Yeah, I think if I'm remembering correctly, this was in there for $450, I think. If I'm not mistaken, $450. And that's about what it sold for last. So, PSA 10, Japanese Jungle for the Grister. Bro, that's a gnarly sloppy patty. It is, right? That's a pretty cool one. Now, interesting thing about this is, look at that. There is a sticker inside of there. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't, I don't know how. Uh, I, I guess it doesn't matter to them. I don't know. But there is a Made in Japan sticker, which I bought in plenty of booster packs. And that is a pretty common thing, actually. Uh, it's the same exact sticker, too, which is the weird part. But, yeah, I don't know. How much is mystery bag? Are you talking about the slab bags, Grizzy? These are 150. We're talking about the, the slab bags. All right, but Grizz, that is for you, man. PSA 10. Damn. All right, and just like that. Just like that. Oh, you're talking about the Royal Packs, Grizz? The Japanese ones are 50 bucks. These ones are 50 bucks. Okay, Grizzy, you got it, brother. Do you want to pick a number? One to three? So, Grizzy, do you want to pick one to three? Double down and pull a Japanese jungle tier two. Tier three. Tier three. Jungle would be in tier three. So, Grizz, I'll throw that credit in the garbage, and you're all set for the Japanese rope pack. And if you want, Grizz, I can pick out more. Three? Okay, cool. So, Grizz, let me know. Do you want to sneak with that, or do you want me to grab you more to choose from? Because usually I let people pick, like, out of five, but that was just what I had on hand. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Are we missing a card? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Oh, shit. Let me just check. So, Darius had six spots. Yep. We and Christian. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I think I might have just taken an energy card and used it for something I shouldn't have. Right? Right, guys? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So that's the right number now, but I just added another energy. So maybe somewhere in the line I took an energy from there that I shouldn't have and used it for like a battle or something. If I'm not incorrect, I know Hui definitely bought one, Christian bought one. I think that was it after that. Just Darius. I bought a bunch. So I think that was it. I think that's correct. Tier one. Grizz with a tier one. You were saying 17 all day, but it should be. No, I definitely been saying 18. I feel like I definitely said 18 verbally every time. Yeah, dude, Grizz got that nice pack slab, and he got a refund. <laughs> and he got a refund. 
So some people were telling me that they think I should make a secondary slab box as a backup in case it does oversell, and I feel like that might not be a bad idea. So maybe tomorrow, that may be something that I work on, making two slab bags, or two slab boxes. And then when one is empty, all I have to do is just take some from the second box, because it's already made, and just move it over. So I might do that. Because there is something about the end, like when you get towards the end, you know the slab's on the back, so at that point you feel really, really confident just to go for it, which I feel like is kind of counterintuitive to how I want it to be. Grizzy. Ooh. Nar bought a Merlin stickers for Rich. Sheesh. We got a bromance going on. Rich, this is for you, courtesy of Nar. Courtesy of Nar, actually. Tonight's been too much the week. That's facts. That is facts. Although tomorrow I'm not live, so there's that. Be back on Tuesday. I just don't know if uh, I don't think we have anything like super crazy cool coming in by Thursday, so that's kind of sad. Nothing as great as like the heart gold box and stuff like that. Bulbasaur. Oh, Gengar and a Haunter. So rich, no Hollow in that one, but some cool Pokemon. Gengar and a Haunter. Actually, putting it next to the coin is a bad idea. The stickers are pretty fragile, so those would definitely have an imprint. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> Yo, how's it feel, Nar? You bought the man of stickers, and he just... He spit right in your face. <laughs> just kidding. All right, so guys, it is almost 5 in the morning. Uh, we started an hour late, and we're already at seven and a half hours in the stream tonight. If anybody else would like something for tonight, let me know. As I said, tomorrow we are working on shipping, so there is no stream tomorrow night. But of course, as always, we do have an end of stream giveaway coming up, and I think for tonight, we'll just do some Obsidian Flames. So you got an hour left? I mean, I would go for another hour, but I know it's late, and we started an hour later, so usually we're already, like, done, way done by this time, because we started an hour late, too. I had so much internet issues before I started tonight. We started at, like, 9, we're starting at, like, 8 or 8.30, which I guess is, like, 30 minutes late. I'll order one pack of stickers if you want. Yeah, Nick, if you want. Uh, just to let you know, phone said 10%, like, 10 minutes ago, so it's probably almost dead. Just a heads up. No, 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 no. McDonald's is 24, but they closed the dinner menu at 4, bro. So if I went right now, all I could get was like an Egg McMuffin or something dumb like that. I don't want no Egg McMuffin. I want some chicken. Although McDonald's might not even be chicken. Who knows what McDonald's is? That's Ken Ruby. So tomorrow, I gotta go to the Verizon store, get the new router, do the shipping. Not gonna be fun. <laughs> Someone's gonna get the Zard sticker one of these days and send to it. Could be you. All right, Nick, with the stickers. What a sticker. I told myself it was dangerous, and I stuck my hand in the cookie jar. Yeah, I mean, everyone by now knows exactly what they're buying into. And I think everyone understands that. I just gotta do a hats off to Ash, because Ash definitely spearheaded that whole, that whole movement right there, for sure. I am kind of sad, though, because although Ash did kind of, you know... Spearhead it. I don't think Ash got a slab out of the box, did he? Labrys. Execute. Eradicate. Mm. 
Wait, McDonald's brought back bagels, really? A bagel, egg, and cheese? That does sound pretty good, actually. Bagel, egg, and cheese. Mm. Nicholas Y. <laughs> Fruit slash grains and water is the only thing you should have for breakfast, not grease. Yeah, well, for me, it's not even breakfast. This is like late dinner. <laughs> this is like late dinner for me. I got F all, dude. I'm sorry, Ash. <laughs> I'm sorry. Antonio. All right, cool. Antonio with a royal five pack. Antonio, let me know if you want to pick left or right or if you want me to grab more. I'm happy to grab more for you, too, if you want to pick from a, a wider selection, if you'd like. I eat sushi in the morning. Yeah, I'm not really a sushi guy. I don't really eat much sushi at all, actually. All right, Antonio goes left. To the left, to the left. Sushi sounds pretty great. Ooh. Antonio, that is a tier two tag team all stars. Nice. But now I gotta ask Antonio, as I always do, do you wanna open it or get it mailed to you sealed? That is a really nice pull. So that is a. T oh! And we do pick up a gold ultra rare. I love gold. It, it is definitely tough. Yeah, it is a tough decision for sure. Esparta. You could keep the pack and you get a guaranteed value out of it, or you could open it and get more or less. <laughs> so, and I'm, gonna, I'm sure we don't need explaining how packs work. We all know how packs work. Hey, yo, Don, you too, bro. So, Don, thank you again for the generous raid tonight, man. I hope you got some good sleep, man. Appreciate you again. Thanks. Yeah, Antonio, no problem, man. No problem. I think it makes sense. I think it does make sense, honestly. Ah, uh, yes, Grizz, I did add an energy to the Lost Origin stack. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that I don't think I dropped anybody out of it. I think, if anything, I think I grabbed an energy by mistake and probably used it for, like, a battle name card or something. Because I'm looking around, and I don't think I see any energy dropped. Because I know I put it here for a little bit, but I don't think I dropped anything. So I must have just snagged an energy by mistake and used it as like a name card for a battle, I think. Because I know for sure who he bought a spot, Christian bought a spot, and I think Darius is the only other person who bought a lot of spots. Yeah, I don't think Fernando bought it. No, Fernando did not buy in. So I think that was it. I might have to double check the list tonight just to make sure the orders and make sure no one was missed, but... Okay, so let us wrap it up. Camera is almost dead. Probably just enough juice to do the end of stream giveaway and open the packs for the winner. So to sign up for the end of stream giveaway, simply make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you like the stream tonight and then put a BR in the chat. And this is for two Obby Flames. Way to be selfish and make a smart move. <laughs> Way to be selfish, dude. Start cleaning up just a little bit. Just a wee little bit. Verse is almost sold out entirely. 
You can give away the Luffy? Oh, wow. All right, Koki. Sure thing, man. Damn. All right, so thanks to Koki, we're going to also add this anniversary Luffy to the loot pile for the winner. Koki. Kind of crazy what it took was... Dude, that's what I'm saying. Corey, that is what I'm saying, bro. To think that the whole time, all I had to do was just go outside of my house, do jump rope with the wires, and then fix? Bro, I should have done that from day one. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to be the issue, really. All right, guys. Good luck. Yup, Koki out of nowhere. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I like the playlist tonight. I feel like our OG playlist is just way better. What do you guys think? Looks like they got pop music. R&B Yo, Corgi, no way. The Corgster. Corgi, I think that is going to be a new bag, right? Yeah, I think so, right? We shipped all your marbles recently, I think, right? Let's quickly double check. The Corgster. When I was younger, he went outside, disconnected the cable. Corg, make it like reconnect it. Oh, okay, so that way he could kick you off the computer and then it magically worked when it was his turn? <laughs> That's smart. Hey, it's on you, bro. The internet's down. You might want to hop off that computer. Next thing you know, he hops on. Oh, looks like it's working again. Nice. What a coincidence. Dude, honestly, I don't even know if there's a setting for this, but what do you guys think? If I made a set, if there was a setting, I don't think there is, but if there is, what if I added an extra like 25% strength to members in all the battles? What do you think? That way, even if it's a subscriber only giveaway and you're a member, you have like a 25 extra damage. I don't even think that exists. But if it does, what do you guys think about that? Good or bad idea? I'm sure all the members are gonna say, oh, that's a great idea. All the non-members, that's a terrible idea. Um, Carbo, do you just love a bag? I've not shipped it. It's gonna go out tomorrow. Would you? What were you asking me? Carbo, do you want the Luffy? Okay, cool. Do you want to give it? Do you want to give that to um Carbo? His bag is still here. It's gonna go out tomorrow. Yo, Grizz, that that's true. Grizz, that's true. Ah, Corgi's like, yo, why'd you say anything? I wanted it. Okay, Corgi, no problem. Cool. All right, so Corgi, I'm going to throw away this bag. And then cardboard. That, what do you even have, cardboard? What the hell do you even have? Sabo. Some bulk. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, we got something in here. Cardboard. Awesome. So, Kogi, thanks for throwing in some stuff for the giveaway, too, man. That was pretty kind of you. All right, all right, all right, cardboard. I like it. A little, little bit of nothing. All right, so guys, thank you guys again so much for tuning in tonight. We had a pretty awesome stream today. Finally happy. We don't have any lags. So that was a really, really nice thing to see. 
So thank you guys all for tuning in tonight. Um, I will be live again tomorrow, or not tomorrow, sorry. Tomorrow's a shipping day. So I'll be live again on Thursday. So hopefully I'll see you guys again there. Uh, for those who wanted to get shipped out tomorrow, just remember to request shipping via Discord, via Instagram, and I'll get you guys mailed out tomorrow night. But that's about it, everybody. Thank you guys again. I'll see you guys on the next one Thursday night. And as always, stay awesome, stay safe, and most of all, stay silky smooth. I'll catch you guys again on Thursday. Bye, everybody. Peace out.